Section 28 is the charging section. Section 29 is the computational section. Section 30 expenditure relating to building. Section 31 expenditure relating to plant, machinery and furniture. Section 32 is depreciation. Section 33 AB is tea, coffee or rubber. Section 35 expenditure on scientific research. Section 35 AD specified business. 35 D preliminary expenses. 35 DDA VRS. 35 E extraction of mineral oil. 36 other deduction. 37 general deduction. 38 asset used for both business and personal. So we are going to talk about the chapter profits and gains of business or profession. How we are going to study this chapter, big chapter? We are going to classify the chapter into five categories. Number one, deduction. Number two, disallowance. Number three, procedural aspects. Number four, presumptive taxation. And number five, 43 CDs. In the deduction, this many sections are there. Once we are thorough with this many section, we can say that we have done with the deduction part. The number one is section 28, charging section. Section 29 is the computational section. You know this is the biggest head of income out of all the five heads of income. So how to compute the PGBP is explained in section 29. That is computational section. Section 30 expenditure relating to building. That means in order to do a business where you will do the business. Will you do the business in road? No. You should have a building. So you may incur expenditure relating to building. That expenditure can be debited to PNL account as per section 30. Inside that building, if it is plain, is it possible to manufacture the goods? No. So inside that building, you need plant and machinery. So expenditure relating to plant and machinery is covered under section 31. So now you are having building. Now you are having plant and machinery, my dear lovable students. So you can claim depreciation under section 32. This is the one set. So section 28 is the charging section. 29 is the computational section. 30 expenditure relating to building. Section 31 expenditure relating to plant, machinery and furniture. And 32 is depreciation. Now if you are a businessman who are engaged in tea, coffee or rubber, you are entitled to claim deduction under section 32. 33 AB. 33 AB and if you are engaged in scientific research you are entitled to claim deduction under section 35 and 35 AD is talking about specified business specified business there are 14 specified business are there if you are having the courage to start those 14 specified business then 100% of the capital expenditure will be allowed as deduction in the first year itself. 35 D's preliminary expenses before starting a business, we may incur preliminary expenses. How to debit that preliminary expenses in the P and L account is what explained in section 35 D. 35 D D A V R S and 35 E is extraction of mineral oil and 36 is other deduction, 37 general deduction and 38 asset used for both business and personal. So if you come to the next part, that is disallowance part. There are three disallowances are there in PGBP, section 37, subsection 2B, 40 small A series and 40 big A series, 40 A series and 43B. That means, my dear lovable students, what section 37, subsection 2B is saying that as a businessman, if you are debiting any advertisement in the brochure or souvenir of the political party, then that amount should be added back. Because is it a business expenditure? No, sir. Since it is not a business expenditure, any advertisement in the souvenir of the political party, my dear lovable students, should not be debited to PNL account. And certain other items should not be debited to PNL as for 40 small A series and 40 big A series and 43B deduction on actual payment basis. So my dear lovable students, this is how we have to understand PGBP classified into sir, PNL. We have to draw the PNL. 
in that pnl by sales will be there correct now to expenses there are certain expenses which can be debited to pnl account there are certain expenses which cannot be debited to pnl account to expenses allowed and to expenses not allowed sir the expenses which are allowed my dear lovable students are called as deductions the expenses which are not allowed that is called as disallowance because of debiting those item in the pnl account what will happen to the net profit the net profit reduces the net profit reduces my dear lovable students so what the chapter pgbp is saying that what and all items you can debit to pnl account is what disallowance what and all items you cannot debit to pnl account is called as what allowance disallowance so anything can be debited to pnl allowances anything cannot be debited to pnl because of you debiting that item in the pnl account because of that net profit would have been reduced should be added back that's what disallowance are you following what i am saying till now put a yes no then i will proceed yes sir fantastic thank you sir because i'm just what confirming what i'm talking is receiving to you or not super sir so how we are going to discuss this chapter is chapter pgbp i have classified into five category number 1 deduction number 2 disallowance what do you mean by deduction sir what and all item that can be debited to pnl account is called as deduction then number 2 what and all item that cannot be debited to pnl account is called as disallowance as a businessman as a professional you have to maintain books of accounts that is covered under procedural aspects that is section 44 aa compulsory maintenance of books of accounts and 44 ab compulsory tax audit compulsory tax audit then you are having section 41 that is deemed income so who and all have to maintain the books of accounts are covered under section 44 aa and who and all have to compulsory do tax audit is covered under section 44 ab and my dear lovable students section 41 is deemed income deemed income is covered in 41 so what is the structure of this chapter chapter pgbp classified into five category number one deduction number two disallowance number three procedural aspects number four presumptive taxation and number five 43 series what is deduction means what and all item that can be debited to pnl account is called as deduction what and all item you should not debited to pnl account is called as disallowance sir if i am a businessman or profession i have to maintain certain books of accounts that is called as sir procedural aspects sir every businessman may not be tata or birla there may be small businessman they may not be interested to maintain books of accounts they may not be interested to do the tax audit they may not be interested to do the sir big big procedures so my dear lovable students what they will do you know they want a simple route that is called as presumptive taxation they want presumptive taxation and we are having various sections which are covered under 43 that is called as 43 series so this is a structure of the this is how we are going to learn the pgbp pgbp classified into five category number one deduction disallowance procedure aspects presumptive taxation and 43 series in that disallowance three disallowances are there 37 subsection 2b any expenditure relating to advertisement debited to pnl account should be added back 40a series classified into two category 40 small a series and 40 big a series and 43b deduction on actual payment basis 40 small a series again classified into three category payment to non resident payment to resident taxes and fees payment to non resident payment to resident taxes and fees 40 big a series we are having four section 40a subsection 2 40a subsection 3 40a subsection 7 40a subsection 9 40a subsection 2 is related party transaction 40a subsection 3 is cash payment exceeding 10000 or 35000 as the case may be 40a subsection 7 is provision for gratuity and 40a subsection 9 is contribution to unrecognized fund 
44A A compulsory maintenance of books of accounts. 44A B compulsory tax audit. And 41 is the deemed profit, deemed income we are having. And we are having three presumptive taxation section 44A D, 44A D A, 44A E. 44A D presumptive taxation for businessman. 44A D A presumptive taxation for notified professional. And 44A E plying hiring or leasing of goods carriage. Plying hiring or leasing of goods carriage. So we are going to start in depth of PGBP. What is section 28? Charging section. You know we are having five heads of income. Salary is there, house property is there, PGBP is there, capital gain is there, and the FOS is there. What are the income to be taxed under each head of income is what the charging section is all about. If it is salary, section 15 is the charging section. If it is house property, 22 is the charging section. If it is PGBP, 28 is the charging section. And if it is uh, capital gain, 45 is the charging section. And if it is IFIS, 56 is the charging section. So, section 28 lists down what are the income to be taxed under the head PGBP. So, what is the role of charging section? It says that what are the income to be taxed under that particular head of income. So, section 28 class 1 is saying that PGBP at any time during the previous year, any profits and gains of business or profession which should be taxable under the head PGBP. Then number 2, section 28 class 2, compensation of termination or modification of a contract. You entered into a contract, you have terminated that contract. From that termination, you are getting some revenue, then that should be taxable under PGBP. Then, 28 class 3 is income from any trade, professional or similar services to its members. I am a trade, I am a professional or similar association, I am providing some services to the members, then my income should be taxable under 28 class 3. What 28 class 3A is saying that profit on sale of import entitlement license. For example, I am an importer or exporter, I am doing import and export. So, by selling that license, I am getting some income. So, my dear lovable students, that income should be taxable under the head PGBP because that import license is related to PGBP. Section 28, Class 3B, Cash Compensatory Support for Export under Government Scheme. Because of any government scheme, I am getting a cash compensation, then that will be taxable under the head PGBP duty drawback against export because of i am exporting i am getting duty drawback under customs that should be taxable under pgbp 28 class 3d profit on transfer of duty entitlement passbook scheme should be taxable under the ket pgbp 28 class 3e profit on transfer of duty free replenishment certificate should be taxable that means all the three classes three series classes are related to import and export Regarding import and export, if you are getting anything, should be taxable under the head profits and gains of business or I am coming to the next clause, 28 clause 4. Any gift or benefit or perquisite arising due to any business or profession. I am engaged in business or profession. Because of myself engaged in business or profession, I am getting a gift or benefit or perquisite, my dear lovable students. Then that gift or benefit or perquisite should be taxable under the head PGBP. Sir, I am a partner in the partnership firm. From that partnership firm, I am getting interest, salary, bonus, commission or remuneration arising to a partner in a partnership firm. Then that interest, salary, bonus, commission, remuneration should be taxable under the head PGBP. Sir, I got non-compete fee. I said that I will not compete with anyone. For that, I get a non-compete fee. That non-compete fee should be taxable under profits and gains of business or as for 28 class 6, some received under the key man insurance policy. You have taken any key man insurance and from that key man insurance, you are getting any policy receipt. Then that should be taxable under the head profits and gains of business or profession. Now, 28 class 6a, fair market value of inventory on the date of conversion into capital asset. You are having a stock in trade. That stock in trade is converted into capital asset. If we study the chapter capital gain, we are having 45 subsection 2. There we are converting the sir, capital asset into stock and trade. Then provisions of 45 subsection 2 will be applicable. 
whereas if you are having any stock in trade and that stock in trade is converted into capital asset then provisions of 28 class 6a will be applicable so that is a ulta of 45 subsection 2 28 class 7 any sum received under 35 ad asset is demolished destroyed discarded or transferred then that will be taxable under pgbp so the one line summary of the entire discussion is my dear lovable students what and all income to be taxed under pgbp is covered under section 28 so 28 is the charging section so we are done with section 28 i'm moving into section 29 that is computational section how to compute the pgbp is what our next discussion that is a hero my dear lovable students are you clear with section 28 respond to me yes sir super sir <laughs> so section 28 is a charging section which talks about what and all income to be taxed under the head profits and gains of business or profession i will discuss section 29 like this this is the format i am going to use this is a very easiest and brilliant format of discussing profits and gains of business or profession profits and gains of business or profession yes just listen you are having a building you will be incurring various expenses to building so to expenses relating to building can be debited to PNL account as per section 30. So what section 30 is saying expenditure relating to building. What and all the allowed expenditure partly for any expenditure relating to building if that building has been used for business or profession can be debited to PNL account. My dear lovable students if that building is partly used for business and partly for other than business only the expenditure attributable to the business can be debited to PNL account. So the proportionate part of expense attributable to business use is allowed that means i am having a building for that i am paying a rent of 1 lakh out of that building 50 percentage i am using for business and 50 percentage for personal so 50000 should be in the back added back right sir i am coming to the next one subletting that means i have taken a building and i am subletting that then the rent paid by the assessee minus rent received from the subtenant should only be allowed as a deduction for example, 1 lakh rupees I am paying rent to the main person and I have subletted this property. From that, I got 40,000 rupees rent. So, what is the net expenses for me? Only 60,000 will be allowed as deduction under section 30. Next one, ownership. Assessee, if the assessee is the owner of the premises, for example, I am the owner of the building, then I cannot debit the notional rent to the PNL. Then premises or firm held by any of the partners, then no notional rent is allowed as deduction. And rent payable to partner to the extent reasonable and not excessive. For example, I am owning the building, then notional rent should not be debited to PNL. But if the rent is owned by one of the partner, partnership firm can pay rent to that partner, but it should not exceed the market price. Then repair. Only revenue repair relating to that building is allowed. That means revenue repair relating to building can be debited to. And other expenditure relating to property like land revenue, local taxes, municipal tax, insurance can be debited to what account? Yeah. Then repair of the building. SSE should be the dash of the building. So in order to debit repair in the p and account, I should be the owner of the building. SSE's tenant was undertaken to bear the dash of repair. If I am a tenant, as per the agreement, my dear lovable students, that can be debited to N account, P and L account. If assessee occupy the premises, otherwise as what or what? I am not the tenant, I am not the owner, but I am supposed to what? To bear the repair of the property, then that repair can be debited to what account? This is the summary of section 30. I may be a owner of the building or tenant of the building. Rent is not allowed. If I am an owner, to whom I will pay the rent? To myself, I cannot pay the rent. So, notional rent is not allowed. Rates and taxes can be debited to PNL. Insurance can be debited to PNL. Revenue repair can be debited to PNL. And capital repair should be added to the cost of the asset. Hence, it is not allowed. If I am not the owner, if I am the tenant of that property, then rent is allowed. To rates and taxes are allowed. To insurance are allowed. Revenue repair are allowed. Whereas capital repair is not allowed. That means a one line summary of the entire discussion is. How to compute the PGBP is a question. 
that means section 30 is what we are discussing right with regard to section 30 to rent is can the rent debited to PNL? yes sir provided if you are a tenant if you are a owner it is not allowed next one two sir rates and taxes relating to building is allowed yes sir rates and taxes can be debited to PNL. correct whether you are dash or dash brilliant to the core sir is the insurance relating to building is allowed yes sir whether you are dash or dash sir to revenue repair can be debited to PNL. yes sir whether you are dash or dash sir to capital a repair can you debit it to be handled no sir whether you are dash or dash that's it this is what section 30 is all about with this we can say that we are done with section 30 clear perfect clear what is section 28 charging, charging section what is section 29 what is computation section only the items which are covered under 30 to 38 is debited to be handled account. if you are debiting unnecessary item i will end up back because of disallowance that's what section 29 is saying so in that we have completed one section called as section 30 i'm moving into section 31 expenditure relating to plant machinery and furniture so inside that building i'm having plant i'm machinery and i'm having furniture right even that plant machinery and furniture i may be a owner or i may be a tenant i would have taken that plant or machinery and furniture i may be owning that or i may be to can take for rent sir if i am an owner rent not allowed because notional rent cannot be debited to be under account but insurance on that plant machine and furniture is allowed revenue repair is allowed but capital repair is not allowed but if that plant machinery and furniture if i have taken on lease or rent then it is allowed not as per section 31 but as per section 37 but as per section 37 insurance allowed yes revenue repair allowed yes but capital repair is not the deduction allowable under this section only of inner repair but not areas of repair for earlier year even though they may still run for deduction under 37 subsection 1 so in that repair only current repair is allowed not the previous year repair is allowed previous year repair can be claimed as a deduction under section 37 my dear lovable students so what is the summary my dear lovable students At what is deduction under section n131 what and all can be debited to pnl account sir to rent on what 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 plant machinery plant machinery and furniture not allowed this is allowed as per section what 37 this is allowed as per section 37 as per section 31 it is not allowed that means plant machinery and furniture you cannot debit that rent to the pnl account as per section 31 31 but it is allowed as per 37 to insurance can you debit insurance yes sir sir to repairs can you debit the repairs of those items yes sir sir that repair should be what repair revenue repair if it is what repair capital repair should be in a back added back it will not be allowed as a deduction is this items insurance revenue repair is allowed as a deduction under section what 31 but if I am taking that plant machinery and furniture for rent, that rent cannot be debited to PNL account as per section 31, but it can be claimed as deduction under section 37. Clear? Yes, sir. What is section 28? Charging that section lists down what are the income to be taxed under profits and gains of business or profession. What is section 29? Computation. How to compute the PGBP income is explained in section 29. What is section 30? Expenditure, Expenditure relating to building. So, relating to building, this expenditure can be debited to PNL account. If you are a tenant, rent can be debited to PNL account. And rent, rates and taxes, whoever it may be, can be debited. Insurance, whoever it can be debited. Revenue repair, whoever it can be debited. But whoever it may be, capital expenditure is not allowed. What is section 31 expenditure relating to plant, machinery, and furniture? Sir, if you are a tenant, then the rent cannot be debited to PNL. It will not be allowed as deduction. But as per section 37, it will be allowed as a deduction. Right? Yes, but insurance and revenue repair can be debited to what account? PNL account as per section 31. But the capital repairs will never be allowed as a. Yes, That's it, man. I'm coming to the hero section 32 depreciation. Are you clear? Those who are in online, are you clear up to this?
yes super i am going into section 32 which is depreciation which can be explained or discussed in four section my dear lovable students 32 subsection 1 class 1 32 subsection 1 class 2 32 subsection 1 class 2a 32 subsection 1 class 3 32 subsection 1 class 1 is depreciation at slm for power sector undertaking if the assessee is a power sector undertaking they are having two options my dear lovable students either you can do sir calculate the depreciation as per slm straight line method or wdv method so 32 subsection 1 class 1 is saying that sir slm for power sector undertaking 32 subsection 1 class 2 is wdv method it is applicable for both power sector undertaking and other than power sector undertaking and 32 subsection 1 class 2a is additional depreciation and 32 subsection 1 class 3 is terminal depreciation we can talk like this we are having three types of depreciation number one normal depreciation additional depreciation and terminal depreciation normal depreciation will be allowed as deduction under section 32 subsection 1 class 1 or 32 subsection 1 class 2 as per the income tax rules whereas additional depreciation is as per 32 subsection 1 class 2a which is 20 percentage of the actual cost whereas terminal depreciation is applicable only to the power sector undertaking who adopted in a method SLM. slm method now i am going to talk about normal depreciation that's my part number 1 in order to claim depreciation under section 32 my dear lovable students assessee should satisfy four condition if you are satisfying this four condition then you can debit depreciation to the pnl account to the pnl account you can debit to depreciation we have debited so many expenditure under section 30 31 now we are debiting the depreciation in order to allow this as a deduction you should satisfy four condition number one assessee should be wholly or partly the as owned by the assessee so assessee should be the owner of the asset asset should be used for the purpose of business or profession that to in the relevant previous year and asset should form part of eligible class of asset that means my dear lovable students you want depreciation to be debited to pnl account satisfy four condition asset should be owned by the assessee asset should be used for the purpose of business or profession that to in the relevant previous year and asset should form part of eligible class of asset automatically doubt are raising what is eligible class of asset eligible class of asset there are two assets are there tangible assets and intangible assets what are the rate of depreciation if it is building it depends upon the building sir is it residential building then only 5 percentage of the depreciation because it is residential building you may have a doubt sir why are you allowing depreciation for a residential building because it has not been used for the purpose of business or profession my dear lovable students residential building doesn't means the house what we are staying residential building means the quarters government quarters and all will be there for that it is only 5 percentage general is how much percent 10 percentage and for temporary structure it is 40 percentage because it is temporary structure it because it is temporary structure because we have to demolish that as quick as possible so we have to claim more depreciation whereas with regard to machinery and oil well the rate of depreciation is 15 percentage whereas for plant or sir furniture it is 10 percentage sir for this item 40 percentage is the rate of depreciation like aeroplane big vehicle air pollution control equipment like books computer windmill for these items and all the rate of depreciation available in the income tax act is 40 percentage whereas with regard to motor vehicle you check whether the motor vehicle is used in the business of running them on hire that is ola uber then it is 30 percentage other than those used in the business of running them on hire other than ola uber then general rate of 15 percentage because if that motor vehicle is used for ola or uber more usage will be there that is why 30 percent depreciation otherwise 15 percentage but for intangible asset all intangible 25 percentage wdv method that is whether it is know how patent copyright trademark license franchisee or any other assets of similar nature the rate of depreciation will be 25 percentage in my dear lovable students these are the general notes we should know with regard to depreciation epa dx and mobile phones are not computer hence depreciation at 40 percent is not eligible if the question is saying that it is epa dx and mobile phone then it is not computer my dear lovable students hence higher rate of depreciation will not be depreciation is allowed even if the cost is less than what 5000 near and if you purchase goods for even 2000 then also depreciation is allowed right 
As of 43 subsection 3, plant includes the definition of plant, ship, vehicle, books, scientific apparatus, surgical equipment, used for business or profession, but does not include tea bushes, livestock, building, furniture or water. So, there is a definition of plant, it includes ship, vehicle, books, scientific apparatus and surgical equipment, but it does not include tea bushes, livestock, building, furniture and fittings. Plant and machinery acquired and put to use between 23-8-2019 to 31-3-2020, it is 45 percentage. It is a special rate during COVID, that is 45 percentage. Now the time has been lost. Other motor vehicle acquired and put to use between this date, it is ethanol percentage, 30 percentage. Windmill and equipment installed before this cutoff date, it is 15 percentage. But after this cutoff date, it becomes 40 percentage. For ship, the rate of depreciation is 20 percentage. In Income Tax Act, we are following 180 days concept. How many days concept? 180 days. Sir, after acquiring an asset, if you are put to use an asset for less than 180 days, then half the rate of depreciation. That means if the rate is 15 percentage, you are entitled to claim only 7.5 percentage. Whereas if it is more than 180 days, if you are put to use more than 180 days, then full rate of depreciation, my dear lovable students. So we are following 180 days concept for depreciation and 182 days concept for residential status. Clear? Yes, sir. sir, it is mandatory to claim depreciation. That is, depreciation shall be allowed whether or not SSES claim depreciation in computing is what income. When you are preparing the PNL account, if you, sir, fail to debit the depreciation, the assessing officer will debit that depreciation and then only he will calculate the total income. Eligibility for depreciation, depreciation is allowed when asset is actually put to use. Depreciation is not allowed if it is ready for use and not put to actual use. Ready for use depreciation and all accounts, not as per tax. If you want depreciation in tax, that asset should be put to use. Put to use, then allowed. Depreciation in case of lease, irrespective of the accounting treatment prescribed by accounting standard, lessor shall be entitled to claim depreciation on leased asset, where the lease is an operating lease or a financial lease. Whether the lease is a, my dear lovable students, operating lease or finance lease, I think there is some problem with the muting. Everyone please mute. Right. <laughs> Whether the lease is a, my dear lovable students, operating lease or finance lease, the lessor is the person entitled to claim depreciation. Depreciation for standby equipment, for example, I am having one more spare equipment which I have not put to use because our main equipment is going, whether the depreciation can be claimed. Standby equipment and servicing equipment are to be capitalized. Machinery spares shall be charged to revenue as and when consumed. When such spares can be used only in connection with the item of tangible fixed asset and their use is expected to be irregular, they shall be capitalized. That standby equipment you should not debited to PNL account, you have to capitalize. But whenever you are using, you can debit that to the PNL account. So if the assets are not used exclusively for business or profession of the SSE, sir, for other purpose as well, depreciation allowed would be a proportionate part of the depreciation allowance to which the SSE would be otherwise entitled. This is provided in section 38. For example, my dear lovable students, yes, my dear lovable students, there is an asset, that asset has been used for both business and personal. Then depreciation you cannot claim 100 percentage because an asset has been used for both business and personal. Then section 38 is saying that only the proportion attributable to the business is allowed, the proportion attributable to the personal should be in a back, added back. So always section 30, what is section 30? Expenditure relating to building. What is section 31? Expenditure, Expenditure relating to and section 32 depreciation. depreciation. These three sections are governed by section 38. These sections are governed by section 38. That means if you are using any building or if you are using any plant machinery or furniture and the depreciation relating to section 31 and 32 will be governed by section 38. That means you have to always check whether that asset has been used fully for business or partly for business and partly for personal. So section 30 plus 31 plus 32 is equal to section 38, my dear lovable students. For example, 
I will give you an example. Try to understand this. There is a business place and that business is going extraordinarily brilliant. You are going to add one floor to that business. But that owner is saying that I don't have cash. So you have requested the owner that, sir, don't worry, I'm having a lot of cash. I will construct that floor. Then that will be treated as deemed building. This is an exception to condition that SSE should be there. So, we have studied that in order to claim depreciation under section 32, SSC should satisfy four conditions. SSC should be the owner of the asset. So, when the SSC is carrying on business or profession in a building, that means in a building, we are carrying on business or profession. In respect of which he holds a lease or any right of occupancy, there we have taken for lease. Any capital expenditure is incurred by SSC on the construction of any structure. On that building, we have incurred any capital expenditure for any construction by way of renovation or extension or improvement to the building. Then the SSC will be treated as owner for such capital expenditure. And even though I am not the owner of that portion, but still for the purpose of income tax act for that expenditure, I can claim it as a deduction under section 32. Now, because of debiting depreciation to PNL, I may end up with a case where unabsorbed business loss will come. How to deal with a set off and carry forward of unabsorbed depreciation is what our discussion. Current year depreciation, for example, sir, this is a very important point. You are debiting depreciation to the PNL account as to depreciation. Sir, because of debiting the depreciation, instead of net profit, you are ending up with by net loss. Are you all really with me? Because of debiting the depreciation to the PNL, you are ending up with, sir, net loss. My dear honorable students, current year depreciation can be set off against current year PGBP and balance under any other head of income except salary. So PGBP can be set off against any, any head of income, sir, a depreciation loss can be set off against first PGBP, then against any head of income except salary. Depreciation to the extent not set off in the previous year, that is called as inime shall we carry forward for set off against pgbp and any head of income except salary if the current year if the other income is insufficient then my dear lovable students you can carry forward that for the future years and you can carry forward against any head of income except salary unabsorbed depreciation shall be carry forward indefinitely there is no time limit for carry forward of unabsorbed depreciation even if the business or profession is discontinued even if the business or profession is discontinued you can still carry forward unabsorbed depreciation can be set off even if return not filed within 139 subsection 1 time limit because there is a section called as section 80 in the income tax act if you incur any loss under section 72, 73, 73A, 74 and 74A and if you want to set off then you have to file the return of income within due date but this restriction is not there for 71B which is loss from house property and also 32 subsection 2 which is unabsorbed depreciation. So what is the order of set off? Current year depreciation then brought forward business loss and brought forward depreciation because for brought forward business loss you are having time limit of 8 years. Whereas brought forward depreciation, you don't have any time limit. It can be carried forward for unlimited. So you have to keep at the end. This is what our part number one, my dear lovable students. So I'm moving into the part two of the depreciation. Are you comfortable up to this? What I'm talking with you? Just give me a assurance that you are able to follow what I am saying. Yes. Super clarity. Fantastic to the core. Yes. I am coming, I am forwarding, super sir, thank you sir. Part 2, we are going to talk 32 subsection 1 clause 2 a additional depreciation which is 20 percentage of actual cost. Sir, in order to claim normal depreciation, SSC has to satisfy 4 conditions I said. SSC should be the owner of the asset, asset should be used for the purpose of business or profession that to in the 11 previous year, asset should form part of eligible class of asset. The same way, my dear lovable students, sir, SSC should invest in new plant and machinery acquired on install. That means in order to claim additional depreciation, you should invest in new plant and machinery. That means for second hand plant and machinery, you are not entitled for additional depreciation. SSC is engaged in manufacture or production of any article or thing or generation or distribution of power. That means these two conditions should be satisfied in order to claim 20 percentage, 20 percent, two condition, 20 percent, two condition, 20 percent, two condition. So SSC should invest in new plant and machinery and SSC should be engaged in the production or manufacture of any article or thing or generation or distribution of power. We have already talked about 180 days concept for normal depreciation. 
Is the 180 days concept applicable for additional depreciation? Yes. If such asset is acquired and put to use for less than 180 days in that previous year, additional depreciation is restricted to 50 percentage for that previous year and the balance 50 percentage in the succeeding previous year. Then that the remaining can be taken in the next previous year. Additional depreciation would be allowed to an assessee only if he exercises the option of shifting out of the default tax regime. That means if you are in default tax regime, that is 115 BAC route, you are not entitled to claim additional depreciation. You want additional depreciation, get out of 115 BAC route under 115 BAC subsection 1A. It is not allowable when the SSE pays concessional rate of tax under the default tax regime under section 115 BAC. That means if you are traveling through 115 BAC, you are not entitled to claim additional depreciation. Fantastic to the core. But this section is not applicable to these five people, ship or aircraft. For ship and aircraft, no additional depreciation. For second hand plant and machinery, because assessee should be investing in new plant and machinery. So if you are investing in second hand plant and machinery, you are not entitled for additional depreciation. Plant and machinery installed in office or residence including guest house. If you are installing any plant and machinery in office because it is not in factory, not a place where production takes place, you are not entitled for additional depreciation. Office appliances or road transport vehicle. If you are investing in office appliances or road transport vehicle, you are not entitled for additional depreciation or any plant and machinery for which the whole cost is allowed as deduction in some other section. For example, section 35, 35 AD under this section, if the whole cost has been allowed as deduction, don't come and ask what additional depreciation. My dear lovable students, for that normal depreciation itself is not applicable, then why are you asking additional depreciation? These are the general notes. Four lift trucks used in the factory is not treated as transport vehicle because for road transport vehicle you are not entitled for additional depreciation but if any truck is used only inside the factory it is not a sir, transport vehicle so it is eligible for additional depreciation so in examination they may use fort lift truck business of printing or printing and publishing amount to manufacture and production of an article or thing and therefore eligible for additional depreciation. For example, I am a printer. I bought a printing machine because there are two conditions should be satisfied. Assessee should engage in sir, invest in new plant and machinery and assessee should be engaged in the production or manufacture of any article or thing. Even printing also will lead to production. If I am purchasing a Xerox machine, it is entitled for additional depreciation. Additional depreciation is allowed only if the assessee follow WDV method. That means it is not allowed to power sector undertaking if they follow SLM method. For a power sector undertaking, if they follow SLM method, then they are not entitled for additional depreciation. Fantastic to the core. With this part two of additional depreciation. So part one is normal depreciation. Part two is additional depreciation we have done. Are you comfortable with additional depreciation? 32 subsection 1. Yes. Super sir, fantastic to the core. I am proceeding. Thank you. Part 3, which is terminal depreciation. Applicable only to power sector undertaking adopting SLM basis. Sir, this is how you have to understand in detail. The assessee can be classified into two categories who are engaged in the business of generation and distribution of power and other assessee including power sector undertaking. So, if an assessee is engaged in generating power sector undertaking, they are having the option to follow either SLM or WDV method for tangible asset, not for intangible asset. Very important point to highlight. If they follow SLM, then individual asset system will be applicable called as IAS, individual asset system will be applicable. Whereas for other SSE, including power sector undertaking who are not interested for SLM, for always for them it is WDV method and for them block system will be applicable, individual asset system will not be applicable. This is what part number 3, part number 3 is with regard to the terminal depreciation. I am moving into part number 4, that is capital gain appreciable asset as per section 50. So, my dear lovable students, there is a link between section 32 and section 50. Section 32 is talking about depreciation and section 50 is talking about capital gain. How to compute the capital gain in case of a depreciable asset? In case of depreciable asset, first you understand, it will always be short term capital gain or short term capital loss. It will never be long term capital gain or long term capital loss. It will always be short term capital gain or short term capital loss. Usage for asset for business. The word used has to be read in a wide sense so as to sir, include active as well as passive use. 
active use also passive use also covered however insurance and repair charge of asset which are owned by the sec but have not been used for the business during the previous year would not be allowed as a deduction fine one example leave it now we are going to compare with section 32 and section 50 one of the important part in depreciation section 32 is depreciation and section 50 is computation of capital gain in case of depreciable asset computation of capital gain in case of depreciable asset what section 50 is saying that i will tell you i will just give you an example just go through this understand this that is more than enough i am having opening wdv my dear lovable students which comprises of 50 lakh add additions during the year i have added my dear lovable students a 10 lakh worth rupees asset so the subtotal comes to 60 lakh 50 lakhs plus 10 lakh 60 lakh less sales during the year during the year i have sold something for example i sold for option number one is 40 lakh so i have to get the amount eligible for depreciation amount eligible for depreciation so 60 lakhs minus 40 lakh it should be how much like 20 lakh so whether section 32 or 50 comparison will be there 32 or 50 i can't say anything because i have to see the number of the asset this 50 lakhs comprise of 10 asset i purchased one asset totally 11 assets were there out of 11 asset i sold all the 11 asset then sir value is there but asset is not there in order to claim depreciation under section 32 my dear lovable students value should be there and also asset should be there if asset is there value is not there value is there asset is not there i cannot claim depreciation under section 32 so in two circumstances section 50 will be applicable section 50 will be applicable only in two circumstances all the remaining circumstances section 32 will be applicable when all the assets are transferred that means in this block for example 11 assets were there if you are transferring all the 11 assets there is no question of providing depreciation at all then section 50 will be applicable for a consideration less than the block value then it is a loss short term capital loss just you think here the 11 asset cost comes to 60 lakh but all the 11 asset you have sold for 40 lakh sir so that means 60 lakh worth rupees asset has been sold for 40 lakh there is a short term capital loss of 20 lakh or for a consideration more than the block value then it is a short term capital gain my dear lovable students short term capital gain sir but if you are selling one or some of the asset has been sold more than the value of the block i am having totally 11 assets in the block i sold only five assets out of 11 assets but the sale price of that five asset comes to 80 lakh so it exceeds the end value block value then my dear lovable students short term capital gain so section 50 will be applicable in two circumstances number one all the assets in the block has been sold then section 50 or some of the asset in the block has been sold for more than the block value then also section 50 will be applicable these are the notes if asset acquired during the current previous year and not put to use then depreciation shall not be allowed for such asset but that asset should be added to the block of the asset very important note that means if you are acquiring any asset and if you have not put to use that asset then for that asset depreciation will not be provided but it should be added to the block of the asset number two actual sale price of the asset should be reduced and not the fair market value of the asset sold when you are selling the asset you have to reduce the actual selling price not the fair market value should be reduced if the assessi transfer building then the actual sale price shall be reduced and not stamp duty value if the assessi sold the building from the block you have to reduce the actual selling price not the inner duty value However, section 50 attracts, then stamp duty value shall be considered for computation of capital gain. But for the purpose of computation of capital gain, you have to take the stamp duty value that is for the purpose of sir, capital gain. Money payable means sale price or insurance compensation in respect of assets sold, discarded, demolished or destroyed during the previous year and the amount of scrap value. This is what you have to reduce. This is part number, sir, four of a depreciation. I think still there are some disturbance could you please kindly mute the mics then it will be very easy for the remaining to hear what i am saying i am moving into part number five with regard to 43 subsection 6 which we are going to learn about wdv how to compute the return down value 
you have to take the WDV of the block of asset in the immediately preceding previous years, the last year's WDV. From that, reduce the depreciation actually allowed in the immediately preceding previous year. You will get the WDV of the block at the beginning of the previous year. That means current year's opening you will get. To that, add actual cost of asset acquired, less money payable, like money payable in the sense means asset sold, discarded, demolished or destroyed, less slum sale, which is as per section 50B, then you will automatically get WDV of the block for the assessment year, my dear lovable students. This is how you have to calculate the closing WDV as per section 43B. In case of lease, depreciation is always claimed by the lessor, whether it is financial lease or operating lease. This we already said once. In case of higher purchase agreement, gets the ownership only after payment of last installment, but you can claim depreciation from beginning, assuming SSE is the owner from the beginning. In case of higher purchase transaction, the higher vendor, the person was take the asset for higher purchase can claim depreciation as if he is the owner. Depreciation on asset particularly owned by assets, partially owned by the SSE shall be allowed to him to the extent on his share of asset. For example, there is one asset that asset is owned by A, B, C equally then for example D also equally then everyone can claim 25% of the depreciation. In case of standby machinery and emergency space, depreciation shall be allowed even if they are ready for use and not put to use. So if you are having any standby equipment, even though it has been used, not used, still depreciation is allowed, my dear lovable students. Now I am moving into part 6 of the depreciation, which is section 32. Taxation of grant or subsidy from government. Sometimes AS12 you would have discussed, we would have got some grant from the government. So it has to reduce the cost of the asset only after booking the grant or subsidy, you have to claim the depreciation under section 32. Any subsidy, grant, cash incentive, duty drawback, waiver, etc. by central or state government or any authority or body other than referred in explanation 10 shall be treated as income as per section 224 clause something. If the subsidy received is for acquiring an asset, then it shall be deducted from the actual cost of the asset. If that grant is relating to an asset, you have to reduce that from the cost of the asset only on the remaining cost. My dear lovable students, you have to claim the depreciation. Or any other subsidy waiver of loan government grant from government, any authority body will be taxable under the head PGBP. Whatever grant you are getting from the government, first it has to be taxed under PGBP, any other subsidy. Any subsidy grant received by either trust or institution established by central government or state government as corpus fund from central government shall not be treated as income. If it is corpus fund, it will not be treated as income. If the loan taken for acquisition of asset is waived, then the amount waived shall be reduced from the actual cost of the asset. Sometimes you have taken a loan, but that loan has been waived by the bank, then that waiver should not be treated as a remission or cessation of trading liability as per section 41 subsection 1 it should be reduced from the cost of the asset above provision not applicable on lpg subsidy or any other subsidy which is for the welfare of the individual if we are getting lpg subsidy then that item will not be treated as income it is exempted from government this is what part number six of depreciation is all about so we have talked about what are the items we have talked in part number one we have talked about my dear lovable students normal depreciation how to deal with the normal depreciation we have talked in part number two we have talked about how to deal with the additional depreciation in part number three we have talked about the terminal depreciation three type of depreciation we have talked in part number four we have talked about capital gain in case of depreciable asset in case of depreciable asset always short term capital gain fantastic to the core in part number 5, we have talked about how to compute the closing WDV. In part number 6, we have talked about how to tax the grant or subsidy from the government. Now we are going to talk about 43 subsection 1 actual cost in certain cases. Because if you see the format of 43 subsection 6, this is the format of 43 subsection 6. WDV of the block of asset in the immediately preceding previous year. Less the depreciation actually allowed in the immediately preceding previous year, you will get the WDV of the block at the beginning of the previous year. Add what cost? Actual cost. What is this term? Actual cost is explained in 43 subsection 1. These are the various circumstances. We are having this many explanation. Under various explanation, sir, actual cost will differ. Actual cost will differ. Asset used for scientific research subsequently brought to business. That means 
I have used them as a for scientific research. That means I would have already claimed deduction under section 35. Then subsequently, I'm bringing that asset to the normal course of business. Then actual cost less deduction under section 35 will be the actual cost. Then explanation one day stock in trade converted into capital asset. That means I'm having some stock in trade. We talked about 28 class 7. Stock in trade is converted into capital asset. Then fair market value on the date of transfer is the actual cost. Acquired by way of gift or inheritance. Someone has given some asset as gift or inheritance. Then WDV in the hands of the previous owner. Cost of acquisition is cost to the previous owner. Same like capital gain as for 49 subsection 1. Then the WDV in the hands of the previous owner will be the actual cost. Conversion of unlisted company into LLP. Sir, asset acquired at higher price with a with view to claim higher high depreciation. So these are various circumstances they will be saying or talking. And in this circumstance, the actual cost will be WDV of the previous owner or the fair market value or the stamp duty value. This is not a much relevant topic, man. With this, we can say that we are done with the discussion of section 32 depreciation. You know, section 28 is a charging section. Section 29 is a computational section. Section 30 is expenditure relating to building. Section 31 is expenditure relating to plant, machinery and furniture. Section 32 is depreciation. The general slot, the part one of profits and gains of business or profession is comes to an end. Are you comfortable what I'm talking to you? Yes. Then my dear lovable students, I am moving into part 2 discussion which is composite income that is you may have income from rubber, coffee or tea that is we are having 3 rules my dear lovable students rule number 7a, rule number 7b and rule number 8. Rule number 7a is applicable to rubber the percentage is 65-35. Rule number 7b is applicable to coffee we are having 2 type of coffee one is normal coffee and abnormal coffee. If it is normal coffee then 75-25. And abnormal coffee 60 40 and rule 80 it is 60 40 my dear lovable students professional whose gross receipts are less than the specified limit given above are also required to maintain books of accounts but this has not specified in the rule that is regarding the big books of accounts no need to worry about it so we are having three rules rule number 7a rule number 7b rule number 8 rule number 7a applicable to rubber the percentage is 65 35 Rule number 7b, two things are there, normal coffee, abnormal coffee, normal coffee 75-25 and abnormal coffee 60-40. Whereas rule number 80, 60-40 is the limit. Always the upper limit is agriculture income and lower limit is business income. This is what the percentage is all about. That's it with regard to section 33ab, only three rules you have to keep in mind. So what is section 28? Charging section. What is section 29? Computation section. What is section 30? Expenditure relating to building. What is section 31? Expenditure relating to plant, machinery and furniture. What is section 32? This is the block 1 or part 1 of deduction. Then section 33 AB, tea, coffee or rubber. We are having 3 rules. Rule number 7A, rule number 7B, rule number 8. I am coming to section 35 straight away which is expenditure on scientific research. Expenditure on scientific research classified into 2 category. Number 1 is in-house research and contribution to outsiders. In house research, you can incur that either before commencement of business or after commencement of business. If it is before commencement of business, my dear lovable students, any SSE carrying on business, any SSE carrying on business, sir, for example, I am carrying a business, I am incurring, sir, expenditure before commencing the business. Before I start the business, I am incurring expenditure. You have to check whether that expenditure is a revenue expenditure or capital expenditure. If it is a revenue expenditure, Provisions of 35 subsection 1 class 1 will be applicable. If it is capital expenditure provisions of 35 subsection 1 class 4 is applicable. You have to check whether that revenue expenditure is salary excluding perquisites and material then 100% deduction. Other than salary no deduction will be allowable. Whereas capital expenditure is governed under 35 subsection 1 class 4 you have to check land, building or others. Land means no deduction, building means 100% deduction and others means 100% deduction but this is very important. 
incurred within three years immediately preceding the commencement of the business. So, before start of the business, my dear lovable students, if any expenditure has been incurred, I can claim it as a reduction. But I have to check whether that is a revenue expenditure or capital expenditure. In that revenue expenditure, two classifications are there. Salary excluding perquisites and material, others. Salary excluding perquisites and material is 100% reduction, others no deduction. Whereas capital expenditure, land building and others, land no deduction, building and others are 100%. But 100 years before incurred expenditure cannot be claimed as reduction. Only 3 years before can be claimed as a reduction. After commencement of business, you have started the business. Once you started the business, sir, the assessee can be classified into two categories. But because you know on what form you have started, whether you have started as company or other than company. If it is by company, my dear lovable students, you can incur either revenue expenditure or capital expenditure. If it is revenue expenditure, 100% reduction as per 35 subsection 2AB. Whereas capital expenditure, we are having land, building and others. Land, anyway, no deduction will be allowed. For building, 35 subsection 2AB is not providing any deduction. Whereas 35 subsection 1 clause 4 is providing 100% deduction. 35 subsection 2AB is 100% reduction. But other, other than company, other SSE, you have to check revenue expenses. Revenue expenditure 100% reduction under 35 subsection 1 clause 1. Whereas capital you have to again classify into land, building and others. Land means no deduction. Building and others means always 100% reduction. Now, who is an eligible company? Because after commencement of business, the deduction is based upon what is the status of the SSE. So, eligible company under section 35 subsection 2AB, a company should be engaged in the business of biotechnology or business of manufacture or production of any article or thing not being article specified in 11th schedule on an approved in-house research and development facility. Only this company is entitled to claim deduction under section 35 subsection 2AB. We understood that section 35 classified into two categories, expenditure and scientific research either in-house Research contribution or contribution to outsiders. In-house research means a businessman is incurring expenses within the business. Whereas contribution to outsiders means is giving money to some other party outside and they are asking the others to what do the business. That is very important man. Contribution to outsiders is applicable only under optional tax regime as per the normal provisions of the act 115 BAC subsection 1A. That means if you are Going out of the scheme under 115 BAC, then only you are entitled to claim contribution to outsiders. So, contribution to outsiders, these are the guys you will contribute to approved research association, university or college. Then if it is scientific research, 100% reduction as per 35 subsection 1 class 2. If you are contributing to social or statistical research, 100% reduction as per 35 subsection 1 class 3. If you are contributing to IIT, National Laboratory, University for scientific research, 100% reduction, 35 subsection 2AA. Whereas to approved Indian company in research and development, scientific research, 100% reduction under 35 subsection 1 clause 2A. Now, we are having certain clarificatory notes. If land and building purchased through a composite agreement, then cost of land and building shall be bifurcated because for land, no deduction, but for building, deduction is there. So, if you are paying consolidated consideration, if you purchase these two, you have to split on the basis of fair market value because cost of land is not allowed as deduction. Unabsorbed research capital expenditure. In case if you are incurring capital expenditure and there is unabsorbed research capital expenditure, can be set off and carry forward, same as unabsorbed depreciation. How unabsorbed depreciation we have to deal that is unabsorbed depreciation can be set off against PGBP, it can be set off against any other rate of income except salary, it can be carried forward un in indefinitely. All those provisions will be applicable even for the un unabsorbed capital expenditure. No depreciation allowed on 35 asset. Because once you purchase an asset for 35, scientific research 100% of the reduction you claim it. Then why are you asking for normal and additional depreciation? So it won't be applicable. Deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 2 class 3 35 subsection 2 AA shall not be denied if the approval of such institution has been withdrawn after payment by the SSC. For example, I made the payment to a research association but their registration has been cancelled. It is not my mistake. For me, deduction under section 35 is allowed. Now, moving to the last one. Sale of asset used for scientific research. I have purchased an asset and I have used that asset for scientific research under section 35. After that usage, my dear lovable students, I am selling that asset. What you have to check is, sir, 
after the scientific research have you sold after being used for the purpose of other business that means first i have used for scientific research then after that after that scientific research my dear lovable students i have used for normal business and then i am selling that asset so if i am used for normal business means i would have included in the block of the asset as per 43 subsection 6 a red with section 50 apply lead to capital gain no sir after scientific research i have not used for the normal business i have directly sold that asset then 41 subsection 3 will apply deemed profit leads to pgbp that is either the actual sale proceeds or deduction claimed under 35 subsection 1 clause 4 whichever is lower is the asset sir once i purchase any asset for scientific research for how much period i should hold that asset there is no lock-in period in respect of the asset this is the one line summary of section 35 section 35 3 5 can be classified into three category 35 subsection 1 35 subsection 2a and 35 subsection 2ab 35 subsection 1 again classified into five category 35 subsection 1 class 1 35 subsection 1 class 2 35 subsection 1 class 2a 35 subsection 1 class 3 and 35 subsection 1 class 4 35 subsection 1 class 1 is for revenue expenditure that means if any revenue expenditure incurred you can claim it as deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 1 whereas if you are incurring any capital expenditure then 35 subsection 1 class 4 will be applicable whereas 35 subsection 1 class 2 is scientific research 35 subsection 1 class 2a scientific research to approve in indian company and 35 subsection 1 class 3 is social or statistical research these three are contribution to outsiders these three are contribution to outsiders and you are contributing to iit national laboratory and university as per section 35 subsection 2aa and 35 subsection 2ab is for company so this is the structure of section 35 section 35 can be classified into three category 35 subsection 1 35 subsection 2aa and 35 subsection 2ab 35 subsection 1 again classified into 5 category 35 subsection 1 class 1 35 subsection 1 class 2 35 subsection 1 class 2a 35 subsection 1 class 3 and class 4 1 and 4 are revenue expenditure and capital expenditure whereas these are contribution to outsiders and contribution to outsiders this is company after commencement of the business fantastic to the core the deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 2 or 2a or 3 or 2aa shall not be denied if approval of such institution has been withdrawn after payment of some by the SSE. after i contribute their deduction withdrawn their license withdrawn i can still claim it as a deduction no depreciation allowed on asset used for 35 kandipa if land and building purchased through a composite agreement then the cost of land and building shall be bifurcated on the basis of fair market value because cost of land is not allowed as deduction same point we have discussed unabsorbed depreciation and capital expenditure can be set off and carry forward same as unabsorbed depreciation deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 2 class 2 aa to ab earlier it was 150 percentage but now for our examination all the section it is 100 percentage 35 subsection 1a payers shall be entitled to deduction under this section only if the Doni institute prepare a statement in form number 10 bd and submitted to pdgit systems up to 31st may of the next financial year that means if we contribute to this association that guy the person who was received should prepare a statement and should furnish to the income tax department the Doni institution furnishes certificate to the donor if we contribute some amount to this guy they should give a certificate stating that this much amount we have contributed then only we have entitled to claim the deduction now sale of asset representing expenditure of capital nature on scientific research deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 1 what expenditure a revenue expenditure and 35 subsection 1 class 4 what expenditure capital expenditure read with 35 subsection 2 would be available to an SSE under both regime subject to fulfillment of stipulated condition that means sir if you are contributing to if you are incurring any revenue expenditure or capital expenditure under both regime it is allowed notified approved research association university or college or other institution deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 2 that means if you are contributing to a research association would be available to assess only if we exercise the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 bsc subsection 1 that means 
in our research is applicable to both the guys whether whatever may be the root it is applicable whereas contribution to outsider 35 subsection 1 class 2 is available only if you taken the opt out approved indian company for scientific research 35 subsection 1 class 2a would be available to assess you only if we exercise the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 BAC subsection 1A. So, this is again contribution to outsider. Approved notified research association, university, college or institution. Deduction under 35 subsection 1 class 3 would be available to an SSC only if we exercise the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 BSC subsection 1A. And some pay to national laboratory 35 subsection 2A. A deduction under 35 subsection 2A would be available to SSC only if we exercise the option of sir under section 115 BSC. So, what is a one line summary? In house research will be allowed as deduction, whatever may be the route. Whereas contribution to outsiders will be allowed as deduction only if you come out of 115 BAC route and travel through the normal route. Clear? I am moving into the next one. Are you clear up to this? With regard to section 35, expenditure on scientific research. Comfortable? Yes, when does check to the core? We will be doing section 35 AD which is specified business. Sir, in case of individual HUF AOP BOI carrying on specified business, deduction under 35 AD would be available only if they exercise the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 BAC subsection 1A. That means for 115 BAC route for individual HUF AOP BOI AJP, section 35 AD provisions will not be applicable. So, this is a very important amendment. If such SSE is paying concessional rate of tax under the default tax regime under 115 BAC, deduction under 35 AD would not be available. That means this is a block or group of people, individual HUF, AOP, BOI, AJP. For this guys, five people, sir, they may travel through the sir 115 BAC route or opt out from the 115 BAC route. If you are traveling through 115 BAC route, no deduction under 35 AD. A company would be eligible for deduction under 35 AD if it opt for the special provisions of SAR 115 BAA or 115 BAP. That means in case if the SSC is a company, my dear lovable students, then company would not be eligible. So if a company is also enjoying the concessional rate of tax under 115 BAA or 115 BAB, then even for that 35 AD will not be applicable. So this is the amendment we have to take in care. Now SSC can claim 100% deduction on capital expenditure under 35 AD instead of 32 depreciation if we undertake the below specified business. That means if you are engaged in the 14 specified business and if you opt out of the default tax regime, you are entitled to claim deduction under 35 AD. These are the important 14 businesses, cold chain facility, warehousing facility for agriculture produce, warehousing facility for sugar and honey and bee wax. Then the next set is housing project which may be slum redevelopment or affordable housing or hotel two star or above and fertilizer plant, hospital of at least 100 bed and semiconductor wafer fabrication. With regard to part 3, the additional businesses are infrastructure like road, highway, railway project etc, inland container depot, cross country pipeline network for distribution of natural gas crude oil slurry pipeline for transportation of iron ore. So, if you are starting this protein specified business and if you are opting out of the default tax regime, then 100% of the capital expenditure, whatever you are incurring, can we claim it as a deduction under section 35 AD. Every business, sir, it is 100% only, but for every business, there is a starting period, my dear lovable students. For example, setting up and operating a cold chain facility means it should start at honor after 1 for 2009 then only you are entitled to claim deduction under 35 AD. Like for example, setting up and operating a warehousing facility for sugar, the cutoff date is 1-4-2012 is what the cutoff date, my dear lovable students. Now, part number 2, I am moving from 35 AD, which is expenditure not eligible for deduction. Assume that I have started 35 AD business. I have came out of the default tax regime, but still for goodwill, financial instrument and land for this three item you are not entitled to claim deduction that means for jill goodwill instrument and land we are not entitled for deduction 
when you claim the deduction my dear lovable students you have to again check whether any cash payment exceeding 10000 or 35000 is there any expenditure in respect of which a payment or the aggregate of payment made to a person in a day otherwise done by account pay check or account pay bank draft or electronic clearing system or such an electronic mode as may be prescribed through a bank account or through such an electronic mode exceeds 10000 for example i have incurred a capital expenditure for that i have made a payment in cash then it is not entitled for deduction under 35 ad now the connected section section 10 aa which is applicable to azz unit no deduction allowable under other provisions of the act in respect of expenditure for which deduction allowed under this section so once you claim deduction under 35 ad my dear lovable students 10 aa deduction you can't claim all right set off and carry forward of loss loss from one specified business can be set off against profit from another specified business so the loss of one specified business can be set off against profit from another specified business and transfer of hotel for example you started at more than two star hotel and operation you are not able to see so you are handing over that hotel to some other person assessee builds a hotel of two star and above and transfer operation to another person still it is owning the hotel you are entitled to claim 35 ad with regard to chapter 6 deduction heading c other deduction sir you cannot claim that means once you claim deduction under 35 ad other deduction you cannot claim unabsorbed loss can be carried forward to indefinite period under section 73a because of specified business if you are having any uh, unabsorbed loss that can be carried forward then as see deemed to be carrying on the business this is what chapter 6a sir no deduction under chapter 6a no deduction under 10 aa no deduction under the chapter 6a under the heading c <clears throat> sir loss from one business can be claimed set off against the profit from the another business conditions to be satisfied these are the general condition you should satisfy if you want to claim 35 ad business should not set up by splitting up or reconstruction of business already in existence that means you are not supposed to create a sir a already business into two and you cannot claim deduction under 35 ad business should not be set up by transfer of specified business of plant and machinery previously used for any plant any purpose that means the plant and machinery should not be second hand plant and machinery if you are using second hand plant and machinery then it is not allowed but in that second hand category my dear lovable students 20 percentage up to 20 percentage is allowed so 20 percent second hand plant and machinery no issues or if that plant and machinery has never been used in India, then it is allowed, my dear lovable students. These are the other conditions with regard to 35 AD. Between two business, transfer of goods and services should be at the fair market value. You should transact at fair market value. Audit of accounts by a chartered accountant is mandatory. There is a lock-in period, the specified business for 8 years. That means once you claim deduction under 35 AD, you should hold that asset for minimum 8 years any asset demolished destroyed or transferred that means after claiming deduction under 35 ad if you are selling that asset then the receipt will be taxable under 28 clause 7 any asset used for other business other than specified business that means after claiming deduction if that asset has been used for other than specified business provisions of 35 ad subsection 7b will be applicable now with regard to 40 years subsection 3 35 ad you may have capital expenditure and you may have revenue expenditure sir this section is only talking about capital expenditure and nothing talking about revenue expenditure so if it is before commencement of business 100 percent reduction will be available in the year of commencement whereas after commencement of business 100 percent reduction in the year in which it is, it is incurred revenue expenditure before commencement of business no section 35 ad governed by the remaining section 30 to 38 if it is after commencement of business, no section 35 AD, it is governed by section 30 to 38. One of the important conditions is such expense has been capitalized in the books of accounts. In order to claim deduction under 35 AD, such expenditure should be capitalized in the books of accounts, my dear lovable students. So this is part number 5, transfer of 35 AD asset. That means after you claim deduction under 35 AD, you are transferring from specified business to non-specified business. That is fraud. So, provisions of 35 AD subsection 7B will be applicable. What is provisions of 35 AD subsection 7B is saying that the difference between the 35 AD allowed and depreciation allowable at the rate of previous year of acquisition as if no 35 AD was claimed shall be taxed. For example, 50 lakh rupees I have claimed under 35 AD. If I have not claimed for 35 AD, I would have claimed depreciation of 5 lakh. So, 45 lakhs will be treated as deemed income as per section 35 AD subsection 7b. 
But after claiming deduction under 35 AD, if that asset has been demolished, destroyed, discarded or transferred, then 28 clause 7 will be applicable. That means if you sold that asset and if you are getting any amount, that amount should be taxable under the head profits and gains of business or profession. So, asset of specified business under 35 AD transfer, you have to check transfer to other business. To a, to a specified business, no treatment because one specified business, you can transfer to the other specified business, there is no problem. But to a non-specified business, you have to check within 8 years or after 8 years. If it is after 8 years, no PGBP. But if it is 8 years, this is the rule within 8 years means PGBP shall be the amount of deduction under section 35 AD, whatever you claimed earlier. Less notional depreciation allowable as if 35 AD is not applicable will be treated as business income. Now, you have to add it to the block as per 43 subsection 6, then what should be taken to the actual cost? The actual cost of the asset less notional depreciation, the, this amount should be added to the block. Now, sale, sale of asset of specified business under 35 AD, PGBP is the sale price, no capital gain even if sale price is more than actual cost. This is what the provisions of 35 AD, these are the general notes to 35 AD, you can read these notes whatever i said they will be repeating that's it with regard to the 35 ad also my dear lovable students 35 ad is with regard to the specified business if you are starting 14 specified business and if you are getting out of the 115 bac route you are entitled for 35 ad deduction are you clear 35 ad fantastic to the court <laughs> <clears throat> this note I will be reading. Yes. In case of individual HGF AOP BOI carrying on specified business, deduction under 35 AD would be available only if they exercise the option of shifting out of the default tax regime under section 115 BAC subsection 1A. If such SSC is paying concessional rate of tax under default tax regime under 115 BAC, deduction under 35 AD would not be available. A company would not be eligible for deduction under 35 AD if it opts for specified provision of 115 BAA or 115 BAB. This is what introduction we have read. Set off and carry forward and set off of loss from specified business and SSC excising the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 BAC can therefore set off of loss of a hospital or hotel which begin to operate after 1st April 2010 and which is eligible for deduction under 35 AD against the profit of existing business of operating a hospital with at least 100 bed for portions or hotel of 2 star or above category even if the latter is not eligible for deduction under 35 AD. That means if you are having any loss once you have LSR get out of the default tax regime it become a non-specified business then loss can be set off. So, these are the section we have done, section 28, charging section, section 29, computation section, section 30, expenditure relating to building, section 31, expenditure relating to plant and machinery, section 32, depreciation, section 33, AB, tea, coffee, rubber, section 35, expenditure on scientific research, section 30, 35, AD, which is specified business. A D specified business. So, we are having long way to go with regard to the SAR PGBP. This is only a part of deduction we have done till now. So, we will take a break of 15 minutes. You just go through whatever we have talked. Then after 15 minutes, my dear lovable students, we will be continuing from 35 D to the deductions and disallowance part. So, till now, we have talked about <coughs> section 28 is a charging section. 29 is the computation section, section 30 expenditure relating to building, section 31 expenditure relating to plant, machinery and furniture, section 32 is the depreciation, 33 AB tea coffee rubber and section 35 expenditure on scientific research, section 35 AD is specified business 5. So, we are going to extend the deduction part and going to complete the deduction part, 35 D is sir. Preliminary expenses. Before start a business, I may incur preliminary expenses. The SSC may be an Indian company or other than Indian company. If the SSC is an Indian company, then the limit allowed is 5 percentage of the cost of the project or 5 percent of the capital employed, whichever is higher. 
whichever is higher or actual expenditure incurred whichever is lower this is a limit tell me what is the limit 5 percentage of the cost of the project or 5 percentage of the capital employed whichever is higher whichever is higher or actual expenditure whichever is lower whereas if the company is other than indian company 5 percentage of the cost of the project or ex actual expenditure whichever is lower in that 5 percent of capital employed concept is not there only cost of project concept is there all right we are having 35 d and 35 dda 35 d is preliminary expenses 35 dda is sir d d a with regard to v r s if you are incurring v r s expenditure it cannot be claimed as deduction in one shot it has to be claimed as deduction in five shot that's it sir if there is amalgamation or demerger then the remaining deduction shall be allowed to the amalgamated or resulting company the coming company they can claim it as deduction under 35 dda remaining deduction allowed to successor in case of succession referred in 47 conditions are satisfied i am moving into the other direction section 36 we can classify the other direction into three category my dear lovable students number one applicable to all SSE, applicable to employers and entity based deduction you know you be any person you can debit this item to pnl account while calculating profits and gains of business or profession number one any stock insurance number two any interest on borrowed capital or any bad debt or any security transaction tax or commodity transaction tax that means this item can be debited to pnl account let it be you be individual hgf aop boi ajp or any person like stock insurance interest on borrowed capital bad debt security transaction tax and commodity transaction tax sir with regard to the stock insurance sir in order to debit the stock insurance that is in pnl account what insurance stock insurance these are the conditions should be satisfied amount of premium paid you are paying some premium amount in respect of insurance for what purpose for insurance against risk or damage or destruction of the stock or stores used for the purpose of business or profession will be allowed as deduction under section 36 subsection 1 clause 1 now number two interest on borrowed capital you have borrowed some money for the purpose of business or profession can that be debited to pnl account yes the amount of interest paid in respect of capital borrowed for the purpose of business or profession will be allowed as deduction under 36 subsection 1 clause 3 which is interest on borrowed capital 36 subsection 1 clause 3 subject to 43b that means in order to claim interest on borrowed capital as a deduction you should pay it before filing the return of income now i'm moving into the next one bad debt you can debit bad debt to the pnl account to any debt bad debt but you cannot debit provision for bad and doubtful debts to the pnl account you can debit bad debt to the pnl account but you cannot debit what provision for bad and doubtful debts to the pnl account so bad debt actual bad debt is it relates to sales yes it can be debited to pnl account is it relates to loan not allowed except in money lending business so for a money lending business bank that amount can be debited to pnl account loan for a normal person loan become bad debt bad debt cannot be debited to pnl account provision for bad and doubtful debts is it allowed can be debited to pnl account no because it is allowed only for banks or financial institution in your pnl account can to security transaction tax can be debited as pnl yes and amount equal to stt paid by sse in respect of taxable security transaction entered into in the course of his business during the previous year if the income arising from such taxable security transaction is included in the pgbp you have to check is the income is included in the pgbp by security income then stt can be debited to be under account otherwise stt cannot be debited to be under account even 36 subsection 1 class 15 is also subject to nb 43b so you have to check is the securities are stock in trade or capital asset if it is stock in trade income will be taxable under pgbp SCT paid will be allowed as deduction under 36 subsection 1 class 15 deduction is subject to 43b and it won't be a super asset because super asset will be there only for capital sir with regard to capital asset income is taxed under capital gain stt paid will not be allowed as deduction as per 7th proviso to section 48 43b implication will not come because the head has changed now it is capital gain it will be treated as super asset is what now the commodity transaction tax 
can commodity transaction tax debited to PNL account? Yes, provided the income from that commodity is included in the PGBP. An amount equal to commodity transaction tax paid by SSE in respect of taxable commodity transaction <coughs> entered into in the course of his business during the previous year. If the income arising from such taxable commodity is under the head PGBP, 36 subsection 1 class 16 is subject to 43B. Then what you have to understand is let it you be any person this six item or five item can be debited to pnl account number one stock insurance in your pnl you can debit to any insurance stock insurance can be debited to pnl account number two interest on borrowed capital can be debited to pnl account number three to bad debts can be debited to pnl account then to security transaction tax can be debited to pnl account two Commodity transaction tax can be debited to PNL account, my dear lovable students. Let it be any person. Now, coming to the second set of deductions which can be debited to PNL account applicable to employers. Are you an employer? Then debit this item to the PNL account. Number one, health insurance of the employees, sir. Any health insurance on the employees, sir, premium paid can be debited to PNL account. Bonus or commission, sir, as an employer, have you paid any bonus or commission? Then it can be debited to PNL account. Employer's contribution, employer's contribution, employer's contribution. Are you an employer? Are you contribute to RPF or approved superannuation fund? That can be debited to PNL account. To pension fund specified under ATCCD, that can be debited to PNL account. To approved gratuity fund, <laughs> that can be debited to PNL account. Whereas employees' contribution to RPF or approved superannuation fund, that can also be debited to PNL account. That means if you are an employer this item can be debited to PNL account number one health insurance number two bonus or commission then employers contribution to three places and employees contribution can be debited to PNL account fantastic to the court now I'm moving to the next category of discussion entity based discussion if you are having any discount on zero coupon bond, if you are having any discount on zero coupon bond, that can be debited to PNL account. And expenditure on promoting family planning, this is applicable only for company. Sometimes they may give a PNL account of an individual and they say that to promoting in a planning, family planning, they debit that item to the PNL account, should be in the back, added back, is what the discussion is all about. So, with this, the important sir 36 also comes to an end so expenditure on promoting family planning is incurred by a company so that will be allowed as deduction only for a company for others it won't be allowed as a deduction right the last two section of deduction 37 and 38 my dear lovable students sir any expenditure other than specifically mentioned in 30 to 36 that means you have incurred an expenditure but it is not covered under 30 to 36 then it will be allowed as deduction expenditure not to be capital expenditure such expenditure should not be capital in nature it should not be personal expenditure of the SSE it should not be personal in nature it should be wholly and exclusively for the purpose of business or profession and unlawful expenditure cannot be claimed as deduction illegal payment cannot be claimed as deduction CSR expenditure is not allowable other than this item you can claim it as deduction under section 37 we already discussed section 38 where any building, machinery, plant or furniture is not exclusively used for business or profession. Some part you are using for business or profession, some part you are using for other than business or profession. Then deduction under 30, 31 and 32 will be available only for the fair proportion as per section N838 is what the discussion is all about. With this we are done with the deduction part my dear lovable students. So what and all items can be debited to PNL account is what the deduction is all about. So in that deduction what and all you have understood to number one sir section 30 what is section 30 expenditure relating to building all the expenditure relating to building can be debited to PNL account to section 31 what is section 31 expenditure relating to plant machinery and furniture can be debited to PNL account to section 32 what is section 32 depreciation related item can be debited to PNL account section 33 a b is applicable only for tea coffee or rubber sir then to section 35 that is expenditure on scientific research can be debited to PNL account then to section 35 a d specified business can be debited to PNL account then to section 
36 is other deduction and to section 37 is general deduction and to section 38 is asset used for both business and personal these three sections will be governed by section 38 this is what we have discussed till now what are the items should not be debited to PNL account is called as disallowance now if, if the items whatever I am going to say if debited to PNL account should be added back so these are the items for example will be sir I will explain you one by one by one sir you have made any payment to a non-resident on which TDS is liable to be deducted no TDS has been deducted or detected TDS has not been paid to the credit of the central government before filing the return of income then that expenditure 100% should be disallowed so what is the discussion in our PNL account for example to expenses A we have debited to PNL account this expense A has been paid to a non-resident on which actually TDS is liable to be deducted. No TDS has been deducted or detected TDS has not been paid to the credit of the central government. Then 100% of the expenses debited to PNL account should be added back. For example, the next one, if you make any payment to a resident, if you make any payment to a resident, on which TDS is liable to be deducted. For example, you have debited expense B to the PNL account on which TDS is liable to be deducted. No TDS has been deducted or deducted TDS has not been paid to the credit of the central government and 30% of the expense debited to PNL account should be disallowed. That's what the next one. Then in your PNL account to income tax, if any income tax debited to PNL account should be added back because we are calculating the amount of income tax only. So that income tax should not be debited to PNL account. Next one, salary payable outside India. You have debited to salary. Actually, the salary is payable outside India to a non-resident on which TDS is liable to be deducted. No TDS has been deducted. Then 100% of the expense should be added back. Sir, in your PNL account as an employer, just now we have studied as per section 36. Section 36, we understood that, my dear lovable students. Sir, employer's contribution, employer's contribution, employer's contribution. Employer can contribute to recognize student fund. If you want to claim it as employer contribution as deduction, then, my dear lovable students, Sir, you have to the employer has to arrange the TDS facility. If the TDS facility is not arranged, that 100% should be disallowed as per section 40A subsection 4. Then tax on non-monetary perquisite. Are you an employee? Employer, are you paying tax on non-monetary perquisite to an employee? That tax on non-monetary perquisite should not be debited to PNL account. If you are debiting that to PNL account, 100% disallowance will come, my dear lovable students. So, this is the summary of 40 small a series payment to non resident, payment to resident, and taxes and fees. If these items debited to PNL account, we will add back. 40A subsection 1 is payment to non resident on which TDS is liable to be deducted. No TDS has been deducted. Deducted TDS has not been paid to the credit of the central government. Then 100% of the expenditure will be disallowed. 40A subsection 3 salary payable outside India on which TDS is liable to be deducted, no TDS has been deducted, then uh, or which has been not been credited to the PNL, uh, central government, then 100% always payment to non-resident, 100% disallowance. Whereas payment to resident, any payment to resident on which TDS is liable to be deducted, no TDS has been deducted or deducted TDS has not been paid to the credit of the central government, then 30% disallowance. 40 a subsection 2 is income tax. Any income tax debited to PNL account should be added back. 40A subsection 4 is the TDS facility. Sir, TDS facility, my dear lovable students, you, as an employer, I am contributing to a, any recognized student fund on which no TDS facility arrangement has been made. Then that amount cannot be debited to PNL account and no deduction under section 36. 40A subsection 5, that is tax on non-monetary perquisite. Sir, someone's mic is on. Could you please off it? It is getting disturbance for the others. Right. So, 40A subsection 5 tax on non monetary perquisite. Sir, as an employer, if I pay tax on non monetary perquisite debited to PNL account, then my dear lovable students, it should be added back. So, this is what 40 small a series is all about. Now, we are having a very important section called a section 40B. This will be tested in examination. 
Sir, if the assessee is a partnership firm, my dear lovable students, the partnership firm can debit extra two items to the p and account. Number one, two, sir, interest, that is remuneration to partners. Number one is remuneration to partners. So, remuneration to non-working partner in case of any firm. Accessible as such or LLP, very important provision. Listen very carefully, 40B provision, right? Remuneration to non-working partner. Sir, the partnership firm should pay only to a working partner. Partnership firm should not pay to a non-working partner. Point number one. Remuneration to a working partner not authorized by the deed. The partnership firm is paying only to a working partner, but it is not authorized by the partnership deed should be disallowed. Remuneration to a working partner or interest to a partner authorized by the deed, but relates to an earlier period. We are paying remuneration but not relates to the current period it relates to an earlier period then my dear lovable students it is not allowed as a deduction interest to any partner in excess of 12 percentage so as per 40b what is the limit 12 percentage is the limit are you paying more than 12 percent then that extra should be added back remuneration to a sir working partner is based upon book profit that book profit should be classified into two category on first three lakh and the balance my dear lovable students on the first three lakh either one lakh fifty thousand rupees or 90 percentage of book profit then whichever is higher on the balance 60 percentage is allowed my dear lovable students so this is the limit covered in 40b 40b is applicable to partnership firm are you a partnership firm you can pay sir either interest or remuneration to the partners interest or remuneration to the partners sir very important provision this is, should be paid only to a working partner it should be authorized in the deed it should be what man sir only the, for the current period not related to a previous period and it is based upon book profit that book profit can be classified into two categories first three lakh rupees and balance first three lakh rupees one lakh fifty thousand rupees or ninety percent of book profit whichever is higher on the balance it is sixty percentage which is the limit with this 40 smallest series comes to an end i'm moving into 40 big a series now in order to reduce the net profit my dear lovable students this is the provision man i am debiting to p and l account you know the debiting to p and l account is for example i am debiting salary this salary i am paying to a related party the normal market price of this salary is only one lakh fifty thousand but intentionally i am paying two lakh fifty thousand how much extra i have paid one lakh rupees i have paid this one lakh should be added back this one lakh should be added back so that's what they are saying assessee incur any expenditure or any payment made to a specified person which is excessive or unreasonable should be added back this is what 40a subsection 2 sir in my p and l account i have incurred expenses for example to expenses sir why i have incurred why i am using y z a b c or some category of expenses this i have paid either by way of cash there is a cash payment in a single day he exceeds rupees 10,000 or 35,000 as the case may be then the entire expense debited to PNL account should be added back. This is covered in 40A subsection 3. But rule 6DD is there. What rule 6DD is saying that even if you have made the payment in cash my dear lovable students then still it will be allowed as a reduction disallowance will not be applicable for example bank or government agriculture exemptions or instrument for example if you make any payment to rbi or banking company or sbi any cooperative bank any primary agriculture credit society lic or government then if you are making payment to these guys in cash more than 10,000 or 35,000 then disallowance will not come then payment made for agriculture or forest produce or produce of animal husbandry fish or fishery product product of horticulture apiculture product manufacture without aid of power if you are making payment to agriculture related item sir you can make payment 10,000 or 35,000 payment made in village or town with no banking facility retirement benefits up to 50,000 salary to employ temporarily posted in a place other than normal place of duty more than 15 days payment to agent or payment by authorized dealer of forex if you are making sir to these guys then 40a subsection 3 will not get attracted if you are making payment by letter of credit telegraphic transfer debit card credit card adjusting entry bill of exchange then also my dear lovable students sir 40a subsection 3 disallowance will not be applicable so what is 40a subsection 2 related party transaction what is 40a subsection 3 
कैश पेमेंट एक्सीडिंग टेन थाउजेंड और थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड आज तक केस में भी वॉट इज फोर्टी ए सबसेक्शन सेवन प्रोविशन फॉर ग्रेचुएटी दैट मीन्स इन यूर पी एंड अकाउंट यू आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग टू प्रोविशन फॉर वॉट ग्रेचुएटी यू आर नॉट मेकिंग द रियल पेमेंट यू आर जस्ट डिबिटिंग द प्रोविशन फॉर ग्रेचुएटी देन डिस अलाउड एज पर सेक्शन फोर्टी ए सबसेक्शन सेवन राइट That's what employer contribution to gratuity provision created shall be disallowed. Only actual payment is allowed as per section thirty six subsection one clause five. That means if you are just creating a provision, it should be added back. Added back. Now forty eight subsection nine contribution to end fund. Employer contribution to unregnis fund should be disallowed. That means employer can contribute to various fund to unregnis fund should be disallowed under section forty eight subsection. Nine. These are the disallowance part, my dear lovable students. So we are having thirty-seven subsection two B. That means if you are contributing anything to a political party, it should be added back. And forty smallest series is there. Forty biggest series is there. The consolidation of forty smallest series is you are supposed to detect TDS, but you have not detected the TDS. Then either hundred percentage in case of non-resident and thirty percentage in case of resident should be added back. Now, with regard to 40 big A series, any related party transaction 40A subsection 2, or cash payment exceeding 10,000 or 35,000 40A subsection 3, or provision for gratuity 40A subsection 7, and contribution to unorganized fund 40A subsection 9, debited to P&L account should be added back. We are having 43B. 43B is deduction on actual payment basis. That means if these items debited to P&L account, my dear lovable students. It should be paid before filing the return of income. Otherwise, it should be added back. Number one, any tax duty cess or any fees payable. You never pay under the account. You are debiting any tax duty cess or fees payable. For example, this has been debited to who? Any what tax duty cess or what payable? Fees payable. If these items has been debited to pay under the account, my dear lovable students, this should be paid before filing the return of income. Otherwise, it should be added. Back. Interest on loan or advance payable to scheduled bank or interest on loan payable to public financial institution or in NBFC to interest on borrowed capital, borrowed capital to public financial institution to scheduled bank or NBFC. You have to check whether you have paid before filing the return of income or not. Or any sum payable by an employer in lieu of sir leave salary to the employee, bonus or commission to employee, or employer's contribution to any fund for the welfare of the. Employees, so leave salary to employees. If as an employer, have you paid any leave salary? That should be paid before filing the return of income. Then to a bonus or commission to employees or employers contribution. Who's contribution? Employers contribution to any fund for the welfare of the employees. Any fund for the welfare of the employees. Some payable to Indian Railway for use of what asset? Railway asset. Are you liable to pay any amount to Indian Railway? Then that amount can be debited to what account, man? P and L account, right, man? So any tax duty cess or fees payable, any interest payable to scheduled bank, any interest payable to financial institution, any sum payable as an employer as leave salary or what bonus or commission to employee or employer's contribution to any fund for the welfare of the employees or any sum payable to railway authorities debited to P and L account should be added back. With this, we are done with the next part that is. Disallowance. Now moving to the procedure aspects. From here onwards, it's normal PGBP. 44A compels the maintenance of books of accounts. For that, section 44A classified into two category: 44A subsection one and 44A subsection. Sir, 44A subsection one is applicable to 12 notified professionals. If you are a 12 notified professional, like sir, law, medicine, accountancy, architecture, interior decorators, technical consultancy, authorized representative, film artist, IT professional, company secretary, engineers, and Other notified professional, these professionals are required to maintain notified books of accounts only if the total receipt exceeds one lakh fifty thousand. In all the three immediately preceding previous years, sir, in the all the three immediately preceding previous years, my dear lovable students, if the turnover or gross receipts exceeds one lakh fifty thousand, then they are compulsory liable to maintain. That means they are supposed to maintain notified books of accounts. What are the notified books of accounts? Cash book, journal, ledger, carbon copies of the bill, and original bills. 
whereas 44 aa subsection 2 is other assessee not the notified professionals what is with regard to other assessee are you an individual or huf then you have to check have your total income exceed 2 lakh or if the total turnover or gross receipt is exceeding 25 lakh then you are compulsory liable to maintain other than individual or hf is your total income exceed 1 lakh 20000 or sir turnover or gross receipts exceed 10 lakh then you are compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts i am an assessee who covered under 44 ae 44 bb and 44 triple b that means presumptive taxation case and i am not declaring the income as the presumptive rate then my dear lovable students then i am compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts sir i covered under 44 ad which is again a presumptive taxation but i am not declaring the presumptive root my dear lovable students then i am liable to maintain books of accounts provided if my income exceed the maximum amount not chargeable to tax whereas assessee covered under 44 ada that is uh, what presumptive taxation for professional i am supposed to maintain books of accounts if i am declaring the profit which is less than the presumptive rate plus my income exceed the basic exemption if you are not maintaining books of accounts the penalty will be under section 271a which may be extended up to this is what 44 aa so 44 aa subsection 1 is applicable to notified professional and 44 44 aa subsection 2 is applicable to other than notified professionals coming to 44 ab compulsory tax audit you have to check whether you are a businessman or professional are you a businessman then check is your turnover exceeds 1 crore up to 10 crore up to 1 crore no one is liable to do tax audit exceed 10 crore everyone is liable to do tax audit between 1 crore and 10 crore 5% proviso condition is there if everything is within 5% condition satisfied you are not liable to do tax audit with regard to professional there is only one cut off date cut off rate which is 50 lakhs is your turnover exceed 50 lakh once it exceeds 50 lakh my dear lovable students then you are compulsory liable to do tax audit the same presumptive taxation three people i am a person who are covered under 44 ae 44 bb 44 triple b and i am declaring a profit less than the presumptive rate then i am compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts and compulsory liable to do tax audit whereas 44 ad cases my dear lovable students i have decided to declare an income which is less than the presumptive income and if my income exceed the basic assumption limit then i am compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts under 44a and compulsory liable to do tax audit then if i am covered under 44 ada cases my dear lovable students are i going to declare an income less than the presumptive income and if my income exceed then i am compulsory liable to tax audit for non compliance of 44 ab penalty under section 271 b will be coming which is either 0.5% of the total sales or turnover or 150000 whichever is lower this is the amount of penalty my dear lovable students so the assessee presumptive taxation assessee turnover limit is how much crore 2 crore other than presumptive taxation assessee turnover limit of 1 crore or 10 crore as the that means are you We traveling through 44 AD presumptive taxation, then up to 2 crore, sir. Instead of 1 crore, the limit will be enhanced to 2 crore. Ni rendu kodi, two up to 2 crore. You are not supposed to maintain books of accounts and also liable to do tax audit. 41 deemed profit is what our discussion. Sir, remission or cessation of trading liability. For example, my dear lovable students, this is the P and L account. For example, you have made to purchase us to the creditors, right, sir? but credit tax has given some discount to you so by what received discount received this will be treated as income in the head pgbp under section 41 sub section 1 my dear lovable students so remission or cessation of trading liability will be treated as pgbp income whereas 41 sub section 2 balance in charge this is applicable only for power sector undertaking following slm method sr then if you are selling an individual asset more than the book value but up to the cost will be treated as balancing charge under section 41 sub section 2 41 sub section 3 sale of asset used for scientific research that means you are having an asset which has been used for scientific research without being put to use that asset for normal business you have sold that asset then either the sale price or the deduction claimed under section 35 which are is lower will be treated as deemed income pgbp income 41 sub section for bad debts recovered sir if any bad debts that can be debited to pnl account as a deduction but in future you are recovering that bad debt then that can be treated as a 
deemed income for example to bad debt bad debt can we claim it as a deduction under section 36 subsection 1 class 7 whereas by what recovered bad debt recovered should be treated as an income as per 41 subsection 4 Profit from discontinued business, if any business has been discontinued and from that discontinued business are you getting any profit that can be credited to PNL account and will be treated as deemed income. That's what 41 subsection 5 is all about. Now, little important topic man, 44 AD, 44 ADA, 44 AE. What is 44 AD? As I see engaged in the business, presumptive taxation amendment area which will be tested in examination. Who is the eligible SSC? which is a resident individual, a resident HUF, a resident partnership firm, except LLP, who has not claimed deduction under 10 AA, 80 IA to 80 RRB. That means the SSE should not claim deduction under 10 AA, 80 IA to 80. What is eligible business? Any business other than 44 AE business, because for 44 AE we are having a separate section, whose total turnover or gross receipts in the previous year is less than or equal to that means the limit is equal to 2 crore but for our examination they have increased the limit to 3 crores correct yes, any business other than 44 a business whose total turnover or gross receipts in the previous year is less than or equal to 300 lakhs if the aggregate cash receipts in the previous year is less than or equal to 5 percentage of the total turnover or gross receipts that means if the total cash transaction is within 5 percentage then instead of 2 crore you can increase that 2 crore to how much crore 3 crore this is an amendment for our examination so is the presumptive rate applicable for our examination is 2 crore or 3 crore both are applicable sir if the cash dealings is more than 5 percent then 3 crore the, sir less than less than less than 5 percent 3 crore more than 2 crores Presumptive income either 8 percentage or 6 percentage as the case may be. If you are the, for the cash component, you have to declare higher rate of 8 percentage. For other than cash component, you have to declare 6 percentage. Is it required to what maintain books of accounts? Sir, if you are declaring less than 8 percent or 6 percentage, then you are compulsory liable to maintain and compulsory liable to do. How to compute the advance tax and WDV? You have to calculate or pay the advance tax in one go that is on or before 15th of March. And you have to calculate the WDV as if the depreciation is allowed and but no deduction under 30 to 38 will be applicable. For whom 44 ADA will be applicable? 44 ADA will be applicable to 12 notified professional, law, medicine, accountancy, architecture, interior, decorators, technical consultancy, authorized representative, film artist, IT professional, company secretary. Sir, even for this guys, they have increased the limit from 50 lakhs to 75 lakhs, my dear lovable students, provided the cash dealings is within 5 percentage. So, earlier it was 50 lakhs limit, but for our examination, it has been enhanced to 75 lakhs. So, what is the presumptive rate? 50 percentage. That presumptive rate is 8 percentage or 6 percentage as the here it is how much percent? Now. Are you required to maintain books of accounts under 44AA and 44AB? Yes, provided if you are deciding to declare the income which is less than the presumptive income and your income exceeds basic exemption limit, then you are compulsory liable to books of accounts. And uh, advance tax and WDV, you have to pay advance tax in one shot which is on or before 15th of March and you have to calculate the WDV as if depreciation is actually allowed. 44 AE, plying, hiring or leasing of goods carriage, SSE should not own not more than 10 goods carriage at any time during the previous year and business of plying, hiring and leasing of what carriage? Goods carriage. What is the presumptive income? It is based upon whether it is heavy goods vehicle or other than heavy goods vehicle. If it is heavy goods vehicle, it is 1000 per ton per month or part of the month. If it is other than heavy goods vehicle, 7500 per month or part of the month, the requirement of 44 AA and 44 AB. If you are declaring an income which is less than the presumptive income, then you are compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts under 44 AA and you are compulsory liable to do tax audit under section 44. But here advanced tax provisions are different. It is not one shot, it is four installment right now. You have to calculate the WDV as if the depreciation has been actually provided and no deduction under 30 to 38. But in case of partnership firm, salary industry partners is deductible under section 40B. We talked about 40B for the partnership firm. It is based upon book profit, book profit class 1, 2 category. First 3 lakh rupees and balance. First 3 lakh rupees either 90% of the book profit or 1 lakh 50,000 rupees, whichever is lower, whichever is higher and the balance 60 percentage. Income calculated even if vehicle not put to use by but owned by the SSE. Even if you are owning that asset, my dear lovable students, presumptive income will be calculated. Now, we are having very few sections 43A, 43CA and 43B. 
43A means interest on loan taken in foreign currency to acquire capital asset from outside India. That means I have taken a loan from outside India. I am paying that interest. That interest you don't debit or credit to the PNL account. That interest you adjust with the cost of the asset. Are you all ready with me? Yes, so up to the date the asset is put to use, added to the cost of the asset. Exchange fluctuation on interest shall be adjusted from the WDV of the block in the previous year of interest actually paid. Whereas after the date the asset is put to use, my dear lovable students, allowable as revenue expenditure under section 36 subsection 1 clause 3. That means from the date of put to use, you can debit it. Exchange fluctuation on interest shall be allowed as revenue expenditure on accrual basis as per ICDS. That means what they are trying to say, my dear lovable students, from the date of acquiring the asset till the date of put to use, you have to capitalize. From the date of put to use, you have to treat it as revenue expenditure. What is 43CA? If you are having any land building or both, and if you are holding that as N in trade, stock in trade, then provisions of 43CA is applicable. If an SSE transfer any land building or both for a value less than the stamp duty value, and the stamp duty value exceeds 110% of the consideration, then stamp duty value should be treated as the full value of consideration. We are having two stamp duty value, stamp duty value as on date of agreement and stamp duty value as on date of transfer you can take stamp duty value as a date of agreement provided if the advance has been paid by your account pay check or account pay bank draft or electronic clearing system as may be prescribed now sir this is the structure of pgbp pgbp can be classified into five category what and all items that can be debited to pnl account are called as deduction what and all item that cannot be debited to pnl account are called as disallowance Sir, now the procedural aspects, who and all is supposed to maintain books of accounts, who and all are supposed to do the tax audit, what are the deemed income, that is the other income which will be taxable under the head PGBP. And my dear lovable students, sir, presumptive taxation, I am not interested to follow this much lengthy process, then follow presumptive taxation which has 44 EAD and 44 EADA and 44 EAE. These are the presumptive taxation applicable to resident and certain clarificatory 43 series like 43A, 43A, all those stuff, my dear lovable students. Sir, with this, we can say that we are through with the overview of the subject profits and gains of business or profession. Sir, very, very, very happy afternoon to all. Happy afternoon, sir. Sir, we are going to start a brilliant, fantastic, outstanding, important chapter for examination called as Profits and Gains of Business or Profession. This is the weightage of the chapter is 25 mark. With this background, straight away I am moving into illustration number one. Shall we? Yes, sir. Mr. X, a proprietor engaged in manufacturing, manufacturing, manufacturing. They are entitled for additional depreciation under section 32, subsection 1, class 2A. Yes, Furnishes the following particulars. Opening balance of plant and machinery as on 1-4-2023. That means our previous year, correct? Yes, that is WDV as on 31-3-2023. After reducing depreciation for previous year, 22-23 is ethyl lakh. So, 30 lakhs is the opening WDV. Number of block of asset, the opening WDV, 30 lakhs. Yes, sir. New, new new that means it is not second hand plant and machinery it is yes, new plant sir. and machinery purchased and put to use on 8 6 2023 yeah? yes, sir. more than 180 days yes, sir. they are entitled for normal depreciation at the rate of 15 percentage and additional depreciation at the rate of 20 new new yes, new plant and machinery acquired and put to use on 15 12 2023 yeah? yes, which is less than 180 days hey, where are the the Less than 180 days. Since it is less than 180 days, it is entitled for half the rate of normal depreciation and half the rate of <laughs> computer, 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 40 percentage. Correct? Yes, Plant and machinery is 15 percent block, computer is 40 percent block. Yes, Acquired and installed in office, 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 not entitled for additional depreciation. Yes, Shipper aircraft, second hand planter machinery, planter machinery installed in office or place of residence, including guest house. Premises on 21 1 2024, less than 180 days, it is only entitled for. Compute the amount of depreciation and additional depreciation for the assessment year 24-25. Mr. Excess excise the option of shifting out of the inner tax regime. If you shift out of the default tax regime, then only you are entitled for additional depreciation. Otherwise, you are not entitled for additional depreciation as per section 32, subsection 1, class 2A. Provided under 115 BAC, subsection 1A. Assume that all the assets were purchased with NFA check. Otherwise, 40A, subsection 3 will get attracted. Cash payment exceeding 10,000 or 35,000 as well. Then you are not entitled for depreciation under section 32. Clarity. Yes, sir. So you are, you are having two blocks are there. Yes, sir. 
block at the rate of 15 percent one block yes, sir. block at the rate of 40 percentage another block yes, sir. is the rate of depreciation changing not changing then you have to put it as two different block. Up in your particulars, rent column for no. Yeah, now only 15 percentage in on a So computation of depreciation and additional depreciation for assessment year 24 25. Yeah, yes, shall we calculate first normal depreciation? Yes, sir. sir, first one euro lakh rupees opening WDV 30 lakhs. So opening WDV is 30 lakhs and addition during the era. Yes, sir. sir, some portion is more than 180 days. Sir. So this is more than 18 days. This is also more than 18 days. Yes, sir. Upper 30 lakhs plus 20 lakh. 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs. Clear. Yes, sir. On this 50 lakh, you are entitled for 15 percent. Yes, sir. Why you are entitled for 15 percent? You have put to use for more than. Upper calculator, sir. 50 lakh into 15 percent comes to 7 lakh 50 thousand. Right, ah. Yes, sir. Sir, this 8 lakhs will also constitute the same block, ah. Yes, sir. But it has been put to use for less than 180 days, ah. Yes, sir. Up 8 lakhs into 30 percent. 7.5 percentage and a 15 percentage or a 50 percentage correct yes, up 8 lakhs into 7.5 percentage comes to 60,000 are you comfortable with this sir? Yes, sir. okay man the next block computer is 40 percentage yes, is this asset put to use for more than 180 days less than 180 days yes, so it is entitled only for half the rate of the full depreciation right yes, up 40 percent or 50 percentage come to so 3 lakhs into 20 percentage comes to 60,000. Are you clear with the normal depreciation? Yes, sir. I have done with the normal depreciation. Shall I move into the additional depreciation? Yes, sir. Additional depreciation is a one-time benefit. 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 That means on this opening WDV, you would have already claimed the additional depreciation the last year. Yes, sir. But for this new plant and machinery, this is the first year. Yes, sir. And this is eligible for additional depreciation. Yes, sir. Which is more than 180 days. Yes, sir. Upper 20 lakhs into 20 percentage comes how much? 4 lakhs. Clarity? Yes, sir. 8 lakhs into 10 percentage because the rate is 20 percentage, but it has been put to use for less than? So 50 percentage of the total comes to? So total comes how much? 80. 80,000 total comes to 4 lakh is the total hello sir entitled for and uh, computer is not entitled for additional depreciation yes, because it has been installed in office yes, so the additional depreciation attributable to is 4 lakh plus 80,000 comes to 4 lakh plus uh, sir 8 lakh 10,000 comes to total at 12 lakh 90,000 is the total depreciation yes, for the computer only what depreciation is allowed there will not be any other depreciation Total comes to 60,000 with this illustration number one comes to one end. So, computation of WDV of plant and machinery opening WDV 30 lakh rupees. Yes, sir. Add plant and machinery purchase from 86. How much lakh? This has been put to use for more than add plant and machinery acquired on 15 12 2023. Comes to 8 lakh. This has been put to use for less than computer acquired and installed in office provides first column or second column because it's second block. So the WDV as on 31 to 2024, 58 lakhs and 3 lakh, correct? Yes, sir. On this 58 lakh, I can bifurcate that into 50 lakhs and 8 lakhs, sir. Yes, sir. Because 50 lakhs is more than 180 days and 8 lakhs is less than 180 days, sir. Yes, sir. That 50 lakhs is entitled for full rate of depreciation. Yes, sir. Whereas 8 lakh is entitled for only half the rate of depreciation. Yes, sir. So this 50 lakhs is more than 180 days and 8 lakhs is less than 180 days. Yes, sir. Whereas only 3 lakh is there in the block of the computer, which is full fully less than 180 days. Yes, sir. So on this 58 lakhs, I have bifurcated and calculated up. Yes, sir. Where an asset acquired during the previous year is put to use for less than one days in that previous year, then the amount of deduction allowed as normal depreciation and additional depreciation would be restricted to 80 percent of the amount computer records with the prescribed percentage. Yes, so that 50 percentage restriction will be applicable to both what depreciation and what depreciation. <laughs> Therefore, normal depreciation of the plant and machine be acquired and put to use on 15 12 2023 in the compared computer acquired and installed on 2 1 2024 is restricted to 80 percent. 15 percent or 50 percentage come to 7.5 percentage yes, and 40 percent or 50 percent come to 20 percentage yes, the additional depreciation of the set planter machine is restricted to how much yes, being 10 percentage that is 50 percentage of 20 percentage of 8 lakh correct yes, this unclaimed 10 percentage can be claimed in the immediately succeeding previous year yes, in the remaining yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir mr x is eligible for any depreciation yes, since he has excised the option of shifting out of the default energy yes, provided under section 115 bsc subsection 
Yes, sir. Since he has opted out of the default tax regime, is entitled for additional depreciation. Yes, sir. As for the third proviso to 32, subsection 1, class 2, that is WDVR. Yes, sir. Balance additional depreciation method of 80,000, being 50% of how much? Yes, Would be allowed as deduction in assessment year 25, 26, sir. Yes, sir. That is unclaimed additional depreciation. The current year can be claimed in the next year, sir. Yes, sir. As for section 32, subsection 1, class 2, ended depreciation. Yes, is allowable in case of new plant and machinery or plant acquired or installed after 31 2005 yes, sir. by an SSE engaged in the business of manufacturer within production or article or thing at the rate of ethanol person on yes, actual sir. cost of such machinery or plant yes, in order to claim additional depreciation assets should satisfy two conditions yes, assets should invest in new plant and machinery assets should engage the production or manufacturer in article or thing or generation distribution of power yes, however additional depreciation shall not be allowed in respect of inter and machinery or plant installed in any premises oh, residential accommodation or in any in house yes, Yes, sir, because ship and aircraft, second plant machine, plant machine installed in office or place of business, including the source or office place or road transport vehicle or any plant machine for its entire cost has been allowed as reduction under the Income Tax Act. It's not entered for additional depreciation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Accordingly, additional depreciation is not allowable on computer installed in the end of oh, yes, yes, With this, I can declare that I am done with illustration number one. My dear lovable students, I just have you only one question. Are you comfortable with illustration number one? Yes, sir. Try to be comfortable because when you are feeling that comfortable and when you are enjoying that, yes, every illustration I am set, then your mind will accept that. Hey, PGBP and not chapter. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. It's not as easy as you think, man. We have to bring that. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Ap sir. Or konda de enjoy ponu sir. Illustration number one enjoy ponu pakala. Yes, sir. Nariya me students will come. Super, sir. Fantastic. I am moving into illustration number two. Sir, illustration number two is forty-three subsection one. Another. 43 subsection, 43, subsection 1. 43 subsection 1 are you remembering the wdv format yes sir, yes, sir. wdv format yes sir. yes sir wdv format is opening wdv yes, add additions during the year in that addition during the year we will be adding the actual cost yes, sir. sometimes actual cost will not be the actual cost now cost could to longer and cost could the actual cost sometimes in a other way select in a car the car other part of the illustration number two like a grand a car purchased by dr soman on 10 8 20 20 for how much rupees for in the use is brought into per in a professional use on 17 2023 by him when its market value was how much up in your business man i lost to burn your car on here get the car the car one minute personal use car personal use car car one minute the business as a career are the company or over was a rent was a pick up in a panel in a okay you know in the use car use for that so you have introduced the car hello sir to the end of once it is a business asset, it is entitled for depreciation under section 32. Yes, sir. Because in order to claim depreciation under section 32, assets should satisfy four conditions. Yes, sir. Asset should be used for the purpose of business or profession. Yes, Here, earlier the asset was not used for business or profession. Yes, sir. It is not entitled for depreciation under section 32. Yes, sir. Now you have brought that asset for the purpose of business or profession. Yes, sir. Compute the actual dash of the car. Oh, and amount of depreciation for the assessment year 24-25, assuming the rate of depreciation to be a third percentage. This is called as cost of acquisition in special cases. Cost of acquisition in. This is equal to section 49 in the capital gain. Yes, this is equal to section 49 in the capital gain. Yes, the parallel section is section 43 in the PGBP, correct? Yes, as per section 43, subsection 1, the expression in the cost. cost. Would mean the actual cost of asset to the ARK. The purchase price is how much? Yes, is therefore the actual cost the car to NSA Dr. Soman, correct? Yes, sir. Market value on the date when the asset is entered to use is not relevant. Market value put it on. As per section 43, subsection 1, actual cost means actual cost. That means when I have bought the car, when I have bought the car, 2020, correct? Have I used that car for the purpose of business? It is not entitled for? Depreciation under section after one or two or three years I am introducing. Yes, sir. That means my dear lovable students, actual cost means in the cost. Actual cost, actual cost means in the cost. cost. Therefore, amount of depreciation on car as per section in a two for assessment year 24-25 would be sir 5 lakh 25,000 into thousand comes to 78,000 in 50. Why this question has been asked by ICI? Hello, sir. It's because of explanation number five. It's because of explanation number five. Sir, actually, in the question, I critically analyze for me. And now, I'm going to get a car. One year, car file at 25,000. Could the one in a you have to provide the notional depreciation. Another 
Yes, sir. I have used that car for the purpose of personal. Yes, sir. So how many years I have used that car for the purpose of personal? Adana enna pannite minus pannite. Irikara da na vandu cost nu solli 43 subsection 1 la solano. Yes, sir. But what I am saying is whatever actual cost is actual cost. Yes, sir. Which is beneficial to me. Yes, sir. Because I can claim more depreciation. Yes, sir. Sir, what the ICAI want to test in this is. There is an explanation called as explanation number five. There is an explanation called as explanation called as explanation number five. Explanation called as explanation number five. Sir, this is what explanation number five. Building. So le. Previously used by the property of the what? Explanation number five is applicable only for building, not for car. Are you ready with me? Yes, sir. Where a building which was previously the property of the SSC is brought into use for the purpose of what or what? Its actual cost to the SSC shall be the actual cost of the building to the SSC as reduced by. अपनी minus पर नॉन करेक्ट आ. By an amount equal to the depreciation calculated at the N I N F O S. On that date, that would have been allowable had the building been used for the purpose of N I N F O S. And the building you want to business or profession can be used for near the depreciation claim for near pia. Yes sir. I have to take the actual cost minus the notional depreciation as if the depreciation this building has been used for the purpose of business or profession. Are you really with me? Yes sir. Since the date of its acquisition by the asset. Yes sir. Ipani yenna padichiru pe na explanation number five building ne padichiru pe. Yes sir. Exam hoy kaar padi pani. Yes sir. Only building na highlight ko dukma thani. Are you really with me? Yes sir. Ni yenna pannai na okay previously used by the असेसी वी हैव टू टेक द कॉस्ट माइनस एन डिप्रेशिएशन नॉशनल डिप्रेशिएशन वी विल गेट द नेट कॉस्ट दैट नेट कॉस्ट विल बी द एक्चुअल कॉस्ट एस पर 43 सबसेक्शन आर यू रियली विद मी देन दे विल से दैट सितंबर हेलो सर बिकॉज एक्सप्लेनेशन नंबर 5 इज टॉकिंग ओनली अबाउट फॉर नॉट द अदर एसेट फॉर अदर एसेट एक्चुअल कॉस्ट मींस Sir, whether you have any sir noted this or not is what they are testing. We have noted this now. Hello. Yes, sir. With this, we can say that we are through with uh, illustration number. Adi kuna di explanation five to forty three subsection one. Ipeta na kaat na. Yes, sir. Providing for reduction of any depreciation from the date of acquisition of asset for any use to determine the any cost of asset is applicable only in case of. Which is initially acquired for any use and later brought into professional use. It is not applicable in respect of. अध कारण में तो ले अदर इंदर से तार नल से री अप एक्सप्लेनेशन नंबर फाइव इस अप्लिकेबल ओनली फॉर. इट डेट एक्सप्लेनेशन इस नॉट अप्लिकेबल फॉर. For other asset, my dear lovable students, hello. Yes, sir. Actual cost means actual cost. Clarity. Yes, sir. I'm moving into illustration number three. I'm going to go there. Yes, sir. Sir, comfortable. Sir, sir, illustration number one, two, three. I appreciate you. Sir, sir, enjoy. Sir, enjoy. All right. Illustration number three is the target with regard to the depreciation. A newly qualified chartered accountant, Mr. Dawal. A newly qualified chartered accountant, Mr. Dawal. A newly qualified chartered accountant, Mr. Dawal. He is not engaged in manufacturing. Yes, sir. He is not entering for additional depreciation. Yes, sir. Because he is in the field of profession. Yes, sir. Of the earning law, of the dawal. Commence to practice and has acquired the following asset in his office during the financial year 23-24 at a cost shown against each item. Ah. Yes, sir. Calculate the amount of debt that can be claimed from his annual income. For assessment year twenty four twenty five, assuming that all the assets were purchased with N P E check, that means provisions of forty A subsection three will not be. Shall I proceed? Ah, yes, if any N P E check, date of acquisition is date when put to use. What is the relevant date? Date when put to use. So date of acquisition put it on. Clarity. Yes, sir. Computer including computer software. Okay, ba. How many percent? Forty percent is computer U P S. 40 percent is correct. A computer printer, 40 percent is books, books, books. Other than annual publication, how much percent is? Office furniture, laptop, 40 percent is because laptop is also a computer. Yes sir. Yes sir. Are you having different rate? Different rate. Yes sir. All the 40 percent one block, 10 percent is another block. Easy. Yes sir. Now what you are supposed to say is whether it is more than one eighty days or? They put to use only on first October, first October to thirty first March. More than eight October, less than one eighty days. First October, more than first April, first April, eight October. Shall we? We are supposed to compute only the annual depreciation. 
We are not supposed to calculate the computation of DEP allowable for assessment day 24-25. Yes, sir. Block number one, block number two. Why we are having two blocks? Question arises. Yes, sir. Block number one is ethanol percentage. Block number two. Shall we work out? Yes, sir. Block number one, yaar mutton na orva. Furniture mutton na orva. Correcta. Yes, sir. Which is how much? Three lakhs. Three lakhs. Yappa puttu use. First year till more than one eighty days. Ethanol percent. Three lakh or ten percent. That's it, man. First block comes to an. Jale. I am coming to second block. Block number two. Plan the rate of depreciation at the rate of computer including any software. Put to use for more than 180 days, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 35,000 mala cost, sir. Yes, sir. In the 35,000, 40 percent applicable. Yes, sir. Because put to use for more than. Yes, sir. 35,000 or 40 percent of 14,000, sir. Will you calculate additional depreciation? Because assessor is not entitled for. Additional depreciation because in order to claim additional depreciation, assets should invest in new plant machinery. Assets should be engaged in production, manufacture, and article thing or generation distribution of power. Can I add? Are you relieved with me? Next one. N U P S computer U P S. Correct? Yes sir. Put to use for less than 180 days, sir. Yes sir. What is the cost given in the question? 8,500 or 40 percent or 20 percent? 8,500 or 20 percentage? Right? Yes sir. Computer printer? Yes sir. Yes sir. Computer printer more than 180 days, less than 180 days. Comes to 12,000. Into ethanol person comes to how much? Laptop less than one day, more than one day. Less than one day. What is the cost? Forty-three thousand into ethanol person comes to how much? Books being any publication, annual publication or other than any publication. Any karma kandra bhi under siri annual publication under siri other than annual publication under siri. Forty percent is up. Here put to use more than one day, less than one day. More than? Okay, brother. Thirteen thousand into ethanol person. The maximum depreciation rate allowable in the income tax act is 40 percentage. Yes, sir. If you take 40 percent, the maximum rate. Yes, sir. Up to 13 thousand or 40 percent comes to the total normal depreciation comes to 34 thousand. So 30 thousand plus 34 thousand 500, 64 thousand. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, when asset is acquired by asset during the end of year and put to use for the purpose of business or profession for a period less than deduction on account of depreciation will be restricted to of the prescribed rate. In this case, since Mr. Dawal commenced this practice in previous year, yes, sir. previous year, yes, sir. previous year, and acquired asset during the NAR, yes, the restriction of depreciation to 50% of the prescribed rate would apply to those assets which have been put to use for less than ethra days yes, in that year, namely laptop, computer, and UPS. Yes, what they are trying to say, you should understand the English very carefully. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. See, in the version of purchase, Pandra. Kai cut in the version of purchase, Pandra. So, le? in the version put to use, Pandra. Yes, Appa matunda 180 days concept hai now. Sir, in the version na purchase pandra, aditha version put to use pandra na 180 days concept hai na avadi. That means dash and dash. Acquisition and put to use should be in the to apply the 180 days concept. Otherwise, 180 days check pannam hai india. Right ha. Then you are entitled for full rate of depreciation. Hello. If a path go, where an asset is acquired by an assessee during the end year, or particular current year, the assessee or asset acquired upon rang, and is put to use for purpose of what or what? For a period less than 30 days. Up in the same way, one day in the same way put to use upon rang. Then the deduction on account of depreciation will be restricted to a person of the prescribed rate. Put here that. In this case, Mr. Dawal commenced his practice in previous year and acquired asset during the Upon the same year, the relevance is the restriction of depreciation to 50 percent of the prescribed rate would apply to those assets which have been put to use for less than in that year, namely laptop and computer and UPS. With this, we can say that out of how many questions we have done with the three questions, my dear lovable students, come put away. You know, we are doing profits and gains of business or profession, right? Once you get a control over PGBP, you can say that you got a control over direct tax, right? Yes, sir. In loop number four, Mr. Gamma, a proprietor started a business of manufacture, manufacture, manufacture <laughs> of tires and tube for motor vehicle on 1 1 2023. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is in financial year 22 23. Yes, sir. Last financial year. Yes, sir. Manufacturing units was set up on 1 5 2023. Yes, sir. Our financial year 23 24 was set up on your Yes. He commenced this manufacturing operation on 1-6-2023. Yes, 
since he has commenced on 162023 it is more than 180 days correct yes, the total cost of planter machinery installed in the unit is how much total factory la 120 crore oda planter machinery install pannirukanga the set planter machinery include enna planter machinery what for etra crore in the kulla 20 crore enna planter machinery it is entitled for normal depreciation but not entitled for additional depreciation right ah and new planter machinery for enna research section 35 correct ah and it is not entitled for even normal or additional depreciation relating to the business of the assessi acquired at a cost of etra crore so less 15 crore sir Yes, sir. Compute the amount of depreciation allowance under section N2 of the Income Tax Act in respect of assessment year 2425, assuming that all the assessor purchase pay of N paycheck. That means provisions of 40A subsection 3 will not be. And say gamma as excise the option of shifting out of default N regime. They are entitled for additional depreciation provided under 115 BAC subsection N A. Line by line, are you able to appreciate or understand? Yes, sir. Upon 120 crores, 20 crores minus 15 crores. How much crore? 85 crore. Is this 85 crore entitled for normal depreciation? Yes, sir. Is this 85 crore entitled for additional depreciation? Yes, sir. Up 85 crore into 15 percentage. Yes, sir. 85 crore into 15 percentage comes to 12.75 crore is a normal depreciation. Correct? Yes, sir. Plus 85 crores into 20 percentage. Yes, sir. 17 crore is a inner depreciation. Yes, is that 85 crores entitled for normal and additional depreciation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Since it has been put to use for more than 18 days, they are entitled for full rate of depreciation. Yes, sir. Up at 12.75 plus 17 comes to? 20. 29.75. Is the one part. Are you all really with me? Yes, sir. Whereas with regard to the 20 crores, which is the second hand planter machinery, they are entitled for any depreciation. So 20 crore only 15 percent has come to 3 crore. 3 crores. That means to this 29.75 crore, shall I add 3 crore? Yes, sir. Up at 29.75 plus 3 crore comes to? 32 point. My dear lovable students, for this 15 crore which has been used for the purpose of scientific research which are covered under section NFI. 35. 35. Not entitled for normal position. And the net puri is not the effect of the net puri. The love is not the effect of the net puri. That means 32.75 crore is the answer. That's it man. 32.75 crore smiles. If you can see that profits and gains of business or profession, any control worry, the only control worry, the so computation of depreciation allowable for the assessment year 2425. Yeah, in the answer of Mr. Gama, total cost of planter machinery, how much? Less used for scientific research, it is not entitled for depreciation at all. Yes, sir. So the remaining eligible is 105 crore. Yes, sir. Normal depreciation at the rate of 15 percentage on 105 crore, 15 point 75 crore. Yes, sir. Sir, normal depreciation potash in a name. Yes, sir. But additional depreciation potash in a name. Yes, sir. Because on the 105 crore, so cool, more than one day, less than one day, say do mail. Yes, sir. Second hand ricky, first hand ricky, correct? Yes, sir. And now are they entitled for normal depreciation? Yes, sir. And on 105 crore, the cost of planter machinery is only entitled, it is only 120 crore. Yes, 120 crore le, sir. Second hand planter machinery hello. 20 crores planter machinery sir. Scientific research hello. 15 crores scientific research section 35 ya. Yeah. Yes, section 35 is subscription class one is talking about revenue expenditure. Yes, 35 is subscription class four is talking about capital expenditure. Yes, that means on the capital expenditure land building or others. Yes, land na yes, building na yes, others na. And others will plant a missionary. Yes, sir. Are they 100% already claimed? Yes, sir. Pin in the normal depression. Pin in the additional depression. Are you really with me? That's it, man. So that 35 crores also could be gone. So 85 crores is what entitled for additional depression. Yes, sir. It is entitled for 20%. Yes, sir. Have you came out of the back route? Yes, sir. So 85 crores over 20% come to 17 crores. Hello. Yes, sir. So 15.75 plus 17 crores comes to 32 point. Depreciation allowable for assessment year 24. Comfortable, not comfortable. I am reading the notes, man. If you want, you can join along with me. 35 subsection 2 class 4. Hey, English theory in class 4. Hello, sir. No depreciation shall be allowed in respect of plant and missionary purchase for inner research. Relating to assessing business since reduction is allowable under section NFI. In respect of such capital expenditure. Yes, sir. Mr. Gama is entitled to any depreciation since he has excised the option of shifting out of the default inner regime. Provided under section 105 BC subsection NA. As per section 32 subsection 1 class NA. Additional depreciation is allowable in case of new plant and missionary or plant acquired or installed after 31 2000. By SSE engaged in internally the business of manufacture of any production or article of thing or generation or distribution of power at the rate of 8% on actual cost of such missionary or 
How are additional depreciation shall not be allowed in respect of inter alia? Sir, they have written the entire PGBP. Correct alia. Yes, any machinery or plant which before its installation by ASI was used either within or outside India by any other person. That means second hand plant or machinery not entitled for additional depreciation. Yes, any machinery or plant the whole or actual cost which is allowed as a deduction. Hello, sir. Yes, in computing the income chargeable under the profits and gains of business or profession of any previous year yes, for any asset, the under person of the NSR cost has been allowed as a. In view of the above provision, additional provision cannot be claimed in respect of second hand plant. Eh? New plant or machinery purchased for any research. Relating to assist business in respect of the whole of the capital expenditure can be claimed as deduction under section 35 of section 1 class. Uh, read with 35 of section 2 class 1 and class 4 with this illu number what? 4. Out of 18 yeah. illustration comes to van. Yeah. I'm going into illustration number 5. Yeah, go to Varaya. Yes, sir. Illu number 5. Mr. A furnishes the following party for the previous year 23-24. Compute the deduction allowable under section 35 for assessment year 24-25. Yeah. Yes, sir. While computing his business income under the head profits and gains of business or profession, if he is paying tax under default tax regime under what? He has excised the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 105 BAC subsection 1A. Yes, sir. A section 35 man. Yes, sir. Sir, in-house research can be claimed under both the root man. Yes, sir. But contribution to outsiders can be claimed only if you are getting out man. Yes, sir. Clear, ah? Huh? Yes. Sir, oh yo, amount paid to the notified approved Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore for any research. They are approved research association. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For any research. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But this can be claimed as direction only if you are. Because this is contribution to. Amount paid to IIT Delhi for approved scientific research program. Yes, sir. This is an approved research association. Yes, sir. Hundred percent. Yes, sir. But this is contribution to outside. Yes, sir. Is entitled to limited deduction only if you are coming out of the yes, amount paid to N Limited. Yes, a company registered in India, yes, which is as its main object of scientific research and development, is approved by the prescribed authority. Yes, sir. This is contribution to outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. This is possible only if you are coming out of the yes, expenditure incurred on inno, sinno, 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 allowed, 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 allowed. Yes, Scientific research and development facilities approved by the prescribed authority relating to his business. Yes, sir. Revenue expenditure 35 subsection 1 class 1 will be applicable. Yes, sir. Capital expenditure including cost of aircraft of land. Put it on. Yes, 7 lakh how much rupees left? Yes, sir. rupees sports. Yes, what is the eligible? Yes, sir. Eligible. Yes, sir. So if Mr. A is paying tax under the default under the regime. Yes, under 115 BAC. Yeah. Yes, sir. Computation of deduction under section 35 for assessment year 2425. Yeah. Yes, sir. Payment for inner research. Yes, sir. Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Yes, sir. Total 1 lakh contributed. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 1 class 2. Yes, sir. IIT Delhi. Yes, sir. 2 lakh 50,000 contributed. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 2 A. Yes, sir. X limited. Yes, sir. 4 lakhs. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 1 class 2 A. Yes, sir. Not allowable under the. Yes, because under the default tax regime, my dear lovable students, only in house research is allowed. Contribution outsiders are not. Yesterday I highlighted. Yes, sir. Expenditure incurred on in house research and development facility. Yes, sir. In expenditure. How much rupees? Three lakhs. Allowed. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 1 class 1. Yes, sir. Capital expenditure excluding cost of land. Yes, sir. Land is not in the way. Yes, sir. 2,50,000. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 1 class 4 is for capital expenditure. Yes, sir. Sir, allowable under the default energy regime. So, 3 lakh 3 lakh allowed. Yes, sir. 2 lakh 50 lakh, 2 lakh 50 thousand allowed. Yes, sir. 3 lakh plus 2 lakh 50 thousand come to 5 lakh. Is a deduction under section. If you are traveling through the. Mr. A has excised the option of shifting out of the. Regime under provided under 105 BSC. Everything is allowed. Yes, sir. Payment for inner research. Indian Institute of Science, 35 subsection 1 class 2. Yes, sir. 1 lakh into ethanol percentage. A 35 alley petra was an exam. Where are limited? Yeah. Okay, and one lakh or hundred percent is comes to IIT Delhi. Yeah. Yes, 35 subsection 2 A. Yes, sir. Under percent is come to X limited 4 lakhs. Yes, sir. 35 subsection 1 class 2 A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hundred percent is comes to expenditure incurred on in house research and development facility. Yeah. Yes, sir. Revenue expenditure 35 subsection 1 class 1. Yeah. Yes, under percent allowed 3 lakh. Yes, sir. Capital expenditure excluding cost of land. Yeah. Yes, sir. Total, sir, 7 lakh 50, 5 lakh exposure, no, remaining 2 lakh 50. Yes, sir. Are the 31 subsection 1 class 4? Yes, sir. 100% allowed? Yes, sir. Comes to 2 lakh. Reduction under section 35 is 8 lakh. That means if you are traveling through the default tax regime only in house, contribution to outsiders, knuckle hair. Yes, sir. Whereas, my dear lovable students, if you are coming out of the. 
the all the reduction under section 35 is no. clarity yes sir with this i can declare that i am through with illu number Hi. that's it man five questions out of 18 question comes to one end i'm trying illustration number six shall we yes sir yes sir this is going to be six by eighteen yes sir this is the easiest question available in the entire icai study material right yes, I may be taking my dear lovable students 2 to 3 minutes to solve this question. This is a potential question for 10 mark in examination from section 35 AD. Are you all really with me? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Soldering. Are you getting, start getting a grip over profits and gains services or profession? Yes, right, man. I'm starting with illustration number 6. We'll be completing. Please be very attentive. Mr. A commenced the operation of business of setting up a warehousing facility for storage of food grain. Correct? Yes, sir. It's a specified business. Correct? Yes, sir. Sugar is a specified business, but edible oil is not a. So there are having three businesses are there. Yes, sir. sir, just listen what I am saying. Just be with me. I am following my own steps. I'll be training or dancer within seconds. Are you really with me? Yes, sir. So three businesses are there, right? Yes, sir. Number one, warehousing facility. Warehousing facility for number one. Food grains. Food grains. Shall I put FG? Yes, sir. Sir, warehousing facility for yes, sugar. Warehousing facility for Section 35 AD, tick tick into, are you ready with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm continuing, man. He incurred capital expenditure of 80 lakh, 60 lakh, and 50 lakh, respectively, on purchase of land, jill, goodwill, instrument, land. Land is not Reduction is not Sir, land building during the previous year, sir, exclusively for the above business. And capital is the same in the books of accounts. Capital is the same in the books of accounts means capital expenditure. 35 AD, capital expenditure is not the same. Correct? Abdina capital expenditure incurred. Capital expenditure? Yellow, yellow, yellow. 80 lakhs. 60 lakhs. 50 lakhs. Is it land? Land. Sir, land deduction? Goodwill. Instrument. Land. Or a celebrate. Goodwill is 32 lakhs deduction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Know how patent, copyright, trademark, license, franchise, or any other stuff similar nature other than goodwill. Yes, sir. At the rate of 25%. Yes, sir. Goodwill is not going to be able to do it. Land and I'm give you a the building and I'm give you a Right man, capital expenditure incurred. Wow, the cost of land included in the above figures were. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. That's why 50 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 30 lakhs. What's that? Land. So less land. What's yes, that? 50 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 30 lakhs. Am I right? Yes sir. So can I call it as eligible capital expenditure? Yes sir. 30 lakhs. Yes sir. 20 lakhs. 20 lakhs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. During the previous year, 23 24, he incurred capital expenditure of 20 lakh, 15 lakh, and 10 lakh, respectively. Yes, sir. During the current year, he has incurred capital expenditure. Yes, sir. And capital expenditure incurred during the year. Yes, sir. Last year, total capital expenditure could be the land recover, land of minus per unit. Current year, capital expenditure incurred per unit. Not per unit. Or a Yes, sir. Summa by Mutra. Yellow, yellow, yellow. 20 lakh, 50 lakh. 20 lakh, 15 lakh. That means total eligible capital expenditure. Yes, sir. 30 plus 20. 50 lakh. 20 plus 15. 20 plus 10. 30. Or a sad poor For the purpose of extension or reconstruction of the building. Building, 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 building. That's why added, added, added. Correct? Yes, sir. Because building ka kaasal open on it is eligible for entire for reduction section 35 AD. Yes, Purchase and use exclusively for the end of business. Sir, please don't read this paragraph and I'll put it on the stupid man. Complete the income charge under the profession and kinship profession for assuming twenty five and the loss to be carried forward, assuming that misplaced excess in option of shifting out of default and regime. Provided under section one one five BAC subsection one A. Only if you are getting out of the default tax regime, you are entitled to claim deduction under section thirty five. And it has fulfilled all the conditions specified under NAD. And want to claim deduction under NAD. And has not claimed deduction under N six A. Under the heading bar, see deduction respect of N income. That means from this paragraph, it is irrelevant for examination. They are saying that you have get out of the 105 BAC. I will paragraph. Yes, and they have not claimed any deduction under the heading C, like ATI, IA, IAB, IAC, IT, IDI, IA, IA, yes, sir. Because if you are claiming chapter 6 deduction under the heading C, you are not entitled for the yes, DVD deduction. Or yes, sir. In the paragraph, we will say that we will say that we will say that we will say that we will the profit from the business of setting up a warehousing facility for sugar, food grain, and edible oil before claiming deduction under NAD. Yes, and and the NA2. Yes, yes, last year, 32 dollars applicable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For the assessment, 24, 25, 16 lakh, 14 lakh, and 31 lakh, respectively. Yes, sir. Also, assuming respect of expenditure income payment are made by account paycheck or use of electronic license through N account. 
ஒரு எஸ்ஆர் கோடு அப்ப இங்க வா சார் ஷால் ஐ கால்குலேட் தி டிடக்ஷன் அண்டர் செக்ஷன் என்ஐடி 100% ஆ எஸ் சார் 100% ஆ எஸ் சார் டேஷ் ஆ बिकॉज़ द लास्ट बिजनेस इज नॉट एंटाइटल फॉर राइट ஆ அப்ப டிடக்ஷன் அண்டர் செக்ஷன் என்ஐடி கால்குலேட்டர் நாட் रिक्वायर्ड நானே கால்குலேட் பண்ணிக்கிறேன் 50 lakhs or 100% கம்ஸ் வித் தி லாக் 35 lakhs or 100% ஃபுட்டு டிடக்ஷன் அண்டர் செக்ஷன் 32 ஆ டேஷ் டேஷ் ஆ बिकॉज़ एंटायर कॉस्ट यू हैव क्लेम इट एज अ डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन 35 एडी देन व्हाई आर यू आस्किंग द प्रीसीजन अंडर सेक्शन 32 यस सर सर द लास्ट वन इज इन सर वेयर हाउसिंग फैसिलिटी फॉर एनो ऑयल दे देमसेल्फ गिवन दैट 10% परसेंट रेट ऑफ डिप्रीसीजन इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन आ यस सर दे देमसेल्फ मेंशन दैट द सर द रेट ऑफ डिप्रीसीजन इज 10% आ यस सर इनका वासर इट इज वेयर हाउसिंग फैसिलिटी आ वेयर हाउस मींस बिल्डिंग आ बिल्डिंग इज 10% आ यस सर लाइक दैट यू हैव टू थिंक आर यू ऑल रेडी विद मी मैन fantastic to the core so building it is general building 10% is very allowable students that's why i said that it has been mentioned in the question as 10% yes sir hello engur dhan irukke yes sir hello engur dhan irukke yes sir sir we are assuming that it has been sir 14023 le engurala more than 20 days dhan yes, yes sir it is only where house don't ask for additional depreciation and all yes sir that means 30 lakhs la depreciation 10% vada 3 lakhs ah yes sir yes sir so shall we find out the sir total deduction 50 lakhs total deduction ah yes, 35 lakhs total deduction ah yes, 3 lakhs total deduction ah yes, inga va raja 3 business iruka illaya yes, warehousing facility for food grains warehousing facility for yes, warehousing facility for yes, edible oil enna yes, pa net profit has been given or not ah yes, net profit has been given as 16 14 31 lakhs 16 14 31 16 14 less deduction ha yes sir under section 35 ad ha yes sir 50 lakhs ha yes sir 35 lakhs ha yes sir dash ha yes sir less deduction under section 32 ha yes sir dash dash 3 lakhs ha yes sir 6 inga evlo lakhs net profit 31 ha yes sir sari churidar okay right 33 lakhs 16 lakhs ni 50 lakhs pochina minus 34 lakhs 14 lakhs and 35 lakhs pochina 21 lakhs in the 31 lakhs ni 3 lakhs pochina 34 plus 21 55 five lakhs and here is a profit of 1 lakh loss from the specific business can be set off only against the profit from the specific business ah yes, is the last column is the specific business ah yes, is the last column is the specific business ah can i set off the loss of 55 lakhs with the 28 lakhs ah yes, that means that 55 lakhs has to be end up forward as per section 73 a yes, va for infinite period ah samora yes, 28 lakhs is a profitable income for the last business enna pa yes sir for the sir 55 lakhs is the amount to be carry forward not even taken 3 minutes man 35 ad specific business comes van and pg with in alle or special enna sir energy or profits and gains of business or profession comfortable yes sir par the notes saura deduction of 100% of capital expenditure is available under section nad for assessment of 2425 in respect of specific business of setting up an operating warehousing facility for storage of sugar and setting up an operating warehousing facility for storage of inner produce where operation are commenced on or after 14 2012 and 14 2009 respectively date la namak theriyad aryal relief me rendu specific business avanga theriyo engalukku mail la ticket kudutha aryal relief me however since setting up an operating warehousing facility for storage of edible oil is not a inner business is yes, not eligible for deduction under nad in respect of capital expenditure incurred in respect of inner business Sir, since 35 AD is not applicable, section 32 is applicable. Yes, sir. Mr. A can however claim depreciation at the rate of 10% under section 32 in respect of capital expenditure incurred on what? Building. It is presumed that assuming that the building were put to use for more than one days during the previous year 23-24. Ah. Yes, sir. Loss from a specific business can be set off only against a profit from another specific business. Ah. Yes, sir. Therefore, loss of 55 lakhs from the specific business of setting up an operating warehousing facility for storage of food grain and sugar cannot be set off against the profit of the 28 lakhs from the business of the setting up an operating warehousing facility for storage of edible oil. Ah. Yes, sir. Since same is not a specific business. Ah. Yes, Such loss can however be carried forward indefinitely for set off and the profits of the gains for any other business of specified. Yes, with this we can say that out of 18 question we are done with the six question my dear love of it students comfortable yes, i will be taking less than 3 minutes for illustration number 7 which is again a 35 ad question it is a nsr tell us are you ready with me yes sir you know the worth of this question is 10 mark in examination sir don't worry that oppa how much a big question can be asked kele 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 are you ready with me yes sir mr suraj a proprietor commence operation of business of new etra sir which is more than two sir yes sir yes sir Hotel in Madurai, Tamil Nadu, on 142023. Yes, he incurred capital expenditure of 1 lakh during the period January 2023 to March 2023, exclusively for the above business and capital is same in the books of accounts as on 1st April 2023. That means last year he incurred the capital expenditure, same as in the capital in the books of accounts. Yes, It's a dash expenditure. 
Further during the previous year, 23, 24, he incurred capital expenditure of Ethel Grover. Out of his 1.5 crore was acquisition of land put it on. Exclusively for the above business. Ah. Yes, so apa, last year, how much is the eligible business? Eligible expenditure? 50 lakhs. Current year, total expenditure? How much total expenditure? 2 crores. Out of that land? 2, put it on the swing. 1.5 crore. The remaining 50 lakhs? Ah. That means total of 1 crore. Ah. The direction allowed under section 35 is 1 crore. Come to the income under head profession gains of business of profession for assessment. Assuming that he has fulfilled all the conditions specified under section 35 ADE and after for claiming direction under NADE and he has not claimed direction under chapter 6 under the heading C direction under the second income, he has excised option of solely and challah kuti of shifting out of the default tax regime under 105 BAC subsection 1A. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to tell you in the paragraph once you say it. Yes, sir. The last question is on a chumma question. I will agree with me. The profit from the business of running this hotel, this hotel, this hotel, before claiming direction under 35 AD for assessment here is how much lakhs? Then net profit how much? 25 lakhs. Namak deduction how much? 100 lakhs. So nakkal how much? 75 lakhs. I don't agree with me. Assuming that he has also another existing business of running a NSR hotel in Coimbatore. Can you set off off? Which comes to operation of Ethan years back? The profit from which are Ethan lakh? Ap already how much last year? If you have 75 lost code of 120 lakhs, you can set off 40 lakhs. Sir, also assume that the payment for capital expenses made by any banking. 40 lakhs subtraction 3 will not be applicable. Answer should be 45 lakhs. We want that. 10 more. 45 lakhs. 45 lakhs. 45 lakhs. 45 lakhs. 45 lakhs. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are doing profits and gains of business or? Sir, with this we can say that out of how many questions? We are done with the seven question. Yes, sir. I am into question number eight. Yes, sir. It's a two minutes question, man. Yes, sir. Mr. Arav is a proprietor having a unit. Two unit A carrying on any business. Yes, or setting up and operating a house facility. Yes, for storage of sugar. Unit B carrying on non specified business of operating a warehousing facility for storage of N oil. Yes, IAO, sugar is a specified yes, business. Edible oil is not a. Yes, unit A is a, it's a specified business. Ha? Yes, Commence operation 14 2022. Yes, sir. Last financial 2223. Yes, sir. And is claimed reduction of ethanol lakh. Incurred on purchase of two buildings for ethanol lakhs each. For operating a warehousing facility for what? Under section NAAD. For assessment year 23. Sir, once you claim a reduction under section NAAD, you should hold that asset for a minimum period of 8 years. There is a minimum time limit, is there? Under NAAD. 3 plus 5 is equal to. That's why you have to keep it for a million credit. Eight years. So two buildings are there. Two are there. Two buildings are there. Two buildings are there. Hello. Yes, sir. This two buildings, 50 lakh, 50 lakh has been claimed as a reduction under the specific business. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. However, in February 2024, from a financial year, yes, unit A transfer one of the building to unit B. Yes, sir. Friday. Yes, After claiming reduction under section NAD. Yes, within a period of. Yes, within a period of. Yes, within a period of. Yes, business loss. Business loss. Business loss. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Can be carried forward up to how many years? Yeah. Unless your depreciation can be carried forward up to? Yeah. Undefined period, correct? Yeah. Last from specified business can be carried forward up to? Yeah. Infinite period. So business loss can be carried forward up to how many years? Yeah. Business loss can be carried forward up to? Yeah. That 8 year only this 8 year? Yeah. Because you are shifting from the one business to another business, you are adjusting the business losses. Yes, sir. We will not allow you to adjust the business losses. Yes, sir. Clarity. Yes, sir. So, my dear level students, examine the enemy implication. Tax implication, correct? Yes, sir. Apo, sir, yet the building to deduction. I will yet the building to transfer. I will not know the building to purchase. Yes, sir. Would building to have a deduction? 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs minus the end of the day. Reduction at the current year of Munji, Munia Munji Katria. Yes, sir. I don't really with me. Last year in the business, the non specified business club and non specified business card in the Panirna. In the claim Panirpe. Is the building a 10 percentage? Yes, sir. 5 lakhs claim Panirpe. Yes, sir. Abdina Ipa Dora WDB 45 lakhs. Yes, sir. Up last year, 5 lakh done depreciation alone. Yes, sir. 5 lakh in the claim Panamendi and there. Last year 50 lakhs claim paneer ka padu baabi. Yes sir. 45 lakhs extra wa claim paneer ka. Yes sir. Current year that 45 lakhs has to be treated as deemed income. Yes sir. As per 35 AD subsection 7B. Yes sir. 35 AD subsection 7B. Yes sir. 35 AD subsection 7B. Because it's an internal transfer. Yes sir. If it's an external transfer section 28 class 7 will be applicable. Yes sir. Appreciate pan riya. Yes sir. So after claiming direction under NAAD. 
if you are shifting the in a sense, asset within the business or a specific business to a within a period of whatever direction you have claimed under section 35 AD as reduced by the national depreciation hello will be taken as deemed income under section 35 AD subsection sir 45 lakhs will be deemed income under section 35 AD subsection NB since the capital asset in respect of its deduction of ethanol lack was claimed under what section has been transferred by NA carrying on any business the unit be carrying on any business in the previous year yeah the deeming provision under section 35 AD NB is attracted during the previous year assessment year 24 25 yeah yes, sir. depreciation deduction allowed under section 35 AD last year how much lakh less depreciation allowed under section NA2 50 lakhs or 10 percentage comes to 50 lakhs to 5 lakhs portion will be treated as deemed income as per section 35 AD subsection 7 B yeah yes sir if a specified business is a non-specified business asset to under the car yes sir then asset to under the car I have to record or account the asset yes sir they're opening WDB 43 subsection 6 here come up yes sir add addition during the era yes sir in that addition during the 43 subsection 1 actual cost I should add yes sir actual cost means it's not the 50 lakhs actual cost yes sir with this 40 LSR 45 lakhs will go and sit inside the block yes sir and for that you can start claiming the normal depreciation yes sir can I claim the addition to position no sir because it is a second hand platter mr ria yes sir already used for some other business ah yes sir so uh, mr r o howard by virtue of proviso to explanation 32 43 subsection 1 allo sir yes sir can claim depreciation under section n2 on the building of unit b for assessment year repo for the purpose of claiming depreciation of building on n b actual cost of building will be what is actual cost of the asset let's depreciation allow under section 32 5 lakh so actual cost in answer mr r o in the hands of building is ethanol lakh so this 45 lakh will be treated as deemed income as per section 35 subsection 35 AD subsection 7 BR and the same ethanol lakh will be added to the block of the asset and on that 45 lakh you can claim depreciation under section N2 30 comfortable that means once you claim a deduction under section 35 AD you have to suppose to hold that asset for a minimum period of once you are transferring from dash to dash provisions of 35 AD subsection 7 B will be applicable then the cost of the asset minus normal but national depreciation that will be treated as a deemed income as per section 35 AD subsection 7 B and that amount will be treated as actual cost after explanation number 13 to 43 subsection 1 yes sir with this I can declare that my dear lovable students sir question number 8 out of comes to an end Comfortable, not comfortable. I am getting a grip over profits and gains of business or profession, sir. It will be your, sir, the most lovely subject. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. It's my guarantee, man. Yes, sir. Because I am talking here. Yes, sir. So, I am searching for illustration number NSR 9. Yes, sir. I am moving into illustration number 9. Are you really with me? Yes, sir. I am comfortable from your heart. Anybody is there? Where is the grand clap? Where it is illustration number 9, it is illustration number 9, I am coming, hello sir. Yes sir. And I will tell you man, I will not do book back, I will complete only illustration about illustrations and I will give you break, hello sir. Yes sir. Let me complete 18 questions and I will say what is my mood. Delta Limited credited the following amount to the account of the resident pay, resident pay, resident pay, hello sir. Yes sir. In the month of March, 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 without deduction of tax and source, hello sir. Yes sir. What is small series, what is big series is there? Yes sir. Yes sir, for this policy series is saying that if you are making any payment to a resident on which tax is liable to be directed, no tax has been directed, directed tax has not been paid to the credit of the central government, 30% of the expense of the payment account should be in the back. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. What would be the consequence of non-deduction of NXOs by Delta Limit on this amount during the financial 23-24 assuming that the resident payee PISAS in all the cases mentioned below have not paid the tax if any which was required to be deducted by NL Limited. That means A&M class is there. Yes sir. A&M class debited so many expenses to be in the account. Yes sir. On which A&M class is liable to deduct TDS. Yes sir. No TDS has been deducted. Yes sir. Salary, 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 182, 182, 182. Yes sir. To your employees to Mr. X. Yes sir. Credited and paid in March. Yes sir. Sir, salary is at the time of payment family. Yes sir. When you are supposed to deduct TDS is at the time of payment. Yes sir. At the time of payment. Sir, salary is only credited. How much? 12 lakhs. Yes sir. Director's remuneration, no threshold limit. Yes sir. 194J, no threshold limit, 30,000 will not be applicable. Yes, sir. I have explained in the class. Yes, sir. Cutter in the class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For director's operations only, how much? 38,000. What would your answer if Delta Limit has deducted tax on inner operation? 
in April 2024 at the time of payment and remitted the same in July. Yes, sir. With regard to 194J at the time of creditor, at the time of payment, whichever is. But at the time of salary payment, salary is payment, payment, payment family are low. Yes, sir. Enjoy the non-deduction of NXOs on any sum payable to a YARK. All this tax is deductible exos as per the provisions of chapter NB 17B. 17? Because that is a chapter where we are talking about the TS. Okay, wow. You would attract disallowance under 40 years subsection VENNE. Because one is applicable to non-resident. VENNE is applicable to resident. Therefore, non-deduction of tax exos on any sum paid by way of N. All this tax is deductible under section N. Or any sum credited or paid by way of N remuneration. All this tax is deductible under N. Would attract disallowance at the rate of under 40 years subsection when yes, because both are resident yes, whereas in case of salary tax has to be deducted under what section at the time of in case of director remuneration tax has to be deducted at the time of credit of such sum to the account of the pay or at the time of payment whichever is therefore in both the cases salary and director remuneration tax is deductible in previous year Yepo. since salary was paid in that year alo and director remuneration was credited in NA. Therefore, the amount to be dissolved under 40A subsection 1A while computing the business income for the assessment year repo, salary 12 lakh rupees pay paneer yes, tax is deductible under 192 a yes, sir. TDS deduct panel ya, yes, 12 lakhs or 30 percent dissolved ya, yes, 3 lakhs 60 thousand should be added back ya, yes, without TDS NSR background, you can't touch this question. Yes, That's why my dear lovable students take this as a NSR, Bakri, the NSR or Eid gift in a sonne, TDS pathir one sonne, patta jal idha sirip parko. Director's remuneration tax is deductible under what section? Without any threshold limit, 28,000. Threshold limit will not be. So 30% should be added back. So 40A subsection when? Yes, sir. 3,68,400 should be in the back. Sir, if the tax is deducted on N remuneration in the next year, that is previous year 24, at the time of what? Payment and remitted to the? The amount of this 8400 would be allowed as deduction while computing the business income of assessment here. Apart from the 30 percent, put your cutter there and in the version 30 percent disallowance mandatory. Yes, sir. Are the version the amount ever to go? In the version, you direct when you cut your on the version in direction. Ah, you to go right. Yes, sir. With this, I can declare that out of 18 questions, I'm done with 9 questions. 50% of the illustrations of the profits and gains of this profession comes to an Yes, sir. I'm going to, sir, during the financial 23 24, following payments or expenditure were made incurred by a Raja, a Raja, Mr. Raja, an individual whose turnover during the previous year 31 3 2023 was 99 lakhs. Yes, sir. Ijack, 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 correct. Yes, in case of individual or HUF, whose turnover in the immediately preceding previous year does not exceed 1 crore is not liable to deduct TDS for hijack. Yes, 194H, 194I, 194J, 194A, 194C. Or a conda Yes, sir. Sir, interest of how much rupees? Interest of? Was paid to Mr. Rahman and Co. a partnership firm without deduction of NXOs. Tax exos. Sir, interest other than interest on security. Yes, sir. 194A. Yes, sir. IJAK criterias put in India. 30% dissonance for Adhikana. Yes, sir. So this 1 lakh was paid to salary, 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 192. Yes, sir. NJAK is not. NJAK is not. individual. Without deduction of tax exos, 30% 3 lakh should be in the back. Commission, 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 194 HR. Yes, sir. 16,000 is more than 15,000. Yes, sir. Was paid to Mr. Vidya Sagar, a resident on 272,000 without deduction of NXOs. Yes, sir. 30% disallowance for Abhi. Yes, sir. Discuss briefly whether any disallowance arising under the provision of 40A subsection Venne, assuming that the pay in all the case mentioned above has not paid the tax, if any, which was required to be deducted by Mr. Raja. Yes, sir. Hijack cover Anna, Ni Raja. Yes, sir. Ni Kuja. Disallowance under 40A subsection 1A of the Income Tax Act is attracted when the assessee fails to deduct tax and source is required under the Act or having deducted at source failed to remit the same to the credit of the central government within a stipulated time period. Oh, you wrote okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. The obligation to deduct tax and source from the interest paid to a resident arise under NIA. In case of an individual whose turnover in the immediately preceding previous year 23-24 exceeds how much crore? One crore exceed on a matunda ni TDS a pudi kinu. Yes, sir. Kalei one crore exceed eh. Thus, in the present case, since the turnover of the assessee is less than a crore, he is not liable to deduct tax and source and the disallowance under 40A subsection 1A is not attracted in the 
is yes. the disallowance of 30 percent of the sum payable under 40 a subsection 1a would be attracted in respect of all sum on which tax is deductible under chapter 17b yes, sir. section nsr 182 yes, kandamari limit yes, kedi adi yes, 182 which require deduction of nxos yes, salary paid is covered under chapter nb yes, the obligation to tax source under section 182 arises in the hands of the assessee employer if the even if the turnover amount does not exceed yes, in the immediately preceding yes, Sir, therefore, in the present case, the disallowance under 40 is subsection NAA yes. is attractive for failure to deduct taxes under section 182 from the salary payment. However, only a percent of the amount yes. salary paid without deduction of taxes will be disallowed because the salary has been paid to her. Yes. That is why a yes. percent otherwise, it is 30 percent is yes. under percentage yes. as for 40 a subsection 3. Yes. Hello, yes, the obligation to deduct taxes under 194 H from the commission paid in excess of how much? Your yeah. resident arises in case of individual whose turnover in the immediately preceding previous year exceeds how much? Yeah. This is the present case since the turnover of assets is less than ethanol crore. Yeah. He is liable to deduct tax source under what H? Yeah. Mr. Raja is not required to deduct tax source under NIM. Yeah. Hey, mood section yeah. Yeah. Also, since the aggregate of such commission to Mr. Vidya Sagar does not exceed ethanol. Already 194 have discussed Paneer Pay. Yeah. During the previous year 23 24, therefore, disallowance under 48 subsection 1 is not attracted in this case. Yeah. Yeah. With this, I can say that I am through with illu number yeah. out of 18 illustration. I am done with the illustration one. Yes, sir. Amity from your heart, everybody. Is there? Where is the grand class? <laughs> illustration number 11 is the target. Shall we complete within one minute? Yes, sir. A firm has paid 750,000 to remuneration to his partners for previous year 23 24. Yes, sir. In accordance with the NAD. And it has a book profit of 8 lakh. What is the remuneration allowed as deduction? Yes, sir. This 10 lakh should be class 1 2 category. Yes, sir. sir. First 3 lakh. Balance 9 lakh, sir. Yes, sir. Lakh, 7 lakh, sir. Yes, sir. Balance 7 lakh. 10 lakhs total. Yes, sir. First 3 lakh, balance 7 lakh. Yes, 1 lakh 50,000 or 90 percent, whichever is higher. Yes, sir. Okay, 3 lakh or 90 percent. 2 lakh. 2 lakh. 7 lakhs into 60 percentage comes to 4 lakh. 2 lakh, sir, 70,000 plus 4 lakh, 20,000 comes to 6 lakh. Is the maximum allowable? Yes, sir. That's it, 6 lakh, 90,000. With that, that illustration number 11 comes to an end. Good profit can be classified in two categories. First 3 lakh rupees of balance. Yes, sir. On the first 3 lakh rupees, either 1 lakh, 50,000 rupees or 90% of the profit, whichever is higher. Balance 60 percentage. Clarity. Yes, sir. If you add, you will get the. Hello, 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 yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm moving into so with this we can declare that out of 18 questions we are done with 11 question. Yes, sir. I'm interested in 12th question. Yes, sir. sir, Rabo and Jane, a partnership from consists of Ethan partner, yes, report a net profit of Ethan lakh yes, before deduction of the following item. Yes, sir. That means net profit as per PNL 7 lakhs, yes, sir. salary of 20,000 each yes, sir. per month. Yes, Payable to two working partner yes, as authorized by the deed of partnership. Yes, Salary I cannot reduce. Yes, I have to find out the book profit. Yes, Depreciation plan term section 32. Yes, so from that I have to reduce all the items which are covered under 32 38. Yes, Up 7 lakhs to 1 lakh 50,000 poach. 5 lakh. Interest on capital at 3 percent. Maximum 12 percent is allowed. Yes, Maximum 12 percent is allowed. Yes, Maximum 12 percent is allowed. Yes, Sir, per annum, as per the deed of partnership, the amount of capital is 5 lakhs. Yes, so, 5 lakh into the percentage comes to? How much? 60,000. Up 5 lakh, 50,000, 60,000 poach na? 4 lakh, 90,000. This has to be class 1, 2 category. Yes, 3 lakh, 1 lakh, 90,000 na? Yes, 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 70,000 na? Yes, 1 lakh, 90,000 or 60 percentage ha? Yes, 1 lakh, 90,000 or 60 percent poach na? 1 lakh, 14,000 plus 2 lakh, 70,000 na? Comes to 3 lakh 84,000 is the maximum remuneration you are getting? Ah? Yes, sir. Because book profit on a first 3 lakh balance. Yes, sir. First 3 lakh, 1 lakh 50,000 rupees or 90% of the book profit, whichever is higher. Yes, sir. Balance on a 60 percentage. Yes, sir. Everyone following? Yes, sir. So out of 4 lakh, how much rupees? 90,000 rupees. 3 lakh 84,000 is the maximum. Ah? Yes, sir. So 1 lakh 6,000 is the taxable profit. Yes, sir. Are you all really with me? Yes, sir. What they are saying is 7 lakh, sir. Book profit is 4 lakh 90,000. On a book profit, 4 lakh 90,000 cut Yes, sir. 4 lakh 90,000 randa pili kiri ya? Yes sir. Yes sir. 3 lakh 84,000 uh, 84, is a maximum allowable remuneration na? Yes sir. 3 lakh 84,000, 4 lakh 90,000, 3 lakh 84,000 poch na? 1 lakh 6,000 is the taxable income of the partnership firm. With that, that illustration comes to an end. I can declare that out of how many questions? 
we have done how many questions question. shall i move into the 13th illustration yes, i am searching for 13th illustration whenever it is coming i will be start doing yes vandichi yes sir so 12 out of 18 done vaango vaangrathukku vaango Exhibited contribute 20% of basic salary. That was all. Sigal 10% of the basic salary. Then you contribute. Correct. Yes, sir. To so the account of each employee under pension scheme referred under 80, this sir D A is 40% of the salary. Yes, sir. And form part of the pay for the employee. Form part. Form part. Form part. Hello. Yes, sir. Compute the amount of deduction allowed under 36 subsequent class for employee's contribution. Employee's contribution. Employee's contribution. Employee's contribution. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the basic salary of the employee again get to 10 lakh. Basic salary only could turn get 10 lakh. अदर 40 परसेंट डीएन सोली रखा है फोर लाख टोटल कम्स हो राइट आ 14 लाख कॉर्ड 10 परसेंट नी कंट्रीब्यूट पन्ना वन लाख 40 थाउजेंड नी गुड बॉय आया कंट्रीब्यूट पनीर करो आना नी बैड बॉय आया 20 परसेंट ऑफ द बेसिक चलना टू लाख कंट्रीब्यूट पनीर डे अब टू लाख का रेंडा पीरी वन लाख 40 थाउजेंड � That one lakh forty thousand is allowed as a reduction yes, sir. under section thirty six of section one class four a. Yes, this sixty thousand should be added back yes, sir. as per forty a subsection nine yes, contribution to unorganized fund. Yes, That illustration comes to an end. Yes, With disallowance under forty a subsection nine be attracted so what extend? Yes sir. Total ten lakhs plus four lakhs comes to fourteen lakhs. Sorry sir. Sir, that is ten percent one lakh forty thousand. Yes, but you contribute twenty thousand to two lakh. Two lakhs and one lakh forty thousand is allowed as deduction. Yes, Remaining sixty thousand is disallowed under forty eight subsection nine. Yes, Illustration comes to an end. Hello. Out of eighteen illustration, illustration number thirteen comes to an. I am searching for illustration number fourteen. Once it comes, sir, I will kill it. Shall I? Yes, sir. I can declare that out of eighteen, thirteen illustrations are done. Yes, sir. I am coming to illustration number fourteen, sir. It's a two minutes question, man. Hari, an individual carrying on the business of purchase and sale of any commodity. Like Paddy, Daddy, Wheat, etc. He borrowed loan from Andhra Pradesh State Financial Corporation and Indian Bank has not paid interest forty three B. Yes sir. Any tax duty set off is payable in interest payable to Central Bank and interest payable to financial institution. Yes sir. Yes sir. Bank is loaned to the interest payable. Yes sir. It is debited to any account. Any account has not paid interest as detailed. Yes sir. Here under correct up. Yes sir. Sir, Andhra Pradesh State Financial Corporation total fifteen lakhs up. Yes sir. Indian Bank total thirty lakhs up. Yes sir. Total forty five lakhs of interest payable. Yes sir. So this forty five lakhs would have been added back as per forty three B. Yes sir. Near conversion of the interest payable into loan will not add amount to actual payment. Yes sir. Or a sir, brother. Yes sir. Both A P S F C and Indian Bank will restructure the loan facility of IRI during the previous year twenty three twenty four. Yes sir. Converted the above interest payable to IRI into them as loan repayable in ethanol equal installment. Yes sir. During the year ending thirty one two thousand twenty four, IRI paid ethanol installment. Yes sir. Yar ke A P S F C and three installment to yar ke. Indian Bank Hari claimed the entire interest of 45 lakhs. Wow, 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 sir. As expenditure while computing the income from business of purchase and sale of agricultural commodity, ah, yeah. yes, examine whether his claim is valid. Chi chi tapu. And if not, what is the amount of interest? A mere conversion of interest payable into loan will not tend amount to actual payment. Yes, sir. Actual payment deduction on actual payment basis. Yes, sir. And the convert on interest, how many million payment to upon deduction are there? Yes, sir. That means sir, 15 lakh rupees, sir. 16 crore money payment is there? Yes, sir. 15 lakh crore basis, sir. Patna bode. Sir, or installment twenty five thousand na? Yes sir. Or first bank anji installment paper dekha gula? Yes sir. Twenty five thousand to five kamsho? Yes sir. Oh, here order. Yes sir. Next sir, thirty lakh dollar be sixty pota? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Into how many installment paper dekha gaye? Three. Three installment. Fifteen thousand to three. Forty. Five zero fifty ya? Five zero fifty ya? Yes sir. Thirty lakhs divided by sixty pota fifty thousand varda? Yes sir. Fifty thousand to three pota? One lakh fifty thousand ah. Yes sir. One lakh fifty plus one lakh twenty five. Two lakh. Answer comes to one. Yes sir. That's it. Two lakh seventy five thousand total eligible for deduction man. Hello. You can write like Hindu newspaper. Come on. According to section forty three B, any interest payable on the term loan to specified financial institution and any interest payable on any loan advanced to interest earlier scheduled by shall be allowed only in the year of payment of such interest irrespective of the method of the accounting followed by the what. Where there is a default in payment of interest by the assessor, such unpaid interest may be converted into what? No. Such conversion of unpaid interest in loan shall not be considered as a payment of interest for the purpose of any be. The amount of unpaid interest so converted as loan shall be allowed as deduction only in the year when the converted loan is what? Actually. In the given case of Hari, the unpaid interest of 15 lakh due to APS and 30 lakh due to Indian Bank was converted into what? No. Such conversion would not be amount to payment of interest and would not therefore be eligible for deduction in the year of such. Hence, claim of Hari that the entire interest of 45 lakh is cannot be allowed as deduction in the year of the conversion is not. 
the reduction shall be allowed only to the extent of the repayment made during the NIR. According to the amount of interest eligible for deduction for assessment 2425, shall we calculate as follows? Yes, you calculate, we calculate. Yes, sir. So, with this, we can say that out of how many questions? Yes, we are done with 14, 14 questions. Question. Hello. Yes, I am moving into illu number. Yes, are you all coming along with me? Yes, sir. Means comfortable than yes, Out of 18 questions, 14 questions are over. I am ready for 15 question. Yes, Yes, sir. It's a two minutes job. 44 away. We know this is a person carrying on profession as an artist. Law, medicine, accountancy, architecture, indeed, decorations, technical consultancy, authorized person, film artist, film artist, film artist. Hello. Yes, sir. 44 A. Subsection 1 will be applicable in case if the 1 lakh 50,000 rupees in all the immediately preceding 3 previous years. Yes, sir. Is gross receipt from profession are as follows. A. Last in the 2021, Evola Varla, 1 lakh 50,000 Enna Vala. Is not SR supposed to maintain the compulsory NSR maintenance of books of accounts? Normal books of accounts. What are his obligation regarding maintenance of books of accounts for under section 44A? Hello. Yes, sir. Same story. You have to repeat man. 44A subsection one require every person carrying on any profession notified by the board in the end of gazette. Okay. In addition to the profession already specified therein to maintain such books of accounts and other documents as may be enabled the able to compute his total income in accordance with the provisions of Income Tax Act. Yes, as per rule number six, if a person carrying on a notified profession shall be required to maintain such enough accounts. Yes, if his gross receipts in all the three immediately preceding previous year exceed how much rupees? If it is a new profession which is set up in the relevant previous, it is likely to exceed one fifty thousand in that NIR. In the present case, we know this a person carrying on profession as an artist, which is a NIR profession. Since his gross receipts has not exceeded one fifty thousand in the financial repo, the requirement under forty four A to compulsory maintain the prescribed books of accounts is not. Mister, how we know how are required to maintain such books of accounts as would enable the able to compute his NIR income. You know, with this we can say that we are through with illu number what? Portuga, Portuga, clap on your kai valigum, Porte. I am searching for illu number 16. So, out of 18, I have completed 15. Yes, I am moving into illustration number 16, which is a 3 minutes question. Come on. Mr. Praveen, engaged in retail trade, reports at 2 crore 98 lakh 50,000 yes, which is less than 3 crore. Yes, entitled for 44 ADR. Yes, so, the financial 23 24 amount to save in cash, cash, cash during the previous year is 14 lakhs. Yes, Up of 14 lakhs divided by 2 crore 98 lakh 50,000 into 100 comes to Kitana. 4 point something percentage, which is less than ethra percent. Yes, so, the applicable limit is 3 crore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the balance through prescribed electronic mode on or before 31st NSR October. Good boy. Correct. Yes, less than 5% of cash are remaining. Is income from the said business as per the books of accounts is 8 lakh. Computer as per the provisions of chapter 4D that is profits and gains of business are. Retail trade is the only source of income for Mr. Praveen. Assessment year was the first year for which he declared is business in accordance with the provisions of presumptive taxation. Last year, what do you do? Present taxation is going to go. Last year, present taxation is going to go. Yes, sir. It's a block. Yes, sir. You don't have to kill the first year. Yes, sir. Is Mr. Praveen also eligible for present determination of income chargeable tax for the assessment of 24-25? Yes. Because the turnover does not exceed? No. Cash payment does not exceed? No. Yes, sir. Since his cash receipts during the previous year does not exceed? No. Of the total turnover. And his total turnover for the financial year 23-24 is below how much? No. He is eligible for present taxation scheme under 44 AD in respect of his retail trade. Yes, sir. Clarity. Yes, sir. If so, determine his income from retail trade as per the applicable presumptive provision. Yes, sir. Sir, now cash is 8% of yes, the Other than cash is 6% of the money. Yes, sir. Cash is 8% of the Total 2 crore 98 lakh 50,000 rupees turnover. Yes, sir. I have 14 lakhs of cash. Yes, sir. Up 14 lakhs into 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%. 8%
50 lakh, which is less than presumptive income. Yes, sir. From retail trade. What are his obligations? He has to compulsory liable to maintain books of accounts under section 44A. Yes, sir. And he has compulsory liable to tax obligation under 44AB. Yes, sir. If you are declaring an income which is less than the presumptive income, these are the consequences. Yes, sir. Sir, what is the due date for filing his end of income? Yes, under dash the option. Sir, if you are traveling through the presumptive route, yes, sir. if you are traveling through the presumptive route, audit is not mandatory. Yes, sir. 31st July. Yes, sir. If you are not traveling through the presumptive route, audit is mandatory under 44 AB. Yes, sir. sir, September moves October 30th. Yes, sir. Maharaja, sir, the, Mr. Praveen has declared a profit for the previous year 22 23 in accordance with the presumptive provision. And if you want to declare profit as per the end of accounts, yes, which is lower than the presumptive income for any of the five consecutive NIR. That is assessment year 24 25 to assessment year 28 29. He would not be eligible to claim the benefit of inner taxation for the five assessment year subsequent to the assessment year relevant to the previous year in which the profit has not been declared in accordance with the presumptive provision. That is one version of the presumptive taxation route. What is the travel? That is the one version of the presumptive taxation route. That is the one version of the presumptive taxation route. That is the one version of the presumptive taxation route. If you declare profit lower than the presumptive income, say previous year 23, 24, 11 to assessment year, then he would not be eligible to claim the benefit of presumptive taxation for assessment year 25, 26 to assessment year. Consequently, Mr. Praveen is required to maintain the books of accounts to get them audited under 44AB since his income exceeds the basic assumption. Yes. Sir, in case if you declare in presumptive income under NIAD, due date will be a po. Yes. Yeah, presumptive income declared under the tax audit. Yes. 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 Tax audit on 31st of October. Clarity. You know one thing, out of how many illustration? Yeah. I have completed how many illustration? Yeah. I am coming to illustration number 17. It's a two minutes job. Are you coming with me? Yes, sir. Mr. X commenced the business of operating goods vehicle on 1 for 2023. He purchased the following vehicle during previous year 23 24. Yes, sir. Compute his income under 44 AE for assessment year 24 25. Yes, sir. Saringawa, sir. Sir, gross vehicle. The one kilogram is 7,000 or less than 12,000. Yes, heavy goods, other than heavy goods. Other than heavy goods, other than heavy goods, other than heavy goods, other than heavy goods, sir, heavy goods, sir, and heavy goods. Heavy goods are not ton based. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Other than goods are the 7,500. Yes, sir. Are you really with me? Yes, sir. Apo, 7,500 per month or part of the month? Yes, sir. First year, April and the Porta Pananda Masa Verda? Yes, sir. March and the Porta Warrior Masa Verda? Yes, sir. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Ombal Masa Verda? Yes, sir. Then Janu, Febu, March. Moon Masa Verda? August, September, October, November, December, Janu, Febu, March. Eight months over there? Yes, sir. Febu, March. Two months over there? Yes, sir. Sir, in the past two months, two vehicles are 24 months. Yes, sir. One into one, one. Yes, sir. Nine, three, sir, 27. Yes, sir. Three into one, three. Yes, sir. Eight into two, 16. Yes, sir. Two into one, two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a month-based. Yes, sir. Okay, man. This is a month-based. 7,500. Yes, sir. Arthur, the month-based. 7,500. Yes, sir. Arthur, the month-based. 7,500. Yes, sir. Arthur Mandi based on 7,500. Yes, sir. But this is ton based. Yes, sir. One ton is 5 rupees, 15 rupees. Yes, sir. 15 rupees into per month part of the month. Yes, sir. How do you say? 1,000 rupees per ton or part of the ton per month or part of the month. Correct? Yes, sir. How do you say 15 rupees? Yes, sir. How do you say 15 rupees? Yes, sir. How do you say 15 rupees? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Calculate. 7,500 into 24 comes to how much? 180,000. Who wrote it? 7,500 into 1 comes to 7,500 into 27 comes to 2,2,000 7,500 into 3 comes to 22,500 We wrote it here 15,000 into 16 comes to 2,15,000 into 2 comes to 30 Calculator man, 1,80,000 plus 7,500 plus 2,2,500 plus 22,500 plus 2,40,000 plus 30,000 comes to 6,82,000 is a presumptive income. Yes, sir. They calculated, huh? Yes, sir. Sir, 6,82,500. We got the right answer, huh? Yes, sir. Sir, what they are asking, would your answer change if the goods, good vehicle purchased in April were put to use? Then a depreciation calculate under put to use scale. Illa sir, presumptive income will be start from the date of purchase and not from the date of put to use. My answer will not. Out of 18 illustration, I have completed 17 illustration. Hello. Rule number 7A, 7B, rule number 8, rule number 7A applicable to rubber, rule number 7A applicable to coffee, rule number 8 applicable to tea. 65, 35. 75, 25. 60, 40. 60, 40. Varriya. 
service Vivita are resident and ordinary resident in India. Sir, in case of resident or ordinary resident, global income is taxable in India. Yes, has derived the following income from various operations relating to plantation and estate owned by her during the year 31, 2024. Ah, yes, income from sale of centrifuge latex process from rubber, 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 rubber. Rule number. Rule number. Sivane, correct. Yes, 65 is agriculture income. Yes, 35 is business income. Yes, Upper 3 lakh into 35 percentage comes to 1 lakh 5000. Is the business income? Yes, sir. Income from sale of coffee grown and cured in Erka Tamil Nadu. Normal coffee? Yes, sir. Normal coffee? 75 25? Yes, 25 percent is business income? Yes, sir. 1 lakh or 25 percent? 25,000? Yes, I am not concerned about agriculture income. Anyway, it is going to be exempt only. Correct? Yes, income from sale of coffee grown, cured, roasted, grounded, boosted in Colombo. Hello, sir. Is Colombo situated in India? Wa? No, sir. Rule A apply. The entire income is business income. 2 lakh 50,000. Coffee? No, 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 no. Our coffee is very good. Income from sale of tea, 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 grown and manufacturing is Shimla. Is Shimla situated in India? Yes, sir. What is the percentage? So, 4 lakh out of 40 percent, 1 lakh 60. Income from sapling and seedling grown in a nursery. Hello? At coaching, sir. You have to cover the city. Full lava agriculture income. 80,000. Business income. Varada. Full lava agriculture income. Our 1 lakh 5,000 plus. 25,000 plus 250,000 plus 160,000 comes to that's it business income 540,000 with this we can say that out of 18 illustrations in profits and gains of business of profession and then with all the 18 illustrations that's what EGVP is all about with this the illustrations of profits and gains of business of profession comes to an that's it man Sir, very, very, very happy afternoon to all. Happy afternoon, sir. We have done 18 questions from the profits and gains of business or profession. Yes, sir. We are moving into the next 10 book back, shall we? Yes, sir. Mr. Venus, engage in manufacture, manufacture, manufacture. Entitled for? <laughs> of pesticide furnishes the following particulars relating to its manufacturing unit at Enge. For the year under 31-3-2024. WDV of plant as on 31-3-2023 that is opening WDV yes, yeah, well, like. depreciation including additional depreciation for previous year 22-23 yeah, well. right man new machinery purchased on 1-9-2023 yes, more than less than more than less than more than less than more than more than days 10 lakhs correct New machinery purchased on 1 12 2023. Less than computer purchased. Less than ethra percent block. 40 percentage block. Right. Yes, sir. Addition information. All assets were purchased by NFA check. Up a 40A subsection 3 attract. All assets were put to use immediately and the date end up on the date level put to use for the New machinery purchased from 1-12-2023. Yes, and computer has been installed in yes, not entitled yes, for yes, during the year ended 31-3-2023. A new machinery had been purchased from in the date. 31-10-2022 for which it lack. Yes, last year le, 10 lakh rupees of machinery additional depreciation besides normal depreciation has been claimed there on upper last year is more than 180 days or less than one day sir last year la upper 10 percent la gadi chirukum upper 10 lakhs oda etra percent comes to in the ocean claim panikalama depreciation rate for machinery has been taken at adhani solla vendiya assessi has now brought forward business loss or unobserved depreciation as for 142023 utgriya Compute the depreciation available to the asset as per the provisions of N Act and WDV of the different block of asset as on 31-3-2024 if he exercises the option of shifting out of the under section 115 BAC subsection 1A Appada enna depreciation kadeko or he pays the tax under the default tax regime under 115 BAC additional depreciation kadeko correct? Yes sir. Uru point kodam kiriyatadil 
we are able to appreciate and understand each and every point. Yes, sir. <coughs> Shall we quickly go through the answer? Yes, sir. Computation of WDVF block of asset as on 31-3-2024. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Plant and machinery, computer. Because plant and machinery, <laughs> computer. <laughs> what is the opening WDV? <laughs> Less depreciation, including additional depreciation. <laughs> Last year, 4 point. <laughs> opening WDV, 25 point. Listen, students may go wrong here. WDV of the plant and machinery. What is WDV? Full form. Is it before depreciation or after depreciation? Like that, you should not think. In tax, it is before depreciation. Tax le WDV na it is before depreciation. Accounts le WDV na after depreciation. Upper WDV of plant and machinery means it is before. That means opening WDV. Add addition, subtotal, less deletion. The answer is called as WDV. That is the return down value. And the WDV is the depreciation. That 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 is the 4 point. Many students may ignore that information saying that already WDV has been given. So depreciation has been adjusted. It is not adjusted. Yes, sir. So opening WDV has on 14 25.25 lakhs. Right? Yes, because 30 minus 4.75 lakhs comes true. Add actual cost of new asset acquired during the era. New machinery purchased on 1-9-2023. Udusa machine wangi irikang hai? Yes sir. Yes Add new machinery purchased on 1-12-2023. Yes sir. Computer purchased on 31-3-2024. So you will get subtotal ha? Yes sir. 43.25 lakhs and there. Less assets sold, discarded, destroyed or demolished during the year. Correct? Yes sir. And the value of information question hai? WDV. Sir, have you claimed depreciation? You made a depreciation claim for the point. That's what I said. What is the NDV? In the WDV, depreciation. Depreciation minus point. Closing WDV. What is it? Closing WDV. Then WDV minus depreciation. So, 43.25 lakhs and it's a lakh. Right? Now, option number one. If Mr. Venus excites the option of shifting out of default energy. Provider under 115 BAC subsection 1A. Yes, In this case, since this income would be computed under the optional energy, yes, as for the normal provisions of the Act, he would be entitled for normal depreciation and yes, subject to fulfillment of condition. Yes, sir. Computation of depreciation for assessment year 24-25. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Asset put to use for more than 80 days. Eligible for calculated apply, applying the eligible rate of energy depreciation. And what? Okay, man. What is the total WDB? 43.25 lakhs, sir? Yes, sir. This is 25.25 opening. Yes, sir. Up it is more than 180 days. Yes, sir. In the 10 lakhs, more than 180 days, sir. Less than 1 day, sir. More than 180 days. Okay, man. 8 lakh? Less than 180 days. Up 35.25 lakhs. Up 35.25 lakhs. 15% Yes, sir. That's what you Opening WDB 25.25 15 percentage 10 lakhs or 15 percentage total normal depreciation calculate for Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Ipa enna depreciation. Pudusa plant and machinery wang Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pudusa wang the plant and machinery yellow lakh. 10 lakhs. In the washam wang the 10 lakh. Yes, sir. In the washam pudusa wang the 10 lakh. Are the additional depreciation correct? Yes, sir. Are the more than 180 days put to use for the nala? Yes, sir. 10 lakhs into 20 percentage. Right, ah. Balance additional depreciation in respect of the new plant and machinery purchased in last year. Yes, sir. Last year, lo, over 10 lakhs of plant and machinery was given. Yes, that is 180 days restricted. Last year, all of them claimed. Yes, Remaining 10% in the ocean claim. Yes, that is 1 lakh. Correct. Yes, sir. Total 2 lakhs plus 1 lakh. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes, so, my block number 1, asset put to use for more than 180 days comes to 1. Yes, 
இப்போ அசெட் புட் யூஸ் ஃபார் லெஸ் தென் 180 டேஸ் எலிஜிபிள் ஃபார் 50% டிப்ரீசியேஷனா எஸ் சார் கால்குலேட்டட் அப்ளைங் அட் தி எலிஜிபிள் ரேட் ஆஃப் என்ன டிப்ரீசியேஷன் ஆமென் அண்ட் அடிஷனல் டிப்ரீசியேஷன் இஃப் எனி ஷால் ஐ கால்குலேட் நார்மல் டிப்ரீசியேஷன் எஸ் சார் இன் தி பிளாக்ல 25.25 அடிச்சாச்சு நானு எஸ் சார் 10 லட்சம் கால்குலேட் பண்ணியாச்சு ஆனா இதல 8 லட்சம் 8 லட்சம் இன்டு 7 பாயிண்ட் அப்ப 8 லட்சம் இன்டு 7.5% இஸ் கம் டு 60000 ரைட் ஆ Plus uh, computer purchase from 31 to 2023. Yes sir. Computer more than one eighty days or less than one days. Yes sir. Zero lakh. Hindu. But you can't. Yes sir. Forty percent enjoy for that. Yes. Yeah. So four lakh into twenty percent. Block one lakh. Block two lakh. Yes. For that computer will you get additional depreciation? Yes. For the second machine. Second machine will you get additional depreciation? Yes. First machine acquired during the year. Yes. yes. Correct. Yes. So total depreciation is sir normal depreciation plus addition. You will get the total depreciation easy. Yes sir. As per section thirty two subsection one class two a additional depreciation is allowable in case of any what acquired and installed after thirty one three two thousand and five by an assessee engaged inter alia in the business of manufacture or production of any yes, at the rate of twenty percentage of the actual cost of such machinery or plant but it is having exception. Yes, Our additional depreciation shall not be allowed in respect of inter alia any any appliances or any transport vehicle or any machinery or plant installed inter alia in view of the above provision additional depreciation cannot be in respect of machinery purchased on 1 2 2023 because it is installed in computer purchased on 31 12 2024 for installed in balance additional depreciation at the rate of on new plant or machinery acquired and put to use for less than in the year of acquisition which has not been allowed in that year shall be allowed in the immediately succeeding appa last year 180 days concept nal paadi depreciation na claim panna mudinjichu yes sir adoda meedhiya indha varsham claim pannikalam yes sir and in this case the balance additional depreciation at that is in a sort 20% oda paadi last year claim pannirupanga current year la remaining 10% yes sir in respect of enna machinery which had been purchased during the previous year 2223 and put to use for less than in that year can be claimed in previous year 23 been immediately succeeding previous year othukriya yes sir appa last year 180 days concept nal depreciation paadiya restrict pannirukanga na adha indha version claim pannikalam yes sir but need default tax regime la travel pandradha irundha that is 115 bsc yes sir yes sir additional depreciation claim panna in this case under the default tax regime as per 115 bsc he would be entitled only for but not for opening wdv 25.25 lakhs sir adoda 15% allowed sir yes sir pudusa vaangra machine 10 lakh 10 lakh adoda normal depreciation appa total normal depreciation ah yes sir 5.29 ipo va less than 180 days correct ah Yes sir. Renda da wang na mission. Eight lakhs. Ado na seven point five percentage. Sixty thousand. Computer purchased. Four lakhs. Ado na. Comes to. That means total depreciation is equal to normal depreciation. Correct ta? Yes sir. Any depreciation varad. Sare last year or unclaimed in the party claim par lama. Adu ena la claim par na. That's it. Marandra vendi da additional depreciation gara concepte. கடையாது அருள் ரிலீவ் வித் மீ சார் இந்த வருஷம் எனக்கு அடிஷனல் டிப்ரிசியேஷன் வேண்டாம் சார் انا லாஸ்ட் வருஷத்தோட 10% மிச்சம் அது இந்த வருஷம் க்ளைம் பண்ண முடியுங்க சார் வெளிய போ வெளிய போ யாரை விட்டு டிஃபால்ட் டாக்ஸ் ரிஜி விட்டு வெளிய போனேனா அந்த அடிஷனல் டிப்ரிசியேஷன் வேணா என்ன பண்ணிக்கலாம் அது இல்லாம எதுக்குள்ள இருந்துட்டு கரண்ட் இயரோட அடிஷனல் டிப்ரிசியேஷனும் க்ளைம் பண்ண முடியாது லாஸ்ட் இயரோட மிச்சம் மீதியோ Additional depreciation का concept ये मरंदर हो clarity yes, sir. with that we are done with question number one are you comfortable yes, sir. I am moving into question number two shall I proceed yes, sir. so we can say that sir out of ten question we have done with one question is it easy than earlier yes, you have not stuck up any varengi stuck up आओ ले that's what I need Mr Abhiman you engage in the business of generation and distribution of power they are entitled for <laughs> But in order to enjoy additional depreciation, get out. The right. He ought to claim depreciation on any value. We all know that power sector undertaking what to option it. Either straight line method or how can they do it? WDV method for income tax purpose. Can they take WDV? Yes. It is their option. 
From the following details, compute the depreciation allowable as per provisions of N Act for the assessment year 2425, assuming yes, excise the option of shifting out of what? Provided under 115 BAC subsection 1, that means he decided to get out yes, of the WDV of block as on 31 3 2023, 15 percentage rate 50 lakh. Yes, sir. Is this WDV means before depreciation, after depreciation? Okay, depreciation for previous year 22 23. How much? About 50 lakhs in this seven. What I know? 42.5 lakhs. Is the closing WDV of the last year is equal to new missionary purchase? New, 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 new missionary purchase. Correct? Yes, sir. 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs. Correct? More than one days, less than. More than one days, less than. Less than 180 days. Or all the right. Missionary imported from Colombo. Missionary imported from Colombo. On 12 4 2000. This machine has been used only in India. And SSC is the first user in India. Is this a second hand brother, Mr. Ria? This has been used in India. Colombo. Sir, I got only married only in outside India. I have not married in India. Sir, second hand plant the machine in second hand, that's it. Hello, sir. India is Yes, sir. This is not entitled for new computer. New computer. New computer. Installed in generation wing. That means factory. Allowed additional depreciation allowed. Yes, sir. On 15, 7, 2023, 2 lakh. All assets were purchased by NFA check. check. If your analysis is answer to in the opening WD 50 lakhs and 7.5 lakhs minus money. Yes, sir. Upon 42.5 lakhs opening WD in Yes, sir. In the new machinery, more than less than. Yes, sir. normal depreciation Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Less than the sold Okay. Additional depreciation cutting ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adik yes, value Yes, sir. Value Yes, sir. Shift tire kar liya. Yes, sir. Okay. Apa additional depreciation at yes, Remaining ten percent at thousand Yes, sir. Machinery imported from Colombo more than one eighty days. Yes, sir. normal depreciation cutting ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fifteen percent. Additional depreciation cutting ma? Yes, New computer ka normal depreciation cutting ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Additional depreciation Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yellow person. 20 percentage. Right? Yes, sir. So I'm checking the answer, man. Computation of depreciation under section 32 for assessment here 24 25. Normal depreciation. Depreciation at 15 percentage on 51 lakh 50,000. Every day, ma. Being missionary put to use for more than 80 days. WDV total last year 50 lakhs. Yes, sir. Adilar, the depreciation last year was 7 lakh 50 minus 20. Yes, sir. Upon 42 lakh 50,000 under the plus purchase cost of imported missionary 9 lakhs. Yes, sir. In the 9 lakhs, so more than 180 days. Dane. Yes, sir. Up a yella 180 days in Seta 51 lakh 50,000 rupees. Yes, sir. Into 15 percentage calculated the quarter. 7 lakh 72,500. Match out. Yes, Next one depreciation at 7.5 percentage on the lakh. Being new missionary put to use for less than the new missionary here yeah, less than one day 10 lakhs correct ah? half the rate of depreciation ah? 10 lakhs into 7.5 percent total comes to 8 lakh 47 thousand less depreciation at the rate of 40 percentage on computer purchase on how much lakh 2 lakhs in a 2 lakhs more than one day is done eh? yes, normal depreciation 40 percent is done eh? yes, comes to how much total comes to 9 lakh 27 thousand clarity yes, now I am calculating any depreciation. Additional depreciation at 10 percentage on a lakh. Yena pudusa wangi rikar machine less than one eight days than a. Up additional depreciation hello percent na karigyo. Up 10 lakh or 10 percentage. Additional depreciation at 20 percentage on a computer. Because it is installed in a wing. Generation wing. Up 2 lakh or 20 percentage comes to. 40. Okay man. Up 1 lakh plus 40 thousand comes to. So depreciation on plant and machinery 10 lakh 67 thousand. Clarity. Yes, sir. So Mr. Abhiman is eligible for any depreciation. Since yes, excise the option of shifting out of 
provided under section 115 BAC subsection 1A. Yes, Benefit of NA depreciation yes, is available to new plant and machinery acquired and installed in NA sector undertaking. Yes, Accordingly, additional depreciation is allowable in case of any new machinery or plant acquired and installed by the R. Inter alia in the business of generation, transmission or distribution of at a rate of at the actual cost of such machinery or therefore new computer installed in generation wing unit eligible for additional depreciation at the rate of since the new machinery was purchased only on in the date it was put to use for less than during the previous year and hence only 10 percentage is allowable as additional depreciation in assessment year the balance additional depreciation will be allowed in the however additional depreciation shall not be allowed in respect of any machinery or plant which before its installation by the assessee was used either within or in the India le use kona seri by any other person therefore additional depreciation is not allowable in respect of any machinery since it is used in Colombo before it is installed by the apa yenga use kona kuda adi enna da not entitled for I am able to appreciate sir. Yes, sir. With this question number two also comes to an other way to the question number three. Comfortable? Yes, sir. Sir, examine with reason the allowability of the following expense incurred by Mr. Manav, a wholesale dealer of commodity under the Income Tax Act, while computing PGBP for the assessment year 24-25. If he has excised the option of shifting out of default tax regime under 115 BAC subsection 1A, what the 115 BAC subsection 1A would be shift out of the account? In the expense cannot deduction claim for the Mudima? That's a question number one. Construction of N building. A school car building at the Gutra in compliance with N activity. Amount into how much? CSR activity carga sell out for another section 37 deduction. I edit a code. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, man. So we have to read that parallelly. Construction of school building in compliance with an activity yes, under section 37, subsection 1. What is section 37? Yes, Only expenditure not being in the nature of an expenditure yes, or an expenditure yes, are not covered under what to what and incurred wholly and exclusively for the purpose of yes, is allowed as deduction while computing the business income. Yes, However, any expenditure incurred by a what? On the activity relating to CSR referred in section 135 of the N Act yes, shall not deem to have been incurred for the purpose of business yes, and hence shall not be allowed as a yes, under section yes, accordingly the amount of 5 lakh 60,000 incurred by Mr. Manaf towards construction of school building in compliance with yes, shall not be allowed as deduction under section. So section 37 no condition a in a CSR activity can be used for another expenditure of claim for that. I'm going to the second one man purchase of building for the purpose of in a business or setting up and operating a warehousing facility for storage of in a grain. Sir, in order to claim deduction under in a AD, you should get out of the default tax regime. Have they get out? So can the capital expenditure claim it as deduction? So this 450,000 is allowed a yes, purchase of building for setting up and operating a warehousing facility for storage of yes. Mr. Mano would be eligible for investment link tax deduction under NID yes. since he has excised the option of shifting out of default tax regime provided under 115 BAC subsection. Yes. The deduction under NID yes. would be 100 percentage of yes. being the amount invested in purchase of yes. for setting up and operating a warehousing facility for storage of which come and operation on or after 14-2009, correct? Yes, sir. Therefore, this deduction under 35, yes. while computing the business income of such specified business would be, yes. if Mr. Manav opt for section 35, yes. AD, clarity. Yes, sir. I am away, my dear lovable students, the third point, interest on loan paid to X, a resident of how much? On which tax has not been deducted, 194 yes, AVA, yes, interest other than? Yes, Interest on securities. Yes, sir. What is the limit? What is the limit? But error is paper. The sales for the previous year 22-23 was 202 lakh. That means I am liable for tax audit. My turnover exceeds 100 lakh. Yes, sir. Mr. X has not paid the tax, if any, on such interest. Then 30% should be in the back. Correct. Sir, interest on loan paid to Mr. X are resident 50,000 on which tax has not been. As per section, 
Mr. Manav being an individual is required to deduct tax at source and the amount of interest on loan paid to Yark. Since his turnover during the previous year 23, 20, 22, 23 exceeds, therefore 15,000 being 30 percentage of how much would be disallowed under 40A subsection Venne while computing the business income of Mr. for non deduction of tax at source under what section? All interest of 50,000 paid by it to Mr. The balance of how much would be allowed as deduction under 36 subsection 1 clause 3. Other than in the song, assuming that the amount was borrowed for the purpose of a pamba diarba pm the code debit and a end of the put it 30 percent and about remaining 35,000 will be allowed as a under section clarity commodity transaction tax paid 20,000 on sale of bullion correct yes sir. yes sir sir in order to claim commodity transaction tax as a deduction the income from that bullion should be credited to be yes, sir. then only the corresponding expense can be debited yes, sir. commodity transaction tax paid in respect of in the commodity ended in the course of business during the previous series n as deduction provided the income arising from such taxable commodities included in the income computer under the head taken that income from this commodities included while computing the income of one of the commodity transaction tax of 20,000 paid is allowable as deduction under 36 subsection 1 class 16 because 15 security transaction tax 16 that's it man we are done with the third question out of 10 questions comfortable I am going into question number 4, my dear lovable students. Examine with reasons for the following subdivision, whether the following statement are dash or dash. And in regard to the provisions of the income tax act, shall we check true or false? Yes, sir. For a dealer in shares and security. So, I am dealing in shares and security. security transaction tax paid in the recognized stock exchange is permissible business expenditure. Yes, sir. True or false? True. The answer is true. As per 36 subsection 1, class 15. If I am based on Allows a deduction on amount of security transaction tax paid by the in respect of entered into in the course of business during the previous year as deduction from the business income of a dealer in shares and I'm going to the second part comfortable. Yes, sir. But a person follows mercantile system of accounting, an expenditure of how much has been allowed on any basis. So last year, tell you understand Paniko, P and the Lakola to expenses A and Suli number P and Lakola debit panel. Anna, it will pay a panel. It pay a panel in a forty three billion the cover of the letter. Forty three billion the cover of Adinale last year the deduction. I did it. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. But a person follows in a system of accounting, mercantile system of an expenditure of which has been allowed on and in a year. If the number of our shuttle in respect of this set expenditure, as he makes a payment off. Through way in a check. 25,000 can be treated as PGBP under 40A subsection 3A in the year of payment. Last year, the deduction is the accrual basis. And our payment is the same. Now, the account pay check, account pay bank draft, electronic clearance system, or such other electronic mode as may be prescribed, other than four modes. Then 40A subsection 3A will be applicable. Number 3 down there, you know. That is current year. Next year, 3A. That is right. That is the statement is true. As per 40A subsection NA. In case of assessee following NS system of accounting. If an expenditure has been allowed as deduction in any NA year. On NA basis. When payment exceeding 10,000 has been made in the subsequent year. Otherwise done by NA pay check. Or NA pay bank draft. Or use of ECS through NA account. Or to such other prescribed electronic modes such as credit card, debit card, net banking, IMBS, UPI, RTGS, NEFT, BHIM, Aadhaar Pay, then the payment so made shall be deemed to be the income of subsequent year in which such payment has been made. Clarity? Yes, sir. Clear than India? Yes, sir. Now, what is the concept? Current year, P and L, we have expense. Yes, sir. We have to pay. 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 That's 43 billion. We have to pay. அப்படினா, futureல் நம்ம அந்த இதுக்கான payment பண்ணும் போது cash up pay பண்ணா, அப்படி cash up pay பண்ணேனா, 40A subsection 3A attractாகும் clarity, 
I'm moving. It is mandatory to provide depreciation under section what? While computing income under the head PGBP. Yes. Already in our notes to the depreciation of the most reason. Yes, sir. Now, we can do what we can do. Depreciation. True. According to explanation 5 to 32 subsection 1. Allowance of depreciation is what? Therefore, depreciation has to be provided mandatorily while computing income from business or whether or not the SSC has claimed the same while computing his income. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm moving into the next one. The medi claim premium paid to GIC by Mr. Lomesh for his Yarka by an NFA check on 27 12 2023 is a detectable expenditure under section 36. Sir, medi claim na. Premium paid on dash of the employee. Allowed. Yes, sir. But is allowed? Can you have it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. True, sir. 32 subsection 1 class 1B. B stands for all. By subs. Provides deduction in respect of premium paid by R. To keep in force an insurance on the health of his employee under scheme freight in this behalf by GIC or any other insurer. Correct? Yes, sir. A medical insurance premium can be paid by any mode other than because medical insurance premium are paid by check. Correct? Yes, to be eligible for deduction under 36 subsection 1 class 1B. Correct? Yes, sir. Sir, we PGBP a detailed discuss on the PGBP. Yes, sir. But PGBP a telewani discuss on the PGBP. Yes, sir. Under section 35 D, D, A, V, R, S. Yes. Amortization of what? Yes, Expenditure incurred. Under eligible VRS at the time of retirement alone can be done. Yes, Proof or false? 35 DDA is the amortization of expenditure eligible VRS only at the time of retirement. What is the amount of insurance? How many years? False expenditure incurred in making payment to the ARC. In connection with this what? Either in the year of what? Or in April. Will be under the deduction in 5 equal annual installment. Beginning from the year in which each payment is made to the ARC. Sir, the last one, an individual engaged in trading activity and exercising the option of shifting out of default energy provided under 115 BAC subsection can claim additional depreciation under 32 subsection 1 class 2A in respect of dash plant. Even in activity? Trading activity. Assessi manufacturing activity in engage are going. Even Vangara? Vikra. Even new plant and missionary Vangirka installed in the Yenna concern. Nice to see you, right? Where the increase in value of such plan as compared to the approved base here is more than? 10% That's why you have to say that 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 Even trader has to say that you have to claim that you have to say that you have to claim that False Additional depreciation can be claimed only in respect of eligible plan and missionary acquired and installed by an assess engaged in the Manufacture or production of any article or thing or in the business of generation or transmission or distribution of in this case, individual is engaged in any activity. And the new plant has been acquired and installed in any concern. Hence, he will not be entitled to claim additional depreciation under section 32, subsection 1 class. Even though he has exercised the option of shifting out of default tax regime under 105 BAC subsection. You need the root of it value upon the value of 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 the value. With this, we can say that out of 10 questions, we have done with the 4 questions by the available students. Shall I proceed to the fifth question? Yes, sir. Examine with reason the allowability of the following expenses. Under the income tax act, while computing income under the head PBGP, can this item can be debited to PNL account? Okay, yes, sir. Provision made on the basis of inner valuation for payment of gratuity how much? However, no payment on account of gratuity was made before due date for filing the return. So, what provision was to create? Hello, sir. Should be another act. As per 40A subsection 7. Correct? Not allowable as As for 40A subsection 7 No deduction is allowed in computing business income In respect of any provision made by that In its end of accounts For payment of gratuity to his employee Except in the following two cases are Where any provision is made for purpose of payment of such sum By way of contribution towards an approved Or where any provision is made for the purpose of making any payment on account of gratuity That has become payable during the layer Therefore, in the present case, the provision made on the basis of N evaluation for payment of gratuity has been in allowed under 40A subsection 7 since no payment has been actually made on account of it is assumed that such provision is not for the purpose of contribution towards an 
இந்த அப்ரூவ்டு கிராச்சுவிட்டி ஃபண்டுக்கு கிடையாது அப்படின்னு நம்ம அசியூம் பண்றோம் ஸோ ப்ரொவிஷன் ஃபார் சிம்பிள் கிராச்சுவிட்டி ஷுட் பி என்ன பேக் ஸோ அதனால பிஎன் அக்கௌண்ட்ல அதை அலோவ் பண்ண மாட்டேன் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் சப்செக்ஷன் செவன் பதில அதை ஆட் பேக் பண்ணுவேன் பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆஃப் என்ன சீட் ஆஃப் ஹவு மச் இன்னும் எப்படி ஃப்ரம்மே யார்கிட்ட ஆனால் என்னடே யார்கிட்ட இருந்து வாங்கியிருக்க அப்போ ரூல் சிக்ஸ் டி கவர் ஆகுதா அலவுடாஸ் நான் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணேன் ஆஸ் பர் ரூல் நம்பர் என்ன டிடி இன் கேஸ் பேமெண்ட் இஸ் மேட் ஃபார் பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆஃப் என்ன ப்ரொடியூஸ் டைரக்ட்லி டு த யார்க்கு குரோவர் ஆர் ப்ரொடியூசர் ஆஃப் சச் என்ன ப்ரொடியூஸ் நோ டிஸ் அலவன்ஸ் அண்டர் ஃபார்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் செக்ஷன் த்ரீ அட்ராக்டட் இவன் தோ த கேஷ் பேமெண்ட் எக்ஸீட்ஸ் therefore in this case disallowance under 40a subsection 3 is not attracted since cash payment for purchase of oil seed is made directly to the father odal appreciate panna mudiyad yes sir tax on n amount per question provided to an employee for the small a series la irundichu yes sir 40a subsection 5 40a subsection any non monetary purpose debited to pnl account should be it cannot be claimed as expenditure of business expenditure yes sir so income tax of how much paid by yaar in respect of non monetary purpose provided to its employees exempt in the answer under section 1010 cc correct ah yes sir 1010 cc tax on non monetary purpose yes sir employer kaila the expense ah kadaikade yes sir employee kaila the income ah treat panna vendiya as per 40a subsection 5 correct ah yes, such income tax paid by the employer is not deductible while computing the business income apa as an employer na employee ka pay panna tax pn la kuda debit panna koodadu yes, tax on non monetary purpose it should be added back, added back. plus adu vandu employee kai income ah treat panna vendiya it is exempt at under section 10 10 cc correct ah yes sir i'm moving man payment of 50000 by using credit card for any insurance is fire insurance allowed yes sir because fire insurance is a business expenditure yes sir yes sir you can claim it as deduction allowable as yes, payment of fire insurance is allowable as deduction under 36 sub section 1 hello sir yes sir sir stock insurance is there yes sir stock insurance i don't know fire insurance correct ah since payment is made by enna card which is a prescribed enna mode disallowance under 40 a subsection 3 is not attracted in this case adanal ad pn la kon debit pannikalam deduction ah claim pannikalam othukriya salary payment of 10 lakh to mr x enga outside that means non resident ah by a company without deduction of tax assuming mr x has not paid tax on set salary income ethra percent disallowance section 40a subsection salary salary 3 not allowed as deduction data disallowance under 40a subsection is attracted in respect of salary payment of etalak outside india by a company without deduction of appreciate pandriya payment made in cash 30000 to a transporter in a day for carriage of goods allowed evlo varaikku allowed allowable as deduction time limit for attracting disallowance under section mm. for payment otherwise than the account pay check or account pay bank draft or electronic clearing system or use of ecs through a bank account or through such other prescribed mode is how much yaar ke in case of payment made for flying hiring or leasing of a carriage therefore in the present case disallowance under 40 sub section 3 is not attracted for payment of made in cash to a transporter for carriage of goods with this we can say that out of 10 question we have done with the five question my dear lovely students shall i move into question number 6 sir examine with reason whether the following statements are what or what with regard to the provisions of income tax act payment made in respect of business expenditure incurred on 16th february for 25000 through a nhc is hit by the provision of 40a subsection 3 true because business expenditure correct yes sir in order to escape the disallowance specified under what 48. payment in respect of business expenditure out to have been made through a nhc payment, payment through a cross check will attract disallowance under 40a subsection 3 right sir part number b it is a condition precedent to write off in the nf accounts yes, the amount due from the data to claim deduction for bad debts in order to claim bad debt as a deduction you should mandatorily write off that bad debt in the books of accounts is it a condition yes, i highlight in the class yes sir so true it is mandatory to enough right amount due from a 
as not receivable in the books of accounts in order to claim the same as bad debt under 36 subsection 1 class. However, where the debt has been entered into account in computing the income of the assessee on the basis of NDS notified under 145 subsection 2 without recording the same in there, then such debt shall be allowed in the previous year and such debt become irrecoverable. It shall be deemed that such debt or part thereof has been written off as irrecoverable in the accounts for the said purpose. I will explain you. For example, as for income computation disclosure, you have taxed some income, some receivable. Are you all really with me? Without including in the books of accounts. And then books of accounts are added to the computation of any income. Matu ni add pani utte te sir. Ana future le adi na chena bad debt age. Ipe ek right off panna na yena kuru pingen solringe. Direction. Ana right off panna thi ke na of accounts le hille. So it will be assumed that it has been written off in the na of accounts. Apo ipe padi. However, where the debt has been na into account. Taken into account in computing the income of the what? Apa computation of total income itu lori income tak kati irka, okay ba? On the basis of what? Notified under what section? Without recording the same in the accounts. Apo right at the receivable tu soli, engga kati le? Books of accounts le kati. Ane engga irit de? Adi kenapa um kati de? Then such debt shall be allowed in the year. In which such debt become irrecoverable and it shall be in that such debt or part thereof has been written off as irrecoverable in the accounts for the set purpose. Right? Yes, sir. In case on the item future, what is the bad debt? Bad debt, it will be deemed that in the books of accounts, write off Panna Mahandi. Correct? Yes, sir. Amu Iman. The next one, failure to detect NXOs in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 17B inter alia from the amount payable to NRS as rent or what? It will result in disallowance while computing the business income where the non-resident payee has not paid the tax due on such income. Yes. Yetra person disallowance. True 40A subsection 1 provides that failure to detect NXOs on rent or reality payable to a RKL in accordance with the provisions of charter will result in disallowance of such expenditure where the non-resident payee has not paid the tax due on clarity with this we can say that out of 10 questions we have done with the 6 question my dear love of the students the last 7 question Brahmanaman question right now PGBP full set of questions. Mr. Shivam, a retail trader of Cochin, gives you the following trading and PNR account for the end of 31st March. Sales, closing stock, opening stock, purchases, gross profit. Right? By GP, this income from UTH should be taxable under NOS. Salary, rent and rates, interest on loan, depreciation, printing and station, postage and telegram. Loss on sale of share should be taxable under? Other general expense, net profit, we have to start with the net profit. Right? Additional information has been given. It was found that some stock were omitted to be included in both the dash and dash stock. Closing stock include panna profit increase out. Opening stock include panna profit decrease out. Up this much profit you should add and this much profit you should. Or netta sir nine thousand rupees you should. Don't do the net. Do it separately. Then the answer will be big. Are you all really with me? Yes sir. Nothing more. Salary include ten thousand paid to his brother. Brother is related. Which is unreasonable to the extent of 40A subsection 2 will be applicable related party transaction. Yes, sir. So the 2000 rupees are related party transaction. So we add back money. Yes, sir. Whole amount of printing and stationery was paid in what? Yes. Printing and stationery 23,200 more than 10,000. Yes, 40A subsection 3 will be applicable. Should be in the back. Depreciation provided in the PNL 1,5,000 was based on the following information. Correct? Yes, so how much is the depreciation debited to PNL 1 lakh? Should be in the back. And we have to calculate the depreciation. Yes, sir. Opening balance of plant and machinery WDV as on 31-3-2023 minus depreciation for the previous year 2023 is how much? 4,20,000. So 4,20,000 is the opening WDV. Yes, sir. A new plan falling under the same block of depreciation was brought on 1,7-2023 more than 1,8 days. Yes, sir. For how much? Apa four lakh twenty thousand plus seventy thousand add back money? Four lakh. Okay, man. Two old plant were sold on one ten two thousand twenty three. Yes sir. Purchase panna da one eighty days concept check panu sale panna. 
one day starts a chicken of idea for how much rupees so minus how much 4 lakh 90 minus 50 4 lakh 40000 right ah sir 4 lakh 40000 is more than apa 4 lakh 40000 into 15 percentage ah yes sir come so much 60000 but how much depreciation debited to real so you have to add back and you have to reduce because that is a correct depreciation as per income tax rules rate and rent include gst liability how much paid on 7 for no problem because before filing the return of income you are paid yes sir other general expense include how much paid as donation to a ark should be added back because this is not a business expenditure correct yes sir but you can claim it as a chapter 6 a deduction yes, you are required to compute the profits and gains of mr shivam under presumptive taxation under what and the profits and gains as per the regular provisions of the act assuming as exercise the option of shifting out of provided under 115 bac subsection assuming that the whole of the amount of turnover received by nfa check or use of electronic clearance system through bank during the nir this is a beautiful question correct yes sir shall we start trying the question yes sir you keep the question with you i please give me the in a sub details whatever i am asking what is the net profit as per pnl See the question or the answer. Okay, ba. Yes, sir. Fifty. Thousand. Add inadmissible expenses or losses. Correct, ta. Yes, sir. Under valuation of closing stock should be added, ta. Yes, sir. How much? Eighteen. Eighteen. Thousand. Salary paid to brother. Is there any unreasonable amount? Yes, sir. How much? Two thousand. As for what section you should add? Forty-eight. Section two. Right. Printing and stationery. Is this cash payment exceeding ten thousand? Yes, sir. How much? Twenty-three thousand. Two hundred. Two hundred. As for what section? Will you add back depreciation? Yes, sir. Because you have to consider separately. Yes, sir. How much you will add back? Add back. Will you add back short-term capital loss on share? Yes, sir. How much? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Are able to match it? Yes, sir. Will you add back donation to public charitable trust? Yes, sir. Because it is not a business expenditure. Yes, sir. So to the net profit reported fifty thousand, you will add back one lakh fifty-eight thousand. Three hundred. You will get a sub-total as two lakh eight thousand three hundred. Right, ah. Yes, sir. Opening stock record, panna motor gang hai. Yes, sir. Record panni, panni na profit kamir ko. Yes, sir. Apa less <coughs> undervaluation of any stock? How much? Income from UTA, IFRS la tax aur ma. Yes, sir. How much? Two thousand. But the end le credit panni achchir kang hai. Minus panni utre. Yes, sir. So total la eleven four hundred minus panna hai. Yes, sir. So business income before depreciation is. Already, we have depreciation calculated. Yes, sir. We got how much? Fifty-six thousand. Are the minus one? No. Yes, sir. Yeah, now one lakh. Correct time depreciation minus one. Yes, sir. Yeah, no. yes, you will get the PBGP. Yes, sir. Here, no. Right, ah. Yes, sir. Now computation of business income as per section. As per forty-four A D, where the amount of turnover is received entirely by way of N P H. Or use of any system through bank or through such other prescribed electronic mode, the business presumptive income would be. You know, turnover P and the account part is only one crore to one lakh eleven thousand five hundred. Is it less than two crore? Yes sir. Because our exam is three crore or something. Yes sir. Cash receipt five percent to learn that. Yes sir. Either three percent, six percent, it comes to six lakh seventy two thousand. Are you comfortable with calculation of depreciation? Yes sir. It comes to how much? Since GST liability has been paid before the due date for filing the Deductible. under what section? Same is deductible. Same is what? Deductible. Who wrote it? Can you? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it, man. I will get another required question number seven, Lena. You are required to compute the profits and gains of Mr. Shivam under presumptive taxation under what? Which is nothing but turnover into six percentage. Correct? Right? Yes, and as per the regular provisions of the Act, assuming as exercise the option of shifting out of default. Provided under 115 BAC subsection, assume that the whole of the amount of turnover received by any paycheck or use of electronic clearing system through bank account during the year. That's why we have applied comfortable, not comfortable. So out of ten question, we can say that we are done with the seven question. We are having only eight, nine, ten. Are you able to get the flow in PGBB? Yes, sir. If you are able to get the flow, means you are nearing to the success, my dear lovable students. Comfortable. 
Mr. Sugubin that is engaged in the business of plying in a carriage. On 1st April, he owns Ethra truck. Out of which six are heavy goods vehicle and heavy goods vehicle, the gross vehicle weight of such is how much kg each? Which is more than 12 kg, 12 ton, 12,000 ton, correct? Yes, sir. 12,000 kg, 12 ton. Yes, sir. On 2nd May, he sold one of the heavy goods vehicle with the tar, Paravala, correct? And purchased a light goods vehicle. Now, yes, Paravala, correct? Yes, sir. He said, what is one with it, one with it, one with it, one with it. This new vehicle could however be put to use only on 15th June 2020. You can only put to use it. You can calculate the demand income. Yes sir. Compute the total income of Mr. Suguvir for the assessment year for 24-25. Hello. Taking note of the following data. Fried collector charges. Who is this? Less operation expense. Six lakh. Depreciation. Other office expenses. All of these net profit as well. Books are all cut. Other business and non-business income. So, they have books of accounts. Yes, sir. What do we do? Preserved income. Yes, sir. If we do it, we will compare it. Yes, sir. Now, books of accounts are all profit. Yes, sir. Six lakh rupees. Yes, sir. Now, books of accounts are all profit. Yes, sir. Sir, now, wow. We are going to calculate both correctly because not in the normal line of NSR calculation. 44 A in our section can you put it again? Would apply in case of Mr. Skubinder. Mr. S. Now we can say that. Since he is engaged in the business of applying goods carriage and owns not more than at any time during the NIR. Section NIA. Provides for computation of business income of such as a C on a NIA basis. Total income shall be deemed to be ethana per ton. Of gross vehicle weight or unladen weight as NMV per month or part of the month for each NMV and 7500 per month or part of the month for each NMV vehicle owned by the in the previous year or such higher sum as declared by the SSE in his end of income. So shall we calculate Mr. Yes business income calculator applying the provisions of 44 AE is this much. Hello, sir. And his total income would be this much. Hello. Sir, if you calculate it, you can see presumptive income. It is only where books of accounts are maintained. That is already available. Yes, sir. Computation of total income of Mr. Yes for assessment year 24-25. Income from business of flying goods carriages. Yes, sir. Varaja, you can see the first week. Okay, correct. Okay, correct. That is heavy goods vehicle. That is heavy goods. Heavy goods. Okay, four. This is only here. यार है ये तो आई था अगर ना ये पप्पू भी था क्या सेकेंड मे हाँ सेकेंड मेरे इधर कर ला टू फाइव आ ओके आई देखो वाव अब हेवी गुड्स व्हीकल वन गुड्स कैरेज अप तू फर्स्ट में सेकेंड मेरे इधर कर करेटा अब ये तो ना मास ये टू मंथ्स मंथ और पार्ट ऑफ़ द मंथ अब उरना औरे उरना इन्दा को टू मंथ्स कलर के बंदे थे उर टन नहीं करो थाउजेंड ये तरह टन फिफ्टीन इन्दू थाउजेंड इन्दू रेंड मासों राइटा राइटा ये पिंडा आर ले पुण्य वाली बीच Remaining five and the five of the continuous engine is good. Yes, sir. Disturb our work. Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, sir. Up a five goods carriage held throughout the year. Correct? Yes, sir. Ethra Masam. One ton. One ton. Ethra ton. Fifteen into thousand. Fifteen into twelve. Twelve. Right? Yes, sir. Purida. Yes, sir. Ipo, sir. Ipo, the value of the value of the value of the value of the value. Heavy goods, goods vehicle other than already in the ethanol goods vehicle which is not on it. Other than heavy goods vehicle. And the ethanol goods vehicle, ethanol goods vehicle. Up a four goods carriage held throughout the year. For ethanol goods vehicle. Masa masa. Masa masa. Tanna Parker India. Parker India. 7,512, 3 lakhs is she goes. 
90 dosen into 4. Yeah. 4 only. Apo, or mass at the 7500. Correct. Into 4 vehicle, 15 mass. 40. Apo, 7500 to 40 come to 3 lakhs. Yes, sir. Clarity? Yes, sir. Okay, man. Ipo, or vehicle, you look around the gilia. Yes, sir. Adi, yepo under the May. Yes, sir. Sixth May. Yes, sir. second May, with the sixth May, delivered the gang. Yes, sir. And a yep of puppy, you say. Fifteen? Okay, 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 Actually, the last year, heavy goods vehicle is a good one. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. And the video is a good one. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, other business in Katukum present as someone may render root limit seventy seven question a Pacha Kudra. Yes, sir. In a Karaka, Kudra, seventy thousand Solira. Hello, sir. Up a thirteen lakh seventy two thousand and a hundred plus seventy thousand fourteen lakh forty two thousand. Is the end income as per present to root? Anna, books of accounts maintain one drag. Picture, picture, four lakh forty five thousand. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Because in an uh, twelve lakh seventy five thousand total fry to Angirga. Yes, sir. I'll sell you operation expense on Europe. Yes, sir. Depreciation Europe. Yes, sir. Other office expense Europe. Yes, sir. Adela Mudicite, Yenna Rutla travel Pandradanda. Normal Rutla travel Pandradanda. Hello, sir. Four lakh forty five thousand rupees. Sir, I look at it. Put Strawberry, 4 lakh 45 thousand. Now here, I am present to root labor. Now, what is the The picture, 4 lakh 45 thousand. Now, okay. Purida, yeah. Yes, sir. Other income, 70 thousand. Total, ah. Yeah, this better. But you have to maintain. And you have to do. What is it? Yes, sir. Sir, now, okay. Calculation. Kira, mala, mala, kira. However, as for 44 AE, Mr. Yes, may claim lower NSR profits and gains if he keeps and maintains proper books of accounts as per section and gets the same audited and furnishes a report as such as per 44. If he does so, then his income for tax purpose from goods carriage would be strawberry will be the income and instead of 13,72,000 and his total income will be 5,15,000. Clarity? Comfortable? Yes, sir. So the normal P and L account has been given. It is sales minus expenses. This profit. <coughs> Books in a profit from the NMR. Presumptive. Yes, sir. You have to maintain books of accounts. You have to get it. Clear? Yes, sir. Very good. With this out of how many questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can say that we have done with the 8th question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A manufacturer, manufacturer, manufacturer. A Chennai, Chennai, Chennai gives the following manufacturing, trading, and PL account for the year ending. Correct? Yes, Sales parwala, closing shop parwala, opening shop parwala, purchase of raw material parwala, manufacturing wages parwala, GP parwala. By GP, sir, by dividend from domestic company, parwala undu. Correct? This has to be removed, man. Yes, sir. Income from agriculture has to be removed, man. Yes, sir. To yes, GST penalty, penalty will not be allowed as a reduction. Yes, sir. GST paid allowed to generous funds, allowed interest to bank on machinery and alone. Yes, allowed depreciation, allowed net profit is my starting point. Yes, sir. Following are the further information relating to financial year 23 24. Yes, Administrative charges include how much? Paid as a commission to brother, related party. Yes, of the SSE commission amount at the market rate is how much? Yes, how much, etc. Yes, Should be end back. Yes, 40 A subsection 2. We wrote a SSE paid 33,000 in cash to a transporter. 
the amount is included in manufacturing expense allowed yes sir assuming that the provision rate of tds are not applicable to this payment exception to 184c yes sir a sum of rupees 4000 per month was paid as salary to a staff throughout the year and this has not been recorded in the 4000 into 12 comes to 48000 rupees oda expense book pannala yes sir apdi 48000 rupees oda expense enna pannalena book pannala net profit adhigama irukum yes sir adhigamaga enna pannano 194c 194c idhukku sonna ama transporter contractor sub contractor than gta the assc paid 33000 in cash to a transport transporter carrying on 29 12 to 2023 this amount is included in the manufacturing expense assume that the provision rate in tds are not applicable on this payment nu sonna if you are making any payment to a gta where is holding less than 10 goods carriage vehicle and if he is giving a declaration and pan to the to us eh, as per section 184c no need to deduct tds it is an exception to 194c nu na 194c explain panni vo na sollirpa tds video yaraad paatha adu irukum appo inga tds are not applicable nu solradhukana kaaranam 194c la irukra exception da othukriya ipo na continue pannalama yes sir ungaloda permission oda yes sir right Come on, strawberry. <laughs> a sum of four thousand per month was paid as salary to a staff throughout the year, and this has not been recorded in the annual accounts. After nine hundred rupees per month, the monthly expense claim is not made. That is net profit. Net profit. All are what are doing? Net profit is coming. What are doing? Hello, sir. Beautiful or adjustment. Look, wait. Pan. One answer. Now, what are you doing? Adjust. Pan. Rangan. So, different angle adjust. Pan. Rangan. Bank term loan interest actually paid up to thirty one thousand two hundred twenty five so much. And balance was paid only in the month of November. Our bank has sixty thousand irka. Yes sir. Ile yellow dam pay pani irka. Forty thousand inu pay. Yenna b. Should be yenna b. Housing loan principal repaid during the year was how much? And it's relating to residential property acquired by him in previous year last year for twenty two twenty three for what? Interest on housing loan was how much? Housing loan was taken from Canara Bank. These amounts were not dealt in with the yenna account. அப்ப இதுக்கும் பிஜிபிபி கு என்ன இல்ல ஐஎஃப்ஹெச்பி கால்்குலேட் பண்றத அந்த சம்பந்தம் இருக்கலாம் எஸ் சார் டெப்ரீசியேஷன் அலவேபிள் அண்டர் தி ஆக்ட் இஸ் டு கம்ப்யூட் ஆன் தி பேஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபாலோயிங் இன்ஃபர்மேஷனா எஸ் சார் டபிள்யூடி எஸ் 131 2023 மைனஸ் டெப்ரீசியேஷன் ஓபனிங்ல ஒரு டிவி கொடுத்திருக்காங்க எஸ் சார் அடிஷன் டியூரிங் தி இயர் யூஸ்ட் ஃபார் மோர் தென் எத்ரா டேஸ் டோட்டல் எவ்வளவு லாக் டோட்டல் அடிஷன் 4 லாக்ஸ் ஆமா அப்ப 4 லாக்ஸ்ல மோர் தென் லெஸ் தென் இருக்கா எஸ் சார் 2 4 லாக்ஸ்ல 2 லாக் 2 லாக் கரெக்ட்டா எஸ் சார் 2 லாக் இஸ் மோர் தென் 2 lakhs is less than 90 we wrote rakana nigra yes sir so sir compute the total income of mr raju for the assessment in 24 25 assuming he pays tax under the n appa thalaivan default tax regime la porare yes sir ignore application of 14a for disallowance of expenditure in respect of an exempt income yes sir eppadi engalukku 14a enna nu theriyadha nalla naan ignore dhaan pannuvo right shall we do this question brilliant question yes sir computation of total income of mr raju for assessment in 24 25 yeah yes sir PGBP question par what is a net profit as per PNL yes, sir 40 years subtraction to la brother evlo extra 10000 should be another <laughs> disallowance under 40 yes subtraction 3 ya attract how much attract how much yeah inga evlo pay panirukka 30000 oh adanal add back panna vendiya at the salary paid to staff inga paare not recorded in the what teliva teliva yosu patko ellarala appreciate panna mudiyadhu enna nadandhirukku transaction 4000 per month total evo enna ve pannala nee generally enna pannuva record panni net profit enna pannuva kavi pannuva correct ah yes sir yes sir avu enna solranna ifos nu or chapter irukku la அதுல 68 अनएक्सप्लेन என்ன கிரெடிட் 68 69 अनएक्सप्लेन 69 69 ये अनएक्सप्लेन मनी 69 बी इन्वेस्टर नॉट रिकॉर्डेड इन द 69 सी अनएक्सप्लेन salary paid to staff not recorded in the books assuming that the expenditure is nature of unexplained expenditure and is deemed to be income as per section 69c and would be taxable at 60 percentage under 115 bbe no deduction is allowable in respect of such expenditure idu undu na enna va treat panna matana e expense ah treat panna matan idu unexplained expenditure adukku na 69c apply pannuven 
பிளஸ் ஒன் ஒன் ஃபைவ் பிபிஇல அறுபது பர்சன்ட் டாக்ஸ் பண்ணுவேன் அதனால நான் நெட் ப்ராஃபிட் கூட என்ன பண்றேன்னா ஆட் பண்றேன் தட் மீன்ஸ் இதை உண்மையிலேயே நீ என்ன பண்ணியிருக்கேன் செலவு பண்ணியிருக்க நீ ஹலோ சார் ஏன் பிஎன் அக்கௌண்ட்ல டெபிட் பண்ணல அப்ப உனக்கு நம்பர் டூ கேஷ் இருக்கு அப்ப நீ பிசினஸ் ஏன் மாத்திர அறிவியல் ரெடி வித் மீ சார் விட்டு போறதா இருந்தா ஒரு வருஷத்துக்கா விட்டு போகும் அப்ப கேஷ் பேலன்ஸ் காட்டுறது தப்பான அமௌண்ட் நீ ஒரு ஃப்ராடு ஹலோ சார் அப்ப இந்த it will be taxable at the rate of 60 percentage under section 115 bbe othukirani yes sir adunal na net profit kuda enna back pandra idu pgbp la normal tax rate la tax avadu yes sir okay man bank term loan interest paid after the due date of filing 139 na yes sir disallowed under nb total 60000 debit pannirukka yes sir evlo pay panna 40000 should be enna back state gst penalty penalty not allowed as deduction yes, should be enna back the appreciation debited to pnl should be enna back you will get sub total yes, less dividend from domestic company should be taxable under yes, hence you have to reduce it yes, agriculture is exempted hence you have to yes, depreciation we have to work it yes, we have to work and we have to find out the yes, depreciation depreciation calculate pandrathukana details kuduthirukanga illaya opening wdv 11 lakh 90000 ah yes sir okay addition na more than one day uh, 2 lakhs ah yes sir appa 11 lakh 90 plus 12 lakh 13 lakh 90000 into sahi hai sole nal koi kabul hai ha hero person 15 percentage 13 lakh 90000 into 15 percentage 2 lakh 8000 ah inor 2 lakhs iruka yes sir adukku 10 percentage ah 7.5 percentage comes to 15 000 okay rendu setha 2 lakh 23500 okay ivu vandu default tax route ah yes sir appo enna kadaiyadu appo 2 lakh 23500 clarity yes sir so you will get 3 lakh 84500 income from house property sir gav nilla yes sir plus lt bar mt paid by owner nilla yes sir sir nav deduction and 24b claim panna mudiyadu yes sir yeah default tax regime default tax regime la soap ku iobc claim panna ifo is dividend from domestic company inga minus panni uttala yes sir yes sir inga plus panni uttala ena one minus panni uttruva yes sir are you ready to me ap marandrada inga plus panni uttrathukku then deduction under nsc od because yeah yeah default tax regime la chapter 6 ana 80 cc h subsection to agni patte Yes sir, contribution to Agni Pad Kadekyo. Yes sir. 80 CCD subtraction to Kadekyo. Yes sir. It is JRJ. Yes sir. So you get the total income. 3,99,500. Oh, you don't get any. Yes sir. I want depreciation calculate for you. I want depreciation calculate for you. Oh, hello. Yes sir. Pat go. It is also possible to take a view that person. salary not recorded in the books of accounts what erroneous omission unak vena enna eduthukalana salary e theriyama uttuta yes sir and the assessor has offered enna explanation for the same sir manas nareyara mari or explanation kuduthirukka satisfactory aan or explanation kuduthirukka othukriya in such a case the same should not be enna back as unexplained expenditure but would be allowed as a while computing pgbp appa ad add back panna koodadu ad enna pannanum minus pannu inga nee minus um pannama ad enna back um pannirka add back um pannirka adukku etna percent tax vara panna pora 60 percentage tax vara panna pora right ta yes sir yes sir where the imposition of penalty is not for the delay in payment of sales tax or vat or gst but contravention of the provision of the sales tax act or vat or gst the levy is not compensatory and therefore not however if the levy is compensatory in nature it would be fully where to say in the levy Uh, the portion which is compensatory is allowable and that portion which is penalty is to be disallowed a penalty na enna back pannanum since the question only mention what gst and reason of levy of penalty is not it has been assumed that levy is not and therefore not 
It is however possible to assume that such a levy is what? In nature, and hence allow plus deduction such a case total income would be. In the soldrang na, and the in the pare penalty in kurta add back pani. Aha, na. Adin over line the soldra thikhe Hindu news paper padhisto under kanga. In case and the penalty compensatory in nature kaga pay pani na, ad add back pani India. Adin na soldra pani na mukhe. Na mukhe penalty hai na ba. Aavlo da raja. That's it, Raja, Raju. Question comes to an out of ten questions we have done with that. Are you getting a flow, Mr. P? Adam, David. This is a good answer, Mr. P. He is engaged in composite business of growing and curing, curing the further processing coffee in Kurg, Karnataka. Kurg, India, where? It's a Karena saya pun boleh kata, okay, hari nak lagi. Nalai ramah. Kita pergi kurki, kurki kita pergi kurki ni. Ah, kita pergi kurki. Ada tu tour bondi, eh, nama kelas ni kurki Karena ada kapal orang plan bondi ikut. Okay, right. Main lah, loh. The whole of coffee grown in its plantation is cure. Relevant information pertaining to the year under thirty one through two thousand twenty three are given below. Okay, ba. Wah, opening balance of car only as a in the block or ever as a dark. As on 14 2023, WDV as on 31 2023 minus depreciation is 3 lakh. Opening WDV, it's a lakh. 3 lakh. Opening balance of missionary as on 14 2023, WDV as on 31 2023 minus depreciation for previous 2023, it's a lakh. 3 lakh. Rendu me 15 percent is done. Yes sir. Rendu me opening WDV done. Yes sir. Expenditure incurred for growing coffee. Yellow. Three lakh. Allowable. Why is only given? Yes, sir. Expenditure for curing coffee. Why is only given? Yes, sir. Same value of curing coffee. Why is it? That is income. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two kadal adi. Why is only given? Only given. Right. Ingada twist. Being besides being used for any operation. Yes, sir. Panna re. Yes, sir. Okay. The car is also used for any use. अलावा तो ना कार है ये दिक्कु ये दिक्कु यूज़ करता है। डिसेलेवेंस फोर परसेंट यूज़ में भी टेकना ट्वेंटी परसेंट सेक्शन थर्टी एट नोर सेक्शन इरका। ये पासेट है स्नॉट बीन एक्सक्लूसिवली यूज़ रिफॉर्म तो परपस ऑफ़ डेट प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ़ पर्सन इट शुड बी एन्ना बैक एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर फॉर मशीन वाली यूज़ करें कॉफी क्यूरिंग बिज़नेस अभी ना ये ना सोच रहा मशीन वैसे नहीं करो पर्सनल ये तो पालने सोच रहा अरे ये तो सोच रहा मशीन वाली यूज़ करें कॉफी क्यूरिंग बिज़नेस आप अपने मशीन ये तो नहीं इंगी राउंड डिग्री पोने अरे कार ये तो राउंड डिग्री क्या कंप्यूट Income will be segregated between agriculture income and business income as per rule number 7B. Yes, sir. Normal coffee or normal coffee? Yes, sir. Inge, inge, keyword is written. Yes, sir. Ground, roast, boost, and all it's written. Yes, sir. That's why there is no coffee. Yes, sir. As per above rule, income derived from sale of coffee grown and quoted by seller in India shall be commuted as if it were income derived from the business at 25% of such income shall be deemed to be the income liable to be the balance 75% will be treated as income. Yes, sir. Number of birth work is 75-25. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Good. Same value of pure coffee. Already good. Yes, sir. What are you? The expense for growing coffee. Three lakh. Ten thousand. Three lakh. Ten thousand. That's what you have to do. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Sir, it's not a problem. Sir, car expenses are there. Yes, sir. Car total is how much expense? Fully allowed. Eighty percent allowed. Yes, sir. Twenty. What section? Then 50,000 80 percent. Next one, depreciation on car. Correct? Yes, sir. What is the opening WDV of car? 3 lakh. 3 lakh. How much percent? 3 percent. Then 15 percent. Sir, the car is 30 percent higher. 30 percent higher. Other than car? Other than car? Over love 30. 
நான் என்ன கேட்டேன்னா ஏன் பிப்டீன் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஏன்னா மோர் தென் ஒன்லி டேஸ் இங்கே வா த்ரீ லேக் இன்டு பிப்டீன் பர்சன்டேஜ் கரெக்ட் தானே ஏ ஆப்பனிங் டபிள்யூடிலே இருக்குப்பா கார் இந்த வருஷம் வாங்கினது கிடையாது நீ சொல்றதும் கரெக்ட் தான் ஹலோ சார் எஸ் சார் அப்பவா எவ்வளோ ருபீஸ் பட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் அலோவ் பண்ண மாட்டோம் அதோட கிரமசன் கம்ஸ் ஒத்துக்கிற நீ சோ டோட்டல் காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அக்ரிகல்ச்சரல் ஆபரேஷன் டோட்டல் காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கால்குலேட்டர்லவா 3 லட் 10000 தான் எஸ் சார் இங்க பாரு கரெக்ட்டா யோசிச்சுக்கோ எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் ஃபார் growing coffee யா எஸ் சார் growing coffee னா grow ஆவறத அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் லேண்ட்ல இல்ல மார்க்கெட்ல யா ஓகே அது எடுத்துக்கிட்டோம் ப்ளஸ் என்ன எக்ஸ்பென்சஸ் கார் இருந்தா தான் போய் ரா மெட்டீரியல் பர்சேஸ் பண்ணி வர முடியும் ஓகே காருக்கு டிப்ரீசியேஷன் வர வருது எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் இப்போ எல்லாத்தையும் ஆட் பண்ண என்ன வருது 3 லட் 10000 இதன் டோட்டல் காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் என்ன ஆபரேஷன் ஒத்துக்கிற நீ இப்பவா எக்ஸ்பெண்டிச்சர் ஆன் காஃபி கியூரிங் ஏனா அது அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் பண்ணி எடுத்தா தான் கியூர் பண்ண முடியும் எஸ் சார் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டே எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் லெஸ் பண்ணா கியூரிங் எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் லெஸ் பண்ணாத அவ மேபி என்ன பண்ணிருப்பானா குரோயிங் காஃபி கியூரிங் காஃபி இங்க ஆர்டர்ல கொடுத்துருவாங்க அப்ப நீ முதல்ல சார் குரோயிங் னை மைனஸ் பண்ணிட்டு அதுக்கு அப்புறம் புரியுத உனக்கு எஸ் சார் அப்ப எவ்வளவு ரூபீஸ் டோட்டல் கியூரிங் எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் அப்படியே மைனஸ் பண்ணிக்கோ எஸ் சார் எந்த பிரச்சனையும் கிடையாது இது இல்லா உனக்கு என்ன இருக்குனா மெஷினரி இருக்கு மெஷினரி ஃபேக்டரி குள்ள இருக்குமா இல்ல அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஃபீல்ட் குள்ள இருக்குமா அப்ப அது கியூரிங் எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் தான் வரணுமே தவிர குரோயிங் எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் வர கூடாது எஸ் சார் கரெக்ட்டா எஸ் சார் சப்போஸ் சார் கார் மட்டும் மேல ஆட் பண்ணீங்க கார் ஃபேக்டரி குள்ள நிறுத்தி வைப்ப இல்ல சார் கார வெச்சு தான் நீ என்ன பண்றேனா ரா மெட்டீரியல் வாங்குவ அப்ப அதுவும் குரோயிங் எக்ஸ்பென்ஸ் விட்டுட்ட எங்க எடுத்து வரல அப்படினா எத்தனை லட்சம் இன்டு எத்தனை परसेंट 15 லட்சம் இன்டு 15 கரெக்ட்டா ஏ அங்க நான் 38 அப்ளை பண்ண வேண்டிய बिकॉज़ ফুল மெஷினரி மீயே அப்ரிஷியேட் பண்ற நீ அப்ப 2 லட் அப்ப 3 லட் 2 லட் 25 லட் 25 இஸ் தி டோட்டல் காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கியூரிங் ஆபரேஷன் எஸ் சார் இப்போ டோட்டல் காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் காம்போசிட் ஆபரேஷன் வந்து 3 லட் 86 ஆ எஸ் சார் பிளஸ் 5 லட் 25000 கம்ஸ் டு 9 லட் 7000 எவ்வளவு பிஸ்கிட் இருக்கு 22 lakhs and 9 lakh 11000 pochna 11 lakh 9000 idha da na business income agriculture income abirigo yes sir purida yes sir adha la loose man sales as 7525 depreciation as 7525 all expense x a a 7525 b c d abi illa total sales minus total expense you will get the composite income yes, and the composite income tha da puriyavade அப்ப 75% ஆ கிரீ இன்கம் 25% பிசினஸ் இன்கம் ரைட்டா எஸ் சார் ரைட்டா எஸ் சார் வெயிட் 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 கம்ப்யூட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் டிப்ரீசியேஷன் ஃபார் प्रीवियस இயர் கம்ப்யூட்டேஷன் கால்குலேட் பண்ணி எஸ் சார் கார் கோப்பனிங் டபிள்யூடி 3 lakhs 3 lakhs அதுக்கு 15% போட்டா எஸ் சார் ஏ மோர் தென் ஒன் எட்டி டேஸ் அப்ப 3 lakh கோட 15% 45000 அதுல ফুল அமௌண்ட் என்ன கிடையாது அலோட் கிடையாது கரெக்ட்டா எஸ் சார் எவ்வளவு டிசலோட் அப்ப 45000 9000 போச்சுனா 35000 டெப்ரீசியேஷன் ஆக்சுவலி அலோட் 30 3000 மெஷினரி ஓபனிங் 15 அதோட 15% 2000 एक्सप्लेनेशन 7 to 43 सबसेक्शन 6 which is wd yes, which is the 43 सबसेक्शन 6 is a wd yes, provides that in case of any income oh, for the purpose of computing nd Asset acquired before the year, total amount of depreciation shall be what? As if the entire composite income of the asset and not just ethanol person is chargeable to the head PGBP. That means, sir, if this sir, you have full, then as a depreciation claim, but you have depreciation of seventy-five percent agriculture, co twenty-five percent, that is business income. So depreciation is two periods only. That is why I am saying that depreciation total income, total expenses, composite income, then by fraction. Purida. இதுதான் எக்ஸ்பிளேஷன் சொல்றாங்க தி டிப்ரீசியேஷன் சோ கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஷால் பீ டீம் டு ஹேவ் बीन ஆக்சுவலி அலோட் டு தி வித் திஸ் we can say that out of how many question we are done with all the 10 questions of topics and gains of business or profession with this we can say that we are through with the the chapter pgvp comes to an end